ladies and gentlemen. George Not Found has bowed down. He has officially bowed down to the allegation makers, okay? He has become what he sought to destroy, he has truly become. And it's quite disappointing, okay? It's upsetting. It's upsetting me personally, okay? I have a huge parasocial investment in this drama. George Not Found, what did he tweet? What did this little silly Billy get up to tweeting? He tweeted out. After everyone had defended him, okay, after everyone clearly saw that Katie lied, because keep in mind, she, she left out the fact that they cuddled on the couch. She completely lied by admission with that, okay? She completely left it out, which changed the entire thing. Like, her story is, I was just sitting there on the couch, and all of a sudden, he puts his hand on me, which would be egregious. Instead, what actually happened is she was cuddling him for an hour. She was perfectly cool with it. At some point, he put his hand in her shirt after an hour of cuddling, which is a completely natural thing to happen. And she claims, oh, well, I didn't know cuddling was inherently sexual. Okay, it's not inherently sexual, but you don't cuddle your male friends. That just doesn't happen, okay? George tweets out, since reading Katie's newest post, my perspective on that night, my overall conclusion has massively changed as she introduced new information that I was not aware of at all before. I have much more I will say, but for now, Katie, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I really hope you can hear my words and try to understand that I do not have any bad intentions. That does not change the fact that you were hurt. This guy gave in to the allegations okay he gave in to nothing to literally nothing and she made a great tweet about this he said this guy was drunk and put his hand on a girl's waist after cuddling for an hour now the internet has convinced him that he's epstein level bad now jaden mcneil here made an interesting point he said uh bro deserves to be canceled for this cringe response imagine apologizing to someone who's trying to ruin your life for cloud when all you did was cuddle the mouth and i honestly like i think jaden's kind of right here in a way like after everyone spends days and days defending this guy right myself included he decides to cow cower to the minecraft audience he folded like a omelet so at this point you, you can only really blame him right like this guy literally caught her in a lie he pointed out the fact that she when she was cuddling with him she got up multiple times at which point she could have left and she always went right back to him right i actually thought she got so i found out they just cuddled on a couch yeah because she left that out intentionally because she knew that if that was in there it would make her look like a <laughs> bad really bad and then you have um if you go to mr diorio's account there's this video of this kid like screaming at the top of his lungs about this it's really funny we did watch it the other day but this video is so awesome my friends are or anybody else as a scapegoat for your abuse is disgusting. What he's talking about here, by the way, keep in mind, what he's talking about here is his friend who willingly, who as an adult, willingly cuddled on a couch with another adult and got her stomach touched. Your friend did not get abused. I'm sorry. She didn't. That's not what happened. Why do you think she left out the cuddling thing? Why would you leave that out? Because you know it looks bad. Why did she, during the interaction, leave several times? When she could have left at any point, she left to go get water, left to use the bathroom, left to talk to her friends, and came back to cuddling with him. If you believe that you're being assaulted, are you going to go back to cuddling with the same guy when you have a perfect opportunity to leave at any point in time? No. It's disgusting, okay? I, I, my friend cried in my arms about- Well, I'm sorry that she cried, but a girl crying does not mean that she's in the right. Have you ever been around a girl? Girls cry at everything, literally. Have you ever dated a girl? They're constantly crying. Oh, I stained my shirt. What she's actually crying about is regret. It's called regret. She didn't like the fact that her first sexual interaction was with a YouTuber who didn't really care about her. And so she decided to make a public allegation about it when she thought she had the opportunity because of what Shovel went through. It's embarrassing. Super embarrassing. Now, there's also another situation we have, which is really crazy. So it starts with this post by someone named Moonzy, which says, I feel like I can share one of my experiences now. This is the first of many other male CCs who over-sexualized me from the age of 18 to 22. And I'll never forgive the people who covered for him. You know who you are. I don't really know anything about her, but... This is the person. A couple years back, I met a male content creator by the name of Draggy, who was very creepy towards me and other women. He acted very possessive over me and made uh, some weird and sexual comments about me, despite us only really knowing each other for a week. Okay, interesting. I quickly noticed this behavior had grooming tendencies and raised the concern and confidence to some other CCs. I was 18 at the time. I was scared and didn't want to be around him. Okay, you can't be groomed when you're 18. Okay, you can't. That's not what that word means. You cannot be groomed when you're an adult. You're an adult woman. You cannot be groomed. Bottom line, impossible. Cannot happen. So already this allegation sucks. My uncomfortable experiences were quickly spread like gossip by people I thought I could trust and was pulled into VCs to share so they could hear it. I was told I was being dramatic and blowing it out of proportion. Later that week, a girl anonymously came forward speaking against him and a lot of them thought it was me. I was quickly hounded by other CCs, my own peers, asking me if I was the one who did it and to be an adult and get a VC to talk it out with him, to be mature. I watched as bigger content creators, people who I looked up to, helped him do damage control as I was being called immature and childish for telling people my experience and why I was scared of him. Keep in mind, basically nothing specific here other than like he made sexual comments about her. We, we have no idea what happened. And she was 18, so not grooming. Another big content creator I really looked up to at the time who had been acting like my best friend even turned on me when I saw her helping him do damage control and tried to warn her of my experience. She told me she wasn't interested and didn't want to get involved with the drama. So many of them covered for him and it broke my heart. I spent weeks sick in bed contemplating quitting, betrayed and ostracized by so many who had acted like they were my friend until it wasn't convenient for them 
them or they didn't believe me at all for a man who was rising in the community. It took many other girls coming forward about him for other content creators to finally drop him. I never got an apology and I doubt they did either. I was too scared to come forward with it at the time because of my how my peers acted. Four years later, I'm 22 now and seeing other girls with similar experiences talk about their experiences gives me so much faith and closure. I'm so proud of them all. Your story will be told if you're out there and I will have great faith. You will always find support now. Love you guys. So this person, by the way, from what we already see, calls this guy a groomer. She was 18, not grooming. She links her experience to what she believes is actual cases of assault or abuse. Well, this guy actually responded, Traggy. I wasn't gonna respond to this as I don't have any intention of involving himself in the community, but now people are DMing my girlfriend and giving up my IRL socials. Here's my response, everything is included. Please leave me alone. All right, here we go. So first off, off the bat, the allegation is already false because you, you just you can't groom an adult who is draggy literally it's just some some literally who and so is this girl honestly i mean she's got 50k followers i'm tweeting this on a burner account as i'm sick of dealing with this stuff in community after three years of not engaging with any of you i left because i was not meant for it i did a lot of wrong things when i first started out throughout my journey i got into a lot of drama i was not a good person especially with that community so i quit i didn't want to annoy anyone i wasn't happy with what i was doing i was also really anxious ever since having false allegations put on me these false allegations are from november of 2020 which is what i believe moonsy references in her original tweet as anonymous girl came forward. The situation was completely debunked and I recorded a one hour video going through the entire thing, which you can see below. Creators in the comments know this was proven false, which is odd since none of them mentioned that I cleared those allegations or even thought to DM Moonzy about it. What I find crazy is a creator in particular responding for attention after they talked to me during the allegations and helped me through it. You know who you are. Below, I've attached a video of every single one of me and Moonzy's DMs since I really didn't want to sit and defend myself anymore. You can read them all for yourselves. I want to move on with my life and leave this community in the past. I'll be deleting all my social media, but I wanted this, but I wanted to put this out there for my friends to see it. I did not do this to Moonzy from 18 to 22 years old. All this drama went down within nine days. We haven't spoken since October 29th, 2020. I did not groom anyone. Moonzy is in fact older than me. I saw Moonzy on Lover Host. I was attracted to her, so I shot my shot in DMs live to which she responded and initiated a conversation. Flirting was reciprocated. Moonzy initiated asking me to play games. Moonzy sent me her Discord without me asking. Moonzy tweeted at me, now deleted, you can see in DMs, going on a Minecraft date. Never made any sexual comments towards Moonzy. I was clingy, you could say, as I was just 18 and had the attention of someone who I liked. Moonzy did not make it clear she was uncomfortable at all. I mean it when I say this, I did not want to cause drama. I don't hate Moonzy, I just want to move on with my life. Well, I would hate her. So here's a video debunking the grooming, I guess. Whoa. Okay, well, I assume this is about that someone that isn't Moonzy. This is some other girl. Please, please, please ignore the DM above. It was when you were on Lover Host. Ha ha ha, hi. No, please stop, I'm crying. So here he's showing that like it's real. So we can actually read these DMs. No, please stop, I'm crying. Hello, it's okay, man. How are you doing today? Pretty good, to be honest. Really tired, it's 7 a.m. How about you? Hopefully you're just waking up and not just barely getting ready to go to bed. I'm doing good. I haven't slept. I have bad insomnia, which isn't fun. And I'm glad to hear. Uh, rip, insomnia is the worst. You got it too. I've had it since I was a kid. I absolutely hate it. I'm going to try to sleep right now, but I'll talk to you more tomorrow. Have a good night. Mine's on the milder side, but I have to take melatonin tabs to help me sleep. Talk to you when you wake up. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon. I don't know which. It's kind of middle of the night for me or both. Good morning. About 7 p.m. for me. How's your morning been? Okay, so they're just talking about random here austin show you were so good on the austin show thank you i was so nervous her asking me to play giving me her discord i'm a brown belt in jujitsu and a blue and brazilian jujitsu i can teach you oh that would be so dope we should we also we should play minecraft sometime bro here's my girls who say bro crazy gonna play among us with us uh you fine with playing at seven which voice channel should i join you're really sweet i can't wait it'll be super fun we played among us in our chats were shipping us she then decided to tweet at me about me taking her on a minecraft date i'm playing the bit so hard she says oh it's a bit and less so I get, they like each other clearly like they're clearly like they're more than buddy maxing right now okay they're come maxing a little bit Just scrolling through the dms here me asking for her snapchat her saying she doesn't give it out me responding respectfully do you have a snap i do but it has personal stuff on it so i don't give it out she tweeted something flirty at carl jacobs i half jokingly wrote ouch as i was becoming interested in her uh Oh, wow. He apologized a lot. I don't like having beef with others either. Let's just be friends at the end of the day. I'm done to drop all this. If you are, sorry. After this went down, I was kicked from an SMP because she found uh, me uncomfortable. And I again, DM'd her trying to resolve the issue and again, apologizing. Moonzy's older than me. I did not groom Moonzy in any way. I simply liked a girl and was flirting, which was reciprocated. I made a joke remark about her being flirty with Carl. <laughs> which made her uncomfortable and I was kicked off the SMP. I've not spoken to Moonzy in four years. I've not interacted with the community at all in three years. I saw tweets that thought I did this from 18 till she was 22. That is not true. We have flirty conversations for nine days and 20 days later, I was kicked from an SMP for inappropriate DMs. The girl that came forward for grooming was debunked years ago and creators under the tweet are aware these were debunked but choose to not mention it to her in replies. I saw people who knew of me reply to this and mention I cleared my name of those allegations but they were hidden below all the other replies. The people doing damage control wasn't anything to even do with her. It was to do with the grooming allegations 
questions, which I have linked the full unlisted video, which has 1.3K likes and 22 dislikes. I enlisted it when I moved on from the community. I was not perfect. I probably did make people uncomfortable. And for that, I apologize. I was an 18 year old kid that grew up in Northern Irish culture and went from four viewers to 340 in two weeks of streaming. I was new to this, made a lot of mistakes, and realized it wasn't for me. I didn't like the person I was betraying, so I quit. Here's the final DMs. Okay. All right. So this is him apologizing, basically. You can no longer, I guess she blocked him or something. I mean, it's kind of nothing, right? Basically a giant nothing, but she's saying she was groomed. Where is the evidence of being groomed? <laughs> Moonzy and Draggy were both 18 years of age and these alleged events occurred. Contradicted to her claim of his grooming tendencies. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That's so based, dude. Comment copped. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's pretty clear to me that uh, that was just nothing. Literal nothing burger. No grooming could have possibly taken place. Maybe Moonzy's freshly 18. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Maybe Moosley's freshly 18. She just wanted to be involved, dude. Some people just want to be on the bandwagon. They just want to feel like they're a part of something. You know what I'm saying? You want to feel like they're a part of the, the allegations. Regarding George, you asked for consent before tickling your friends? Uh, never. Never would I do that, dude. I tickle my friends without consent. With that being said, I think it's time to join the call. Hello. Hello, oh, Turkey Tom. How's it going? I'm, I'm, it's going fantastic. You guys want to start off as kind of like an ad hoc panel, kind of just discussing, I guess, the, the space right now and all the stuff that's been happening. Yeah. The last couple of days. Yeah. So, um. We, me and Tom, we, we had a conversation yesterday. I just want to fill shut in where uh, I called Tom and I'm like, dude, George apologized. And he was like, what? And I I'm didn't like, believe yeah. you. Yeah. Cause he just woke up. You could hear him like, like he had had it in his voice and I'm like, dude. George apologized and he's like, you're with me, right? Like, there's no way that guy apologized. Your statement sucked, right? And, and we were just sitting there. We're like, no, no way. And you're like, what, dude, what the? And we just went back and forth for like 20 minutes before we we're like, it, this is still ridiculous. It is still ridiculous, but it's but it's also like these guys, because like if, if they're not going to defend themselves, like what the, what the I'm supposed to defend them. Yeah, it's absurd. I don't. I don't feel bad for the Minecrafters, and I feel like that's got to be the major takeaway before we even get started here, is like, I, these guys have beyond done this to themselves. I, I'm yeah. not even, I'm not sweating yeah. this at all. I felt bad for them until, until that. And also, I haven't even heard yeah. the dream crying thing yet, but I understand he cried on a uh, community thing. There was some time, like, people asking questions about like the relation to, um, they were asking questions about like when the timing was if they had spoken about it. These guys live together, right? They've obviously spoken about it. If I'm guessing, they probably didn't sleep all night and they probably just sat there being like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? That George message that we're gonna look at did not look like it was something that was prepared. It didn't look like something that any of them were like looking at. Like they, this was something that they did very much on a whim and then Dream fired up a <laughs> panic stream or whatever. But I don't understand why he's whatever. panicking. Because it didn't, ult it didn't fix his situation. So he ulted. Well, it's not going to fix it when the people that are acting against you are bad faith, dishonest, lot like losers. I don't want to get too serious straight away, okay? But you guys don't understand the uh, Rip of Thrones theory on this whole drama. The Rip of Th Thrones theory. Yeah. Like, where is are this, you? Like, coined by philosophers. I'm by I the snow. This is okay. this whole thing is better interpreted not as actual genuine allegations, defense, etc. But it's all about the kind of beef and the drama between the UK and the US Minecraft communities, or like the Dream SMP community and whoever the f AMZ Tubbo freaks are associated with, whatever their server is. I think that's what this is all about fundamentally. Yeah, there is a there is a beef I understand between them. It's sort of like uh, it's also like Tommy in it is like not cool with Dream anymore, and like Quackity is not cool with Dream yes. anymore. So there's kind of like that kind of exactly, war there. exactly. And I think that like so for example, everyone was like, why did Dream jump on the Wilbur Soot train to on Wilbur Soot? I think it's because it was like a shot across the bow to that community of British Minecraft creators to Do be like, think? oh, unlucky. I, I think so, yeah. I think that there's a lot of that sort of thing happening. Um, well, notice how, um, notice how this time literally... ...leveraging that the entire time since like Dream was responding. They were notice like, how oh, yeah, none of them are like defending stuff. each other at all. Like, do you find that weird? Well, no, they're, no, I don't because I think they're more worried about their own their own. They're worried about their their own like uh how the hell they're, they're portrayed. Little maggots. They're desperate little maggots yeah. that don't want you know. It's all self preservation, isn't it? You know. Well, we had to deal with three insufferable years of these people saying Stan culture was good, that there's nothing wrong with being a super fan of something and all that stuff. And now, like that's come home to roost or whatever. But like all of them are aware of it. They're just definitely afraid they're the next one to go. Well, it's it's biting them yeah. in the.
because for years they would apologize and pander to everything that these people made them do, right? Literally, how many, okay, yep. do you remember like 2021? How many times did Dream apologize that year? Probably 10. Well, it, it took Dream getting smeared as a to come around and say like, hey, I just this whole it thing. It took three like, years of him being smeared as a And now they they clearly didn't learn their lesson because with this where he, where, okay, George, to be clear, what he did was he cuddled with an adult who was drunk while well, he was also drunk and he touched her stomach. That is not salt. Yeah. That is not yeah. salt abuse. And they're they're cowering to these 14 year olds and the like British kid with acne on his face who screams, You assault my friend. <laughs> yeah, but they have to. That's the audience. They're all parasocially attached to but, these crazy. But the thing is, like, Dream like Dream like pushed he like beat it for like a month. Like he beat them. Like he got them. The video is positively received. Everyone from like normal YouTube, like critical covers it and was like, okay, base video, like you're right. You know, the the, the allegations are dumb or whatever. Like he 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 got them, and then no matter what, but, but without he's fail, he is. But like George not found's response. I mean, obviously, like there were some people who didn't like it, but it's not like his career was in jeopardy. It's not like he was losing like a ton right. of subscribers over it. I think Real there's quick. stuff behind the scenes of throwing stuff we didn't see that contributed to what happened. But I can't speak on that. Not exactly. to interject, but I'm building Sorry. a Minecraft house on on tipsters and revenue income right now. I'm building a dirt <laughs> house, so if you guys want to. Okay, right. Uh, Can we just agree how many tipster references this stream? We need to start having like a little tipster counter that like goes off or whatever, and it's like. Beep, beep, beep. Can oh, I get an like O real quick? Oh god, I don't. Know. <laughs> I, I, can I hold on? Let me see. There's no way you don't uh, have it ready to go. There's literally what the zero fuck percent is this chance. Queer? Oh, that was not the right button. <laughs> that was not the right button. Uh, that was it. not the right oh, button. Shit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Um, I don't want to get too off track. I actually watch the uh, commentary aids supercut of the Augie stream about tipsters, about tipster. So, yeah, I think. How was that? Was it good? Now. What are your thoughts? I mean, yeah, he's, well, my thought on tipster was he's a bumbling, constantly stepping into rakes, and my my belief was confirmed <laughs> by that. Um, he's also like a liar, though. Know. He's also like he's he's more oh, evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, he definitely lies to get himself out of trouble, right? And post hoc changes the story, so that's very cringe. Yeah, but, but e evil? We call him evil. I think. Um, desperate. Uh, desperate I mean, reason. okay. I think. No, I don't okay, think okay. Is is evil. he evil personally? No. Is Keffel's evil, and is he defending that person? Yes. So yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, if you're if you're friends with someone who sends hormones to children and constantly defend them for their lolly takes, like, what do you think that oh, person is? Can we farm steak? Hello. I referred to him as a concentration camp guard for a while, and I really think that's a pretty accurate description of him. <laughs> oh, I'm but in the beautiful. fucking snow! Wait, what the f How did Smaggle get in here? I don't know, dude. He hacked. What the f You let Smaggle in here? He hacked. No, he, just, he just spawned in front of me. What the f*** is he doing? Wait, he has powers? <laughs> you know, he just spawned. Dude, he's, he's just looking at me. True Gaming United says George lies. seems weak-willed. George is weak-willed. They're Once I pussies. have the dirt yeah. house built and we're like safe for a couple seconds, then I'll start sharing screen and we can start reviewing. <laughs> Andrew Riggs in chat says, ask Nick if he would rather apologize for tickling allegations or moderate a Keffel's Discord. Um I think I feel like it's a pretty easy answer. Wouldn't you immediately go for the tickling allegations? I think I would tickle and not apologize. I can't stop tickling. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop tickling and biting women. On on the topic of the George stuff, just to go back to my schizo theory, is I think that that Amesy person is a central linchpin in all of this in terms of pushing these people to make these allegations. I do notice, like, I mean, if, if she was seeing this, she'd be like, well, I'm just doing this because I support victims. But actually, does she even talk like, no, she is British. Yeah. If you look she at. Sounds, if, she sounds more autistic. But yeah, if you yeah. look at her replies. Every single time there's like an allegation, no matter like who it is or what it is, or if it's like true or false, she's there. She's always yeah. there. She's always like there to Are you support. Wait, wait, who? Which one is that? Amesy, the girl with the beanie. Yeah, which? Who did she accuse? She didn't accuse anyone. She's just like she's always there for these things. Oh. Like she's uh, say, she's always in the replies. Like you're so strong. She was the one who was like spamming out like, "Silence is not consent. Silence is not consent. Silence is not like that person." But wait, did you uh, did you find it a little bit concerning or interesting at least that there's um, the connection between the Wilbur allegations and the uh, which ones? The f George ones, because the person said like, oh, you need to come out about this. Like the Wilbur person got involved with Katie. Was she involved? I thought Katie just said she was like inspired or something.
I could have wait. Did she say inspired? We can go back. I thought she look, said something about sure just being inspired. I mean, oh, the, I mean, I thought they, I, I thought they like I, directly spoke. I mean, the thing is, you have to understand, like, not to say that this makes their stories more or less valid, but none of the girls coming out have had like big audiences. Like Katie's, Katie like has no audience. Well, no, the first girl had a million subs. She's got, she's yes, Turkey Tom worth of viewership. But she's not averaging very many views. So these were not like big known creators. Like I had, we we had never heard of any of these people, right? But we, we obviously we knew who Dream and George Not Found were. We had never heard of these girls. I had never heard of them. Ever. No idea who they were. Zero concept of them. And so now they're getting a lot of attention online. And to, and to be honest, if I had to, if I had to place my bets on who was guilty versus who wasn't, I would probably say Wilbur over George. Um, actually, I would definitely say Wilbur over George, even though, you know, I'm still open to the idea that he's innocent. Um, okay, I but the problem I is, Tom, like you're, you're very, you're, you're too believing of women, I'm afraid to say, Tom. I'm too believing of women? Yes, absolutely. What do you mean? We were this issue before you well, and that's me. our problem here on Ultimate review we usually <laughs> love women too much well, and that's that kind of like messes with our if, if what you're talking about chud is um the super mega thing where i was uh i wasn't <laughs> steadfast ready to come out i guess the thing is i i'm i'm, I'm one who likes to wait you know a little longer i know you like to f around a little bit more but I, I i just like to wait you know i like to know i like to have it dead to rights really because mm. according to twitter under your tweets about this people say you don't seem to like to wait it seems like you're pretty against the idea of consent <laughs> Have they been saying that? I've been ignoring the replies. That's what everyone's saying. Base, dude. Let's go. No, sure. I, I do see where you're coming from. Like, getting to hear the response means you can feel, you know, coherent to get uh, the benefit of just watching the woman stream and shit on her. Well, I mean, because if you, if you have, if you, if you take Wilbur's response, like, he's either the most innocent person ever or guilty, right? Like, these are the two options. Well, he, what, okay, his what, massive what, contradiction is on whether he was guilty or not. What'd you say, Nick? Well, so what he said is my my ex girlfriend's uh, thoughts are valid. Well, his ex girlfriend thinks she was abused by. Him. Yeah, th this is the thing. Like, why so, would you why would you open your response saying that's the problem? That yeah. now I will say he did he did in the second in the he second says, part of it. He says I deny the abuse, but her feelings are valid. But her feelings were that she was abused. So that's <laughs> it, like either a huge well, contradiction. It's a backhanded confession. I don't know what. Well, it is, it is kind of a the, one thing. Indefensible. One thing you have to understand about these communities is like you always if you're gonna win you always have to like say like feelings are always valid people's experiences are always valid and you also have to say like and also support victims like that's why george ended his statement with like support victims because if you don't say that then you're like a piece of shit. if you don't say yeah. that like every after every breath so you could read it that way but i will i will say like if you feel you're being if i felt i was being falsely accused i would never in a million years openly say your feelings are valid like no if you think you're being falsely accused then her feelings are invalid i think katie's feelings are invalid Right. As for as for shovel, I don't I don't I don't you know, I just feel like I need more, but for Katie, I mean her no, feelings are definitely by, by that logic, by that logic then George is also guilty because he conceded to Katie in the end, right? Well, the difference there is like I know all the specific events now and I know outright that Katie lied about a specific detail and have proof for it, right? Which is the cuddling yeah, okay, thing. Sure. Right. So there it's like it's more cut and dry there. With Wilbur, it's like I feel like it's still up to interpretation. I don't know all the details, you know. Well, no, no. What, what is he think he's guilty of exactly? What do I? Oh, you mean what does she think he's guilty of? No, no, sure. You know, you said you think Will was guilty. What do you think Will was guilty of exactly? I don't think he's necessarily guilty. I said I'm open. I'm open to the idea of it. And as for what that would be, I mean, I guess like repeatedly biting her after she didn't want to be bitten, and you know, going too far with that. That would be it. Wilbur's a freak who bites people and i don't understand why people just write people like oh nick's real fixated on the biting yeah because it's the most abnormal part of this it's the most difficult to navigate it's well nick you're very we all know you're very vanilla in it. bed okay you're sure Dude, that's what people are writing they're very vanilla in bed because they don't realize this isn't a sexual thing this guy's mother's like i mean hey, it, listen, it is sexual but it's also a biter it's also not it's like both. my son's a biter it's not on purpose or whatever like what like what how did your son get out of the fourth grade being a biter like the allegation is if it stands as is um wilbur turned to her and said i'm a biter that's who i am i'm not changing that is the cr if that's even like one percent true that's the craziest thing i've ever heard in my entire life so yeah dude I, when she says hey i'm starting to think that like this situation with wilbur maybe he was lying to me right because he says that like the biting wasn't um like it was out of his control or whatever, or it was out of love or something like that. But then I noticed he started biting harder <laughs> and in times he was hurting me. Right. So given, I don't, 
kind of believe his like his whole biting mechanics as described uh i'm more inclined to believe that her perspective on that might be the correct one because i can't wrap my head around someone who just bites people i think there has to be an ulterior motive because that's an abnormal <laughs> thing that's going on okay so i think if you want to say he's a, a weirdo biter guy i like i always said i agree with that part of it right it's the framing yeah, i don't know if he's a domestic abuser term. yes but exactly i think he's a freak yeah. sure i can break bread with that because i mean again like i had blues dan come on and call in and he's like yeah i've seen him like walk up to friends of his at the bar and like bite them wait he said that blues dan called into my stream and i didn't know that what the bite people in public what the effing people Poop. he knows but people he's not yeah. dating and it's like well, I mean, he, he bites why are all friends? the Minecraft YouTubers like, apparently all the Minecraft YouTubers knew this guy just bites people, and it was only a problem when the girl was like, well, I actually didn't like being bitten. Apparently like all the Minecraft YouTubers oh. have rabies. Yeah, that's so, again, I, I hope this guy puts out a better statement, because again, that's this is based off of his one horrible statement, and the girl's statement, and he's been radio Do you think he will since. say so anything? No, I think he's going to sue her into oblivion. We're never actually going to know. But that guy's always going to be known as the weird guy who bites. Really? You think he's going to sue her? I mean, if he hasn't said anything yet, that all all signs point to yes. I mean, either that or he's literally just like a he's just like sulking in this room. No, these guys doing a chug of Conroy. He's doing a chug of Conroy, isn't he? He's just off for. I feel like it's possible he's just off for a while. Like, does he seem like a? I mean, does he seem like a vindictive, like strong, like let's get him type, or does he seem like I'm going to cry in my room? I mean, yeah, it's well, every UK YouTuber. I'm gonna go if bite my so mom, me nan, bite me nan. So, okay, these British accents, come on now. Um, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um, listen, there's no Yank. Well, I suppose you have got Dream and stuff, but they just sound like kind of Norman American. These people are particularly irritating British accents, aren't they? So yeah, they are. Can you blame me, dude? All right, I've got no, our fun, thing open worry. now. Um. What do you guys want to hit first? Do you guys want to go back through the George thing on like one point five to kind of reiterate that? Who here sure. has already seen? Okay, I think. All right, you've been overruled, Tom. I I just oh. want to see the dream. What do you thing. think? Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. I agree. Do dream dream first? Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So what happened? The order of events was the George. Uh, the the girl puts out her stream. We reacted to this live. Uh, me and Chud Logic just happened to be live while we were watching it, and we were all panicking. Uh, nobody wanted to say anything. Thank you, Ginger Coon, for becoming a member. Because it was happening all in real time. Thank you, time. somebody, for gifting so a membership. All of us were like vaguely like, yeah, that might. Just right, too weak. It's the white women tears. What can I say? I love them. Who dude. knows? We, we didn't even know. Who was love white women. Favorite, favorite kind. Yeah, the white woman's tears. Affected most beautiful thing God created. It. Tom, so you need to watch Fully Cooly to destroy Vosh. Got Doug Walking Critical to do it. No, you can. Or a couple uh, hours I have later, no desire to watch really coolly. So Snake is calling tips for a Holocaust card. Good to mention that he supports famous animal lover Michael Vick. <clears throat> and then after everyone was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. The Katie person put out a Discord update, um, followed by an actual update. And that made George come out and concede. Following George's concession, we got this dream space. Um, and How long is this? I'm just uh, it's 40 minutes. When we're done, we'll just go to the end when he cries. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to put it on one, two, five to start, and we'll we'll adjust from there. People join for a minute. <laughs> Sorry, I've got something important um, to say, guys. You could say that this space was his nightmare. Damn. Can we? Who the f*** is this guy again? Why do we have him here? <laughs> He's a loser. Sorry, sorry, I'll be quiet, I'll be quiet. I guess you could call Chris Tyson your worst nightmare, Mr. Beast. More like Dream was taken and r***ed against his will. Um, More like Dream took his girl. Holy dude, shit. Dream, dude, that was another thing. We're going to talk about this at some point tonight, but somebody put out a twit longer to expose Dream for allegedly f***ing his girlfriend and then was promptly bullied into deleting it. And that oh, yeah. was like a solid 20 minutes of like really funny memes. People in my chat are donating just to call Chud unfunny. That's crazy. Well, if you don't want to call Chud unfunny, I'm also streaming. Uh, Fuck thank off, you, Mike. dude. 1,700 closest friends and family for uh, all your contributions thus far. Let's get it going. You guys know I'll be talking. I'm just going to wait a minute, a couple minutes for people to come in before I start speaking. This is what I'm going to be talking about for a second. Um, and then I have a lot to say, so uh, this will probably be a long space. Um, this isn't scripted or planned um so i'm sorry if i yeah we know it's not scripted okay it is very obvious as we progress this is uh, dream 
wants everyone. He, and then, so he wants everyone to believe everything he does isn't calculated. Um, I think typically he usually thinks, overthinks, and prepares well thought out responses when it comes to like really when his ass is really on the line. This doesn't seem um, like that. But if, he, if he wanted to prove that he can do things rashly, this is a very good example of that. Pause or uh, you know stumble over, over my words or anything. Um, I'm just going to be speaking from my feelings and my thoughts. And so, uh, you know, I know everything, every word will probably be analyzed, uh, but um, just know that this is just me, me and my pure thoughts. And um, uh, it's not, I, I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm going to say. Um, first things first, I just want to as quickly and as, you know, the very first oh. thing I do, I want to be is. Uh, By the way, another allegation is hit the tower okay you're I'm, kidding I'm learning about this live right now it's not one of sexual nature but supposedly they investigate are you familiar with the quackity union thing yeah actually yeah, yeah i saw this yeah the the, so the Omni french put out a whatever tweet saying the french the french government might potentially take action now that's crazy because it's because they looked at like or they looked it over or something and they deemed that like they can proceed with Wait, but the thing i don't there. understand is i thought it was like unpaid moderators I don't know. I think it was work for like the, like maybe moderators, but not like channel moderators, like moderators for his other. Does he do uh, like Minecraft still? I I think he has like a he has like a he has a server. Just himself. Holy shit, dude! You gotta try Vivance. All right. Let's <laughs> True. Say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Katie. Um, I'm sorry for in any way whatsoever that I contributed to your um pain. Um. Uh, I just would like to make it clear that Can we just until talk, like, these guys were so confident yesterday, what changed? Yes. What something changed? behind the scenes? Something behind the scenes. Is it had to be something behind the scenes. Something, something, we, don't know. something we don't know about definitely went on. But like, what the f could it be? Like, did Dude, someone this else? Guy's did... Like, I didn't know her age. Here, someone had a f wristband <laughs> on. Uh, like I, dude, like. Okay, I, could it have been like? Out, he, yeah. Let's theory craft. Maybe someone else was gonna come forward and was like unless you admit to this i'm gonna come forward about something else like is there another girl like what could possibly be the reason to change the tune so Maybe? quickly because like because like dream is dream has dealt with public pressure before and he didn't crack right like like yeah and they they, they cracked in like 24 hours it makes no sense exactly so there's there's got to be something we're missing yeah. let's just add could, dream to the call just be... <laughs> get dream. yeah come on nicholas send him a message uh, um, i believe me i tried to reach out to him Okay. Um, I haven't gotten a response from him. Read a bit. Response, but I haven't gotten a response either, which I get. But okay, if we're if we're doing Occam, Occam's Razor, the simplest explanation is is just the backlash was too bad <laughs> and he couldn't withstand but, the pressure. But like, that's what I think. The the backlash that Dream got was people reevaluated the Nicholas Cantu thing because you guys remember this crazy kid who was in the car was like, "I am a yeah, yeah. erect statue erected in gold. You're granted sand in the Sahara Desert." People pulled a clip from that that they say Dream like took out. Where Nicholas Cantu was like, didn't you come over the assault thing from like uh, Tubbo or some sh And it people are linking that being like, okay, so this is actually, it wasn't about Tubbo or Sapnap, as it was about George Not Found. People are thinking Dream covered it up somehow. So that seems to be like maybe the impetus, but the Nicholas Cantu guy is like nuts. So I don't know why they're even taking him seriously. Like this is like, Nicholas Cantu is a kid who was like having like a manic breakdown in the public and his friends were like egging him on, supporting him because he was like owning the epic dream and then had to like leave the internet due to like mental health reasons probably. And like, this is the guy we're supposed to believe now, right? Like someone who yeah. just had some random rumor about it. And the idea that dream would well, cover up assault is also like, do you, do you not think that in his position, he would be scared to death? Of an I, there's only like one that? person I know who would be in a situation where like someone's assaulted somebody tangentially near their own group and would just not say anything about or cover up okay and i don't think tipster's involved in this drama <laughs> Dude, so. okay. okay buddy <laughs> that's number two that's number she two. can do no wrong she can do no wrong you no, know okay all right in my defense actually i can't say that that that's a leak i can't like that never mind um but matt pitt in chat brought up a really good point um he said it could be an over uh, correction over the bracelet thing Right, because he did kind of get the bracelet thing wrong, but then yeah, I listened he back to it, and it doesn't actually. He said that someone in the group had a twenty-one bracelet, and then but he, he showed a photo. Twenty-one, but then but he, he showed said a it was photo, yeah. and I think that people thought, "Oh, we're saying that's them," but it but, wasn't them, right? But the thing is, yeah. even if that was, that was wrong, even thought, if that was wrong, it doesn't. It doesn't change the cuddling thing, which is the biggest thing. Which is she was cuddling with him on the couch for an hour. She got up several times and then went back to cuddling with him.
All right, this is the hard part. Like, we're she left that out of her statement. This. She left that out of her we're statement. We're all taking a hard stance on this, whether you like it or not. We're not beating around it. We're going to ask the panel. Do you think it is assault to put your hand up a girl's shirt after cuddling with her on the couch for an hour? Okay? Oh, of course. Of course breast. it is. Of course it is. Not touching a breast, touching somewhere <laughs> between the stomach and, like, the, the, the rib cage, okay? I mean, it, it obviously <laughs> isn't. It's a standard, like, move oh. you might do when you're raising someone up, right? Um, but I do think, and this is something that I think has been missed a bit, is there does seem to be some sort of groupie culture in the Minecraft community, uh, just by roughly looking at it. Do you think they're groupies? Do so, you think they're awkward losers who don't really know how to interact I, I'm with I'm starving women? in the f game. Holy sh I'm going to die. Well, do, you have, probably not do you have food? I need food, like, now. I'm yeah. Die. Here, They're probably not groupies in, like, you know, the sense of, like, rock bands in the 70s, you know, 14 oh, years getting by rock stars. But, you know, I just use that in the kind of loosest possible sense in that, you know, there are people knocking about the community that got smaller channels that, you know, the, the older guys, the bigger guys probably feel they've got some... <laughs> I don't know how to put this without sounding bad. They walk into the room, they expect to get their dick sucked. Not that extreme, but you see what I'm getting at. I mean, the allegations, we've heard this from several different women who've said, like, <laughs> you guys brag about having minors in your DMs. Smaggle, did you just punch me in Minecraft? Do you, do you want to be employed here? Do you want to be the head mod? Dude, Smaggle has been with me. He hurt me. Smaggle, Smaggle's the literal groupie that we're going to use later. And he's yeah. fishing at us already. But yeah, I think that, uh, you know, if you've got like an 18 year old who is trying to get somewhere, as long as there's no happening, I mean, they're an adult as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, they make their own decision. And this, this, this freshly 18 thing is so cringe it's my favorite new phrase i think it's so funny Bro, like when i see people right freshly 18. it's literally that meme where the guy's like you sick she was 18 years old in one day from like law and order like screaming and yeah. like, <laughs> like dude it's just it's, it's just like i think the only reason people are saying this is because everyone involved has convinced themselves that they are in the right and they're not talking to outside influences like are, do you do you think these people have like a 35 year old talking to them being like you're I'm not, I think they do now, maybe against their will, but there is a 35 year old saying that all these people are. And I have to say, as much as people say I've been glazing for the last 24 hours, dude, after me and Tom sat in that call and we were like, what the? F seeing Destiny fire up a stream and reiterate all the same talking points that we've been saying for two days, literally without seeing any content, without knowing anything about the situation. Just we didn't even tell him to person. cover it. Like yeah, with an outside person who comes to the same conclusion, I was like, Okay. All right. We're good. Okay. I, I'm not crazy. I haven't lost my mind. We're not, we haven't become pro overnight. Other people are saying this is crazy. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a very normal take for people that have engaged in, you know, sexual relationships and stuff to have is that, you know, this stuff just, just kind of happens and it's not, you know, the way she was crying on stream, I, I watched the destiny and, and yeah, like the way she's crying on stream, it, it's insane. You would it's think like, he went, you, you would think he went gorilla mode and like ripped a hole in her, in her, pants and just like went right for oh, the yeah. pussy and was like going like hey, to the throat. you stop wait, who, who invented gorilla this is the second time in 24 hours that you've said gone gorilla mode <laughs> well i i i from? i imagine a gorilla would be rather aggressive are you drawing Why? are you drawing some link to something else Nick? no i'm just like wait is gorilla mode like a thing is it like a zoomer thing like you, guys, do you just go, go you just go gorilla mode sometimes you can I, I, you can you can, you can consensually go gorilla mode too it happens you know <laughs> Some girls like when you go. Some okay. girls like when you go gorilla mode. Is that like the um? What was the the old one? Goblin mode. I'm gonna play the he, clip he up. that's got the internet <laughs> screaming right now. I put this out, and I have been in the trenches fighting with teenagers for the last 24 hours on all these posts. I had people tell me that they were gonna like. Wait, hold on. Let me read this one. I got like a, a hilarious death threat. They said, "You're lucky. This is the only thing that happened. I will." you with a knife and let that uh and tell you that you're lucky it wasn't a machete or something like that right like i have people sending me is that like a child if you go to their account uh, let's just say the knife they're the biggest well, rift from that knife that's for sure anyway well, no, they're all okay and they're all, they're all, no, but all these people are like oh my god i can't believe two middle-aged men are saying that this girl's trauma i'm like oh okay so you think 27 and 35 are middle age okay because you're on a cocktail of different antidepressants you'll yourself but after but like shortly after you turn 20 if you're not taking your medication that's why you think that 35 is middle age okay because that's probably like, farther than you'll ever like say. you are lucky you're oh i just got so sidetracked with that sorry okay 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 um, but, okay but honestly it's fine yeah. because the twitter the twitter discourse around this has been 
cancer. It's been cancerous, like absolutely insane. Yeah. I saw people, I saw people, okay, so obviously like the way that these cancellations work is when someone gets called out for something, everything they've ever done gets brought up, right? Like what, whether it's, whether it's like genuinely a bad thing they did or it's like this is, so this person on Twitter, uh, what is their name? I know their name, but I can't remember it. They tweeted out being like, don't forget when this sick freak, referring to George Not Found, made fun of Technoblade's passing in front of his dad by making like a sound effect. And then you watch the clip and it's like Tommy in it and him and whatever. And they're all laughing about it and clearly don't care. And so this person's first thought when they see someone in drama is like, well, let's bring up the tragic passing of this guy I did not know to police like whether or not they can joke about it. Like Dude, it's, it's literally a retread of the to, super mega. Shit. He walked up to Tommy and it's not Tommy yet, to Technoblade's dad and just went, dude, that's crazy. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit. He, he basically did that. And everyone on the stream was like, like they were laughing about it. They were fine. And like this person, like people love to get mad on the behalf of other people's suicide and death and like for their friends yeah. and police, how their friends can react to it. Like this is the same with well, Super Mega. You remember when Daniel died or whatever? And then Lex is like, oh, well, they were joking about his death. And it's like, it's not your place to like argue like what they can and can't do. It's not your friend. It's their friend. But this is like something people are obsessed with doing. It's sickening. Yeah. It's like actually sickening. Like, and I hate to, you know, moral F over this stuff. But like it is actually sickening. Dude, no, no, you're absolutely through. right. It's 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 absurd, uh, and and you know you see it with everyone that's come forward, even with Wilbur. Is everything comes out the closet? Like all these old clips get recontextualized. As, well, you probably wanted to someone here, and it's like, what are you on about? Like this clip was fine at the time, and it's all being post hoc. Oh, I forgot Wilbur got accused of too. Whatever that that didn't go anywhere, did it? It was just like a day. Everyone's like, I oh, got a hundred thousand likes. I mean, yeah, but like I haven't, I haven't heard a single piece of discussion about. That. Well, because as soon as that came out, we had a new allegation. Like the next day, well, so you have to understand, a hundred thousand likes on Twitter. I mean, this subject is not doing gangbuster. I, I think I still did better last uh, last drama in terms of viewership and stuff like that. Uh, I, it hasn't really translated super well to YouTube. Maybe it's different for you guys, but I mean, I'm getting like normal numbers. Or if anything, I mean, a little bit lower. stream viewers yeah. have been Bigger good. On Twitter. Stream viewers have been good. I've been getting like 2,500 yeah, to 3K live. Stream viewers have been fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that's because you look like a Minecraft YouTuber, don't you? Yes, that's why. Because they, they think I'm going to be the next one on the list, so they're not getting invested. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, no, but... I, I think I think part of it is like this is it just like is so um it's so fleeting. Like it's literally like it's, it's like on I'm Twitter. Like one day we're talking stuff. about the guy who self immolated or whatever. Aaron Hernandez. And 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 and, and, then, and then the next day we're talking about. Sydney Sweeney's boobs like it's just like it's just it's just as fast people don't have an attention span for these things yeah, like, it's like a discourse cycle yeah it's very yeah but I, what, I, what I'm trying to point out is that like on Twitter though every tweet is banging like every single yes. one dramatically yeah, yeah. more like we have like I mean I don't usually get like 10k like tweets and I think I've had like three of them this week but there's That's... no big videos about it that's the thing is I feel like most of this drama, you say 100,000 likes on Twitter. I think it's only on Twitter. Like, I, I don't think it's really translated well to any other form of social media. Maybe TikTok. I'm not viewing it there. But I don't think these people have that much power outside of that, that one specific. No, I would agree. It is kind of like a Keffel's phenomenon where the, the power well, where, is the power the is dream only stand with representation on YouTube. Who's the biggest dream stand channel? Um, none. There are none. Me. There's literally dream. So if, if Dream wanted to continue uploading as usual, he'd probably be fine right now on YouTube. Yeah, you're right. But he hasn't uploaded in years anyway. So I don't it's Jalen. Jalen is the one. Oh, Jalen is dude. the only, I love only Dream stand. Jalen is my goat. Yeah. I can't believe Smaggle just ran all the way up to me to give me a shovel because I didn't like how I was, I was strip mining. Dude, Smaggle is the goat. Okay. I think because these allegations are made so easily, they are very kind of like um, unsubstantial. It's like one gets made, another gets made, another gets made. And yeah, I'd forgotten about the allegation against Wilbur. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. Because like, I had even forgotten too, because we immediately went to the biting thing. And that was like the thing that she no, said. the biting thing was first. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing that the other girl said is that he like took her clothes off without consent and she, then she woke up and didn't know what happened. That's way more serious. I forgot that even happened because this other yeah. Like I'm, 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 I have the same brain as these people. Like just onto the next thing. Yeah. That's and, the thing. Is people are writing me about, that. um, about the George situation. They're like, you don't understand. All right. Oh, dude, Tom, what the? F what? I got a nice, nice strip mine, and you're mining diagonal. What are you doing here? It's, you, it's, a, it's in a straight. Oh about? man, you are, you are the most non-neat miner that I know. You are the worst miner in this story.
major minor podcast, dude. This is it. Do we want to keep listening to the Twitter space because we kind of got pretty sad? Yeah. Correct? Actually, at first I want to play the f- clip. This is the this is the clip that got everyone freaking out today since we were talking about like our take and re- and re- yeah, involving uh, the actual situation that happened with George. Like, why are we leaking this? Like, you are lucky. You're lucky that that was the only thing that Thank happened. Thank you, Bebop. This Appreciate is like, it. this is such a lucky lesson learned. Like, okay, I was underage, drinking. I was already pretty dumb. Probably shouldn't go back to the hotel room with guys alone. Some guy kind of like felt me up a little bit, but nothing happened. Mari, who left. is That is Jacob a lucky Jones. scenario. I have no idea who That's this lucky. Is. Nothing happened. You're good. Like, holy sh- What an easy way to learn a lesson without anything f- insane happening. Wait, what the-, the first time anyone had ever tried. I, sh- I, sh- I assured myself that I was just being sensitive about it all. That it wasn't a big deal. You but are. Only can go it's so not. Far. I felt dirty in a way that I couldn't wash off. Dude, his face is so good. Right? Bro, where, where did she get the the what, what diary was she reading? Like, oh, I felt dirty in a way that could never come. I could never be clean again. Like, who gave her this language? There's no way she's writing. Like, oh, bro, come thing. on. All right, so here, so people are like taking this and they're saying like, oh, Destiny is saying <laughs> that it's like totally. Um, what Destiny is basically saying here that uh, just because she was only assaulted a little bit uh suddenly it's not bad and we don't people have are also saying like oh so she's lucky because she got assaulted by a big creator and it didn't go yeah, further no, the, there are 100 destiny's 100 percent saying that she wasn't assaulted she almost could have been assaulted if there was a room full of different people under dis- different circumstances but there's not yeah so, there, so he's he's not like dismissing sexual he, he's not saying he's not downplaying assault he's dismissing it i was um it's not it's not i wasn't really woke to how performative her stream was before george's response but now that if you watch this and you recontextualize it given what happened and what she's crying about it's like insane the poetry is really crazy like literally writing a poem how do you even rational i felt dirty in a way that i couldn't be washed off what is that there are people who heard that statement thinking she got assaulted in some way yeah no people are thinking that he went gorilla mode that's a gorilla mode statement like, what do you mean? You couldn't wash off what his handprint when he tickled your stomach? All right. His okay. Name is logic. He knows how they think. The, the the other thing as well that really undermines her tears here is all of the messages after where she didn't even say anything negative really to him, you know, and even to other people. She was even like, the oh, messages yeah, she start- released look like she'd already been talking, like she was being talked into it. <clears throat> yes, yes, that Amesy person. I'm telling you, Amesy is the. You know, the, the I've had a lot of people telling me they think Amesy is like responsible for all this. Amesy's like the Heojin, right? Literally. What does that mean? Uh, okay. Uh, Slazo reference. Do you, do you know the Slazo thing? I'm gonna look into it at some point, but no. Can we, we, we explain it? Well, no, we should give you cliff notes. I think it's actually interesting because there there are parallels. Okay, go on, go on, go on. So like sure. back in the day, like the big first false allegation that like anyone on our side of the internet took note of was Slazo. Nick, this was 2018 or 19. Yeah, it was after Pro Jared, but it was pretty early. I don't think it was the. It was, bo- but it was before Pro Jared came back. Yeah, you're right. You're it right. was before Pro Jared came back, and it was before the Bernie video about that that I narrated. Yeah. It was um, it was like 2018 or 19. Basically, this girl came out saying that a 19 year old commentary YouTuber named Slazo had uh had abused her, had been a bad boyfriend, had like her. Um, she didn't really have any evidence for it. Um, but she had like this one DM, which is out of context where over discord, he says, when I get home, it's time. And so that was there. She said that he like assaulted her in a movie theater or something in a park. Like it was all this. Um, and eventually, uh, people started investigating it and looking into it. And it was pretty clear that, uh, I mean, he was a boyfriend, but that's about all you could say. There was no abuse. Also, people were saying it was grooming when they were two years apart in age, I believe. I think when they started dating, he was 17, she was 15. When they finished, he was 18, she was 16, I believe were the ages. Although my memory is kind of foggy. Um, and sort of one of the people behind all of this was uh, Pyrocynical's ex-girlfriend, Hyojin, uh, who um, was basically like just pushing allegations um, and uh, talking to the girl and trying to get her to come out against Slazo and writing a lot of the statements. And uh, we later found out way, way later, which is really funny, that all of that was basically projection from her because she had uh, personally hit her boyfriend and then she left the internet after that, um, which is really funny. That was, oh God, that was... That was such a, like, giga own when that happened. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Also, she kind of pulled the James Somerton, too. Yeah, she said she was going to, yeah. She's, all right, so here's what happened with that. She said that she was going to kill herself on Twitter. This was so during the Slazo friends, stuff, during during the, yeah. the peak of it, when and my videos were popping off. 17-year-old Turkey Tom calls me in a panic going, Oh, my God! Oh, my God! No, but um, 
uh, what happened was... <laughs> I think I might have been 16, her, yeah. It was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, there were two people. There were two people. One was her close friend. One was her boyfriend. The close friend is like, I just saw her. She's in critical condition. I don't know if she's going to make it. And the other guy's like, yeah, I just saw her. She's totally fine. They got her in time before anything happened. Um, so we never will know what happened in that situation, but we've gotten mixed reports depending on what act of how severe that situation actually was. We literally have no idea. But, yeah. yeah, we have but, no idea. But at the, at the time, though, I enlisted my videos because she was like, "I'm getting harassed. I'm getting harassed. Whatever, whatever, whatever." I regret doing that looking back, but you know, I was in I was in high school. It was uh, a different time. I was scared. I was scared to have like a body on my record. I th I was like, you know, paranoid. Now, if anything, I welcome it personally. <laughs> It's like a badge of honor. <laughs> Did you fall, dude? I lived. I lived. Is there water down there? Yes, there was one little block of water, bro. I'm kind of nervous because I want to go down there, but I can't tell where the water is. I don't know how to get back up, and I'm like gonna die. Can we? Sorry, can we listen to the call? <laughs> uh, uh, give me one second. One second. Um, <laughs> hold on. All right. It growled at me. Wait, so Chud, how I... Chud, how are you doing, buddy? My, I might get my computer's. I remember when my drivers I can't play, so sorry guys. All right, well, you can you can be in the call. That's fine. Okay, what the fuck? Oh damn it! How are you doing otherwise? Are you even going gorilla mode? Yeah, no, I can't really complain to be honest with you. Yeah, things are going good. Um, obviously lots of on the card, so that's always good. Um, just doing the thing. You know how it is. You know how it goes. I do. I'm so mad. Nick, are, are you going gorilla um, mode these days, or are you more of a uh, primate type wait, guy? What did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> it's just because it's not because you're Italian, dude. It's not. It's not like that. Wait, what, wait, what did you call me, dude? I, I said. Like you said it. I said, are you going gorilla mode? Oh. What did you think I said? <laughs> I don't know, man. I heard. Uh, it sounded like you said you something. Oh my god. Did you think I just called you All the right. N word point blank? <laughs> Yeah, dude. It sounded like it. I mean, you've, you've been known to do that. That's what I've heard about you on social media. Okay, well... I've read a lot of things. That's just true. <laughs> that's just true. I, I, I appreciate this, after being cancelled, you think the N-word now, not the false thing. We're not but playing heard, Fortnite, so... No, but I heard he did, like, a hate crime against a guy named D'Angelo Wallace. That's what true. What is the lore behind that one? <laughs> he was walking in Chicago Every alone at night getting drunk. bagels, and I went gorilla mode. Dude, every day I'm like, hey, how you doing, Tom? Or whatever on Twitter. And then someone's like, do you know that he called D'Angelo Wallace the N-word? And I'm just like, that's not even close to what happened. But then I write, yeah, and. <laughs> <laughs> that should be in my Wikipedia or something. Or Wikitubia. Your Wikitubia. Yeah. Put that at the top. All right. Let's, let's get this thing back going. I want to hear Dream. Dream in his very measured response. <laughs> Wait, James Somerton, a measured response. Three days ago, whenever this uh, first happened, I had um you know no idea whatsoever that anything sexual took place in any way Tom, can whatsoever you teleport me where we are um i don't know where we yeah. are I had, I had no idea of um, katie's discomfort or any anything at all until um her, her original statement um and uh <laughs> i want to try and give some perspective um for myself um and on, on everything uh i just want to make it clear that i'm not speaking for george i'm not speaking about george either um, I know he said in his tweet that he has more to say, and I don't know what that's going to be. Um, uh, I just want to pause. Okay, he he, he knows what it's going to be. Know. He knows what's Bro, going he to be. Lives with yeah, him. yeah. They had a conversation. Like, what what happened is he made his statement, so and Dream made his statement, and then they saw the they were getting, and then for some reason, maybe Amesy talked to them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But they had some kind of conversation that changed everything like some piece of information changed everything that we don't know we're not privy to we might not know about like some something something weird happened i i don't know what it could possibly be but like to flip in yeah. 24 hours from dream writing one of his classic long reddit posts about it to apologizing i mean it it, 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 it just doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense yeah and it's he who's being so tactical he went to dream was taken to to answer this and then all of a sudden he's like i gotta go on my main twitter guys uh, strange about my own thoughts, my own experience, um, in order to give perspective to things. I think that discussions like this are important to have um, because understanding is very he's, important. He's doing I'm the PR thing, dude, with the anything. Yeah. Understanding like is important. This, he's in. He's in. He's in. Uh, he's in. Like anyone. he's in 2019 dream mode. Understanding is important. Conversations are important. Like, okay, dude, just what is it with the three minutes of fluff? Yeah, understanding is important. Next, you're gonna tell me bad you say three minutes of fluff but we're on 2x so this is like a six minutes yeah 
Great. And why is Belle Delphine in the call? <laughs> Oh, she was there the whole time. Dude. She she, the Belle, Belle Delphine is rubbing her hands together watching all these mainstream you celebs the time, get owned. Do you remember the time that she she DM'd Augie randomly a picture of her licking her monitor while he was on the screen? Yeah, one time oh, she one time he no. had a debate with like some, sp and she messaged him and was like, "Great debate, you did a really good job." <laughs> I remember talking to God rest his soul too mad about this, and he was like saying that when he was doing the photo shoot with her or whatever, he like picked her up and threw her on her bed, and she giggled. And his boyfriend was her boyfriend was like mad as f at that. Really? Like really her pissed off. Was that? Oh, her boyfriend took the geez. pictures of them on the bed, dude. Bro, Jesus Christ! Her boyfriend was facing the BBC allegations that day. <laughs> well, I don't know if Two Man's got a BBC. He's a big lad, isn't he? So it's probably a bit on the small side. I hear it shrinks after your post. I thought. I thought. I thought. I almost, I almost said something crazy. I thought fat guys had big dicks. I thought this was a meme. Okay. Do they well, not? That's true. I thought, I thought, I, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought fat, you know, individuals. It might just be an Italian. Thing. I thought they could lay pipe. I thought they could go gorilla mode. You know. Okay. What is this place? Did they do a new cave thing? Yeah, the cave update. All right. Well, uh, he gets really dark and scary. I don't like it. I'm in the future. And so nothing that I say is is to invalidate anything. Nothing that I say is to argue Thanks, with anything. We'll be too um, anything I say is purely 100% just to show my perspective and show... Uh, you already showed your perspective. Under find understanding um, with, uh, with um, Katie, with uh, anyone who wants to understand me as a human being, as a person. Dude! I'm a reasonable what? person. What? I'm an original I'm, person. I'm a good person. I think that I... I think Always I'm a good person. Do good do I think good I'm things. a good person. Words that um, when I'm a good so person, I say I I'm a good person. Necessary to explain my perspective um, as a person. Um, this will probably be emotional, so I'm sorry for that as well. Um, this will probably we'll talk a little bit about uh, sensitive topics. So if that's sensitive to you, you know, uh, be just be aware, I guess. Um, so yeah, I want to go back to what I said before, which is obviously I had no idea about anything sexual taking place. Um, I just want to give perspective on uh, for the, the the minor actions at all with with them. Um, so Katie and Ghosty, uh, I you know I met through just a friend of mine, and um, uh, 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 they were everyone was hanging out. They were all hanging out. Um, I actually I, just to be honest, this was a very long time ago, so I, I, not everything will be perfect in terms of what I exactly remember. I actually don't remember my first ever. <laughs> interactions with them um i think it was at a house party if i remember correctly everyone was just you know drinking and having fun um and i hadn't actually been out much around vidcon because uh i was wearing the mask so i hadn't really been out much around there um i think uh Vax. everyone was uh you know just having a good time um and that was it uh my perspective from uh you know on them still up until you know uh, still to now is that uh, they were great people they were very nice and very friendly um and very uh you know fun to be around uh Hey, time out, guys. Do you know what a warden is? Yeah, it's like a boss in the cave. You don't want to fight it. It's going to murder you. I think I see it. I think you should stay the f*** away from it because it's going to, like, actually well, own you. I, I kind of have a problem. It can, make, like, the, it can make the floor move, Nick. It, yeah, I think it's doing that, but I have water here. I think you should leave. <laughs> okay, yeah. The okay. skeleton well, ended up getting you. Damn. Eugenia, shout out. Respect. <laughs> It's time to get ripped, Eugenia, Kone. And that, that didn't change. <laughs> um, when I say I, I knew... Get around nothing, I had no idea that anything sexual happened. Um, I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. Um, so someone mentioned about me, um, you know, the... the, uh, the um, some, there was some screenshot that somebody, that in Katie's uh, post, in her second post, um, regarding ages. And uh, I wasn't really concerned with anybody's ages because nothing, in my from my perspective, nothing was happening at all. It was, we were, everyone was just, you know, playing games and having fun. Um, and... Uh, just to give give some insight into drinking because people were mentioned under. By the way, does that not sound uh, horrible? Like, is that not the worst way to word that? Guys, I wasn't concerned with age. Everyone was having fun. <laughs> well, I mean, I, everyone. They I, seem I, I to, they seem dead. they seem mature yeah, for their I, age. Like, honestly, how, like... how are the kids? Yeah, but that's what it sounds like. The kids. How how are the Minecraft kids going to interpret that? Like, what what I, what Tom just said, or what Chud's thinking? Katie knew what the f unit circle was in pre calc. Like, she was out there like she's a genius dude <laughs> she knew well, she well, she, well, she knew well. advanced trig her mom said she was very smart for her age she had a ti-84 that you can graph on and you can store 
Doom on it, so she clearly was. She was able to put. She was able to install Super Mario Brothers on her TI eighty four. So she and she she did it herself. So clearly, just like we were all having fun. I think you should say these girls showed up drunk to my apartment. So I think it's that you think that I should ID them and expect to, or, or expect them to be anywhere below the age of twenty one. Yeah, uh, but well, the thing is though is um. You know, it's the Minecraft tax, isn't it? But that you did you yeah. come up with that, Nicholas, right? That's a banging Minecraft turn. tax. Thank you. Uh, spot on. Exactly right for what this is. Is it worth it though? With all this shit you gotta do. Uh if you can get out without being deemed a you're probably set for life after three uh, years of employment. Yeah, I mean well, this, also, I, the, everything's I mean the yeah, question the right. question is like, is twenty million dollars worth it? I mean maybe. Maybe. What is this forbidden Chud stream that Queeman is doing? Is he doing a stream on Chud right now? Base. That would be crazy. I think I'm oh, freezing right. right now. I'm trying to unpause, but I'm literally freezing. I think I'm um I think I think I've I've always wondered like how real are these guys compared to their public persona because Oh, these guys all talk about privately, like yo, I can fuck every single girl in my DMs. Yeah. Well the thing is there's there's definitely like a very um there's a very like pub interesting public image they cultivate of like family friendly, and it's you know kind of it's it's what they're you have to do block. to get as big as they are, right? It's what you they're have to do. Blocked. They're the closest thing to a red pillar that a nerd can be. They're red blocked. Well, they're speaking like of Queen, he always says about these Minecrafters, you've got to be like a sexless eunuch, and that's the only yeah. way that you can survive. Like no yep. sexualization ever. Or you're yeah, like Dream was literally like people were like calling him out saying that he was like thirst trapping. Sorry, thirst trapping because he was posting pictures yeah. of himself just like sitting on a couch. People were like, that's thirst yeah, trapping. Crazy. His chin is out. It's like his chin is always out. He can he can't put it away. Like he's been mewing since day one. Like he's you he, he can't put what it does away. What mewing mean? I don't I, I feel like okay. I shouldn't ask. What is the, uh, the fact mewing is mainstream is so funny because mewing is something that me and like Bedhead Bernie were talking about in like 2016. It's like an incel thing where they believe that if you press your tongue to the roof of your mouth enough and like jet out your jaw, you can strengthen your jawline, which will then make you like in the optimal position to get because women only like you if you have like predator eyes, uh, strong jawline, six four or whatever. So they would say they would say well, you, they need, like to, when you they, need to when you mute. go gorilla mode. The girls do like when you go gorilla mode on phone and grave. They do like that. Um, so yeah. People in chat are saying it works, dude. A lot of my chatters know that going gorilla mode works. Several chatters have experienced uh, turkey mode. Turkey mode. What is that? It's when you use the gobbler. Oh, dude, that's crazy. All right, let's keep going. Anybody's ages, because nothing, in my, from my perspective, nothing was happening at all. It was, we were all, everyone was just, you know, playing games and having fun. Um, and uh, just to give, give some insight into drinking, because people were mentioned underage drinking. Uh, they were, they're, they're, almost everyone that was there was 21 or older. Um, obviously, Katie Ghosty was nearly 21, and Katie was, um, you know, not, obviously. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but just to give, uh, insight into that, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know what the morally correct thing is to do with, you know, alcohol in terms of, uh, everybody, obviously I, I think at conventions, it's pretty commonplace for people that, you know, creators that are 18, 19, 20, whatever age to drink, I guess. Um, I've never. Okay. So he's really he not helping himself game, out here. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's right. He's 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 right, but people aren't ready to hear that, especially the like five year olds in his audience who think Should you don't I, drink until you're twenty five. Did you drink with at, at TwitchCon? Uh, none whatsoever. No one under the age of twenty one. You, you weren't in the room with them drinking at all. Under twenty one, no, not so. Is that just a VidCon thing? Well, the thing is, the thing is, if he was in England, aren't they all like? 14 when they drink no he went to remember when he got like harassed by a guy on the street when he was irl streaming you don't remember the clip i remember the clip well what i will what i will say is that uh before i was 21 unrelated to youtube stuff i wasn't drinking at all i never touched a drop of alcohol i didn't even know what alcohol was until i turned yeah, tom got drunk literally at one of the parties i was at yeah not even party you were just at like, we were in in in, in 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 like my airbnb i was drinking with a bunch of oh, you, we almost got you thrown out of your Airbnb because you invited us. I invited us over to drink. Yeah, because I had it. Yeah, true. But also at, a, at, a, at another another time, I was at someone's Airbnb, 
And uh, people got very mad at me because apparently there was a no parties rule or something. And I was staying with a bunch of people who were like introverted and didn't like partying. So when they were gone, I immediately invited 50 people over and we were all drinking when I was like 19. And apparently that was like, that was like, that's like the biggest thing in the world to these people. When like, obviously people who are not 21 have means of securing alcohol and drinking and they, and they want to do it. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that like you should be explicitly inviting 18 year olds. Hey man, if you're 18, I'll give you alcohol. But like, it just kind of happens. Well, the other thing, like there is stuff that I would definitely disavow that happens at VidCon. And the one that everyone knows about that I'll use as an example was um, Aiden t likes to tell the story. I think it was two years before I went. So it was this VidCon 20. Okay. Aiden, in fairness, Aiden, Aiden is, was six feet tall when he was 12 and he just yeah, walks into parties. Aiden a blunt they probably didn't know. They, like they, 15. they probably didn't know. <laughs> Well, they probably didn't know or they were high or drunk or something. But yeah, I mean, that definitely did happen. They passed Aiden a blunt when he was 15 years old. I mean, that's, old. I mean, that's, that's probably bad, but like, I don't know. Actually, there's I mean, a famous picture of Pyro Cynical kissing Hyojin. And with Aiden, Aiden in the background. And, like, posting in the background. Have that you ever was, seen that picture? Th that picture is so fun. That was like years ago when Aiden was like It's just 15. six foot Aiden staring them down as they kiss in public. He literally looks like he's about to go gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like He's stalking them like a silverback at the f zoo. <laughs> He's stalking his prey because Pyrocynical is like is like is like the the beta in the gorilla hierarchy, and Aiden is like the f alpha silverback. He's gonna steal her. Yeah, he screamed. Oh! I fell. Oh, you're. Oh, where are you? I don't know, but I think the warden's here. See my diamond. Tell him I said hi. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Seen or been around anyone at a party that has gone up to a you know seventeen year old or not seventeen, an eighteen year old or nineteen year old or anybody oh, and been God. like, hey, put that up. Come on, bro. Do you hear the Freudian slip right there? That's like, dude, why didn't you script this? Um, I've never seen or been around anyone at a party that has gone up to a you know seventeen year old or not seventeen, an eighteen year old or nineteen year old <laughs> or anybody and been like, hey, put that alcohol down. Um. Wait. You, shouldn't, you shouldn't be drinking. So when he says he's never seen anyone walk up to an 18 or 19 year old and say, hey, you shouldn't be drinking. But then he goes, oh, wait, not a 17 year old. Is that unchar uncharitably? My question would be, does that mean he has seen like that happen with with 17 year olds? Like, is that what he's saying? That's a good question. No, it's not. That was a horrible question. That's stupid. As but thank you for humoring me. I thought it was good. Especially not if they're you know, already drunk or they're just around 20 of the other of their friends. Um, so I didn't, I just genuinely, I don't know if that's incorrect of me or that's something that, if that's something that I need to in the future be, um, you know, more, uh, cautious of because, uh, I, that's not something that I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking at all about, oh, this, you know, this person is 20 years old and they're drinking alcohol. They shouldn't, they shouldn't be doing that. I, I didn't have that perspective. Um, that I understand perspective. some people do. The word perspective and, is so um, awesome. They love I'm to use words like sorry perspective, for accountability. Not thinking about that. Uh, I, from my perspective of that night, um, you know, I wasn't trying to, you know, hook up with anybody. I wasn't trying to talk to anybody in any way. Why even, than, okay, you know, why friendly? even say things like that? Um, why even say hook they, up with anybody? They, there was never even an allegation that Dream was someone there. So what? why, why is... Why is this it's like? Because he didn't know the night had a sexual connotation. He didn't know that anyone was preying on these young, impressionable eighteen. These young, impressionable he just adults. They were playing <laughs> games together and having fun. You know, he didn't know that someone had sinister ideas about how they would, how so, they would relate. Uh, uh, what? I'm sorry. Is, I was, I was going to say. So, so this sounds like a pure, a hundred percent self-preservation move from Dream, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. That's what this is. I think. I think how honestly, else? what may have happened is like. He may have had a conversation with George where George was like, look, look, mate, I'm getting in a lot of controversy right now. I wouldn't want it to hurt your career. Maybe you should make a statement and throw me under, throw me under the bus. You know, that kind of meme. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you have never claimed anything otherwise. Um, and they were drunk you know, before they came. So I, I didn't have any problem with anybody drinking. I didn't try and intervene in anything whatsoever. And, and from my perspective, uh, I had no no problem with anybody at all, um, and so I wasn't worried. I wasn't just that's just to give perspective on the fact that I wasn't worried about people's ages because I wasn't I wasn't thinking about anything other than we're having fun. It's VidCon. We're just all 
you know, everyone's drinking, everyone's just having fun and playing playing games, and that's it. Now, of course, this is in stark contrast to how Bo Black's approaches VidCon. Okay, when he's at VidCon, he's trying to sling in any direction. Okay, that's how he's that's how he's thinking. The Bo Black, the Bo Black's allegations are crazy. Dude, do you remember when Bo Black's whipped out his toes? Unfortunately, I remember the smell because he's constantly whipping out his toes anywhere he gets that he thinks he's is like is like. He's fucking, like Toph from Avatar: The Last Airbender. He's always gonna take him out. <laughs> yeah, he he can only feel comfortable when his toes are out for everyone to smell. This is a true <laughs> allegation. Okay, um, I have smelled Bo Black's feet against oh my, my god. wall. Really? <clears throat> Jesus Christ, man! Bo Black's what? literally went gorilla mode with Gather. the feet. <laughs> I killed the fuck. God, stop! Gorillas are always way. have their I feet out. Have you noticed? Um. Uh. Later on, whenever. Uh, um, you know, after that night, um, I stayed in contact with uh, Katie and Ghosty, and um, bro, isn't it funny? Uh, that the guy's I, I genuinely name is thought they were really cool people. I thought that they were fun to. Is it Ghosty like a? I, I thought Ghosty was a like, was a woman. Um. Well, yeah, but the person's name is Ghosty, and Ghosty just happens to also be the name of the person from the commentary community. I say that very loosely, by the way. Who lied about his dead mother? Oh, I forgot about Ghosty. I forgot that was even. Yeah, the name. he lied saying his mother died for sympathy. Based. And then had to concede that his mother was in fact still alive. I think that was cool. That was one of the craziest. Uh... I prefer to say he got cancer, personally. I think that's a better life for sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean then you, like, you can, you can oh, got donations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know. Hang out in the future. Um, you know, as friends, obviously. And um uh you know, none, none of those conversations were you know, with George or in, or anything involving George. And again, I'm not here to speak about George or for George. This is completely independent of that. This is just purely um, for perspective. Um, uh, I had I had no idea. Again, I just I'm going to be repeating myself a lot, but I had absolutely no idea of any Publix getting sugar coated until many months later. Um, and even then. Uh, what had happened was Harry That's made... That's the other thing. Know, uh, I didn't know that there was any allegation until many months later. Did, like... Did George just find out that he, like, uh, allegedly assaulted somebody yesterday? Like, did he just... Are we supposed to believe he just figured it out? The thing he said in his video was that he had never heard there was anything uncomfortable until he saw Katie's stream, and then he watched it, and he was like, oh, what's this about? Who's this about? And then slowly then he realized it was about why did Dream say until many months later just now? Did Dream not inform maybe, him that some people uh, were feeling Maybe when he said many months later, they mean, like like yesterday i mean the other thing i think we've not really got to is is katie's response was there something in katie's response that triggered dream to say this except for the 21 year old wristband thing yeah, it's we should, it we well katie's response had the uh she was saying she never had a wristband it was someone else that they confused as her right yeah the mm. wristband thing was a f up they shouldn't have mentioned but that. i feel yeah, yeah. but I feel, I feel like they should he should have just left that out entirely because it doesn't really matter because she was 18. Well, well no, yeah, it doesn't, no, it doesn't no, matter but it to does us, matter. but to if them it, but to them it matters to the fucking no, I, it matters to me if I found out that she was going around to 21 plus parties all weekend and now we're supposed to just like, oh, no, I wasn't 21. Right. How could he have known? Well, I agree, but I, I all weekend long. Then the like at, w at what point would I be like, oh, okay, I don't really I agree, but I feel like they had the slam dunk anyway with the, the fact that she was cuddling with him all night, which she never said in the initial statement she made. She never said they were cuddling. Average. This is something that people know about, but average Harry made a tweet in my replies. Uh saying i don't have it so but saying something along the lines of that you know i i implying that i i somehow miss misused like alcohol and an 18 year old invited a, there's something like i invited an 18 year old to my hotel room to drink um at the time that was about katie and of course when it first was tweeted i was like what what is happening what is this you know of course what is this about um but then i thought about it and i i you know i I realized, oh wait, this is probably about Katie, and I was like, wow, it's it's nothing like that. I that implication is terrible. I I didn't I didn't you know really invite her. She was like a plus one for one of my friends, um, uh, you know, plus one, and and uh, you know, I, it was not. I was like, it wasn't. I don't think they would think that it's you know nefarious at all, right? And so I, um, I reached out to when that happened. I reached out to like everyone, and um, I was again at that point. I was at I had no impression whatsoever of any any sexual thing happening anything any problem anyone having any anything nothing i had no no idea i thought that uh he was implying that i did something wrong with um with katie and so i i messaged um katie i messaged ghosty i messaged uh, everyone else that was there 
um, pretty much, and was like, what is happening? What is this, you know, what is this about, essentially? Um, and uh, Did someone die by I a waterfall? I found a bunch had a conversation stuff. with um, um, Katie. Okay. Are you in the floor? Yeah, I can. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, somewhere else, like just away from all the. Uh, oh, oh. No, 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 my perspective, what my, my thought process was, you know, this guy hates me, or this, they're, they're, you know, the UK people in the UK, or, or that's the, the, you know, this that's the, group. actually the funniest. Was, I was gonna say it's the worst part, but it's really, it's really the funniest. Where after talking so much about the UK people in this confession, he has to concede all the yardage he just tried to get yesterday. And he's like, Yes, well, you know, I just, uh, I mean, the UK people, I mean, they were riding me for a while, but I guess, um, I guess their feelings were valid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He tried to make a, like a power play against them. Like they, I'm telling you, the Thrones made some power play. It didn't pan out for some reason, and now he's got to be like a tail between his. Like I mean, up. the thing is, like, I I think oh, it, I think if they had stuck it out, is... if they had stuck it out, I think it would have played out like pretty decently. Like if they had just stuck the with with their story, which was moment. which was the true story, I think they would have been fine. For some reason, though, they decided to cower, and I don't know why. Like, I still don't understand this. Like they were okay yeah, I mean, from George's response. I think anybody who's reasonable and is not in the cancer Minecraft community would have assumed like yeah nothing bad happened the, the tide was turning even people from within the minecraft community were coming more on george's side and you know yeah like stan accounts stan, stan accounts were like why yeah, was katie yeah, there yeah. i mean yeah. this the whole yeah. subreddit dream was taken too it was pro i mean they're still kind of pro george they've flipped a lot ever since twitter started being nicer again a little bit but i mean i i'm, I'm, I'm not pro george i <laughs> George, dude, that guy sucks. He's, I mean, he He's sucks. He sucks. He sucks. Print. He sucks now. But yeah. I, I didn't think he sucked. I thought it was fine. I think he needs to go down. I don't care. Dude. I, I, think I tell you what, you guys would be lawyers in the Jim Crow era selling blacks down the river, right? Because you wouldn't <laughs> yeah. stand to your principles of defending someone when they think they're guilty, even though they're not. No, it's but. not even that they think they're guilty. I'm disgusted that they would even concede. Like, I don't think he thinks he's guilty. I think he's trying to. I think he's submitting to the mob. No, okay. clear, clearly yeah. that's what's happening. If you, want, yeah. if you want to bring it into that, all right, I think he's doing the jogger thing that Destiny and Vosh were debating on. And when Vosh <laughs> said submit to the mob, I think George was listening. Because the because the irrational position is the one that is the one that came after. The irrational one was on George's stream where he laid it all out. The irrational one is now that I've seen Katie's perspective, it's all changed. Katie's perspective, like she had to backtrack. She had to reveal the fact that she lied yeah. by omission about the cuddling thing, which is a game changer. Like the initial story she told was she was just sitting on the couch playing games on her phone and he starts touching her. So she starts trying to distract herself with being on her phone. And he keeps going. He puts his hand up her shirt. And then it turned out she was cuddling with him for a hour, which changes literally everything. No, no, absolutely. Ah. Correct. I mean, it was like completely absurd. Like they actually had to walk back on. She had to like almost completely change her story to, well, no, actually I, I, I was there, but I didn't want to get up because I was worried I might get more or less, right? Like it's yeah. absurd. Everything, everything around her story had to change, and yeah, yeah, they yeah. would have been like literally all the people they hate probably would have been destroyed within a matter of a week if they had just stuck it out and stuck with their story, which was true. Their story was real; it was valid. They had screenshots for it. Katie had to admit to it. She had to kowtow. and so like literally all all they could have done is stuck it out, and people would have quickly realized how these people were. But instead, they decided to bow down because everything changed. I don't know. The child nation. <laughs> Literally, dude. I think they all got vaccinated last night and just everything fell apart. They got they took the vaccination. <sighs> you, 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 you can't help these people. Like it's literally over. Like, no, I, I don't agree. want to. It's not that I can't. I don't want to help these people. I, I wanted I no to. Answer. I wanted to a little bit. I wanted to, yeah. When I read Wilbur's first statement when he was like conceding and then also denying i was like all right there's no way i can help that guy and then i saw george and i'm like i guess we oh my god what the fuck what did i just step on okay uh when i saw george i'm like i guess we could try to like work this one this one looks this seems pretty like doable and then i'm reading this shit and i'm like okay okay and then he puts out a statement it's like okay that guy's not salvageable anymore there's nothing no. i can do to help them they gave in yeah you, you you can only stand up for someone else so much like people have to stand up for themselves in these situations yeah, i'm, I'm, I'm still fighting this argument because i'm defending my arguments i've made in the last 48 hours yeah right? like, it's I, not about them anymore I'm me. it's no, not exactly. about them at all no you reap what you find i think you, so. you, you, have, you, you have a principle of what you believe about evidence etc but if someone's not going to stand up for themselves there comes a point where it's like well, i can't i can hold you up like good no. luck to you right? but i think i think honestly i think they realize that admitting it or like bowing down would make it go away faster and that was it and because they just want to move on with their you know they just want to move on with their career 
Yeah, and, and and also that plays well. I'm taking accountability, guys. Right, that's what it's like. like but the hear. thing they think you're taking accountability for is assault. If you found out your friend was assaulting girls all the time, you wouldn't want to be friends with that guy anymore, right? Like obviously, sure. you wouldn't want to do content with him. You wouldn't want to be around him. That's why Augie's not around anymore. Okay, dude. <laughs> Base. But 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 but, but assault with Augie. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Bolak's gonna keep his feet away from him. Like gorilla it's mode. Oh my god, dude. Gorilla <laughs> after hours. Still, um, you know, like the grooming allegations that were the, the that were going on at the time. And so my perspective, oh, these these people don't like me because of this, and therefore uh, he's you know making Wait, trying to make something. Can somebody send me that. Of Tweet me. that at me. One of the Twitter freaks are asking their followers to brigade community notes for pointing out an 18-year-old grooming an 18-year-old oh, is boy. nonsensical. Please, can you find that tweet? I want to harass. I mean, uh, I want to be a. Uh, Yo. Uh, I want to be. Uh, I want to go gorilla mode on them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hang out with Mo Moonji Cat. You're talking about the Moonji Cat allegation. Is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. That girl is crazy. Okay. The girl's nuts. Yeah. I've not read it in detail. Like in unison. Does that mean anything to you? Well, the that number three is you, you asked people not to say three, just say three if you didn't think it was a saw, right? Uh, can, yeah, can, can we get three no, no, gorilla no. emojis in a row, guys, please? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm sorry to break it to you, but this is the kick drama. Basically, some of the kick streamers are saying, put three in chat if you want to the woman on screen. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you, Flamenco. Thank you, Flamenco. Okay? Thank you. I, did, I didn't understand what that. What the f***? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was the, the joke. Fuck? That was the joke, Sean. I didn't... Obviously, Tom didn't understand, did he, you f moron? Did Wait, you didn't know Tom? No! Oh, <laughs> Okay, never mind. You're good. Wait, so gorilla mode is an actual thing? I'm not the no, originator. The gorillas were not associated. But the three. We added the, the three. I'm now getting like seven gorillas in chat. What happens to you if you if you get gorilla moded to to level seven? Like if you're a level seven gorilla Ooh. and you oh, get your boy. claws in someone, what happens? <laughs> Told to shreds. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Blown out disorder. <laughs> yeah, drop lasagna. Lasagna, dude. It's a lasagna. How will this affect Tipster's legacy? <laughs> oh my god! Right, no more flamenco references. No more Tipster references from you, please. Think of it. Okay, I'm sick of it. So I'm, I'm, oper I'm operating under that assumption. I'm reaching out to people to talk about it. Um, and uh, uh, at the time, Katie's reply to me, I, I, I found odd, um, and I mentioned that to Ghosty and also to another person that was there. Um, I'm gonna go gorilla uh, mode and all the. Skeletons in this game. To me is, Holy she, you know, she didn't. She didn't. She implied that what he was saying wasn't true, but also didn't like. Didn't say, "Hey, you did nothing wrong," or didn't you know? Didn't like. Wasn't being super overly friendly when this happened. Um, and uh, of course, uh, everyone that I talked to at the time speculated that that was because the the group doesn't particularly like me. Um, that was not. It wasn't necessarily. Um, uh, uh, there, there was no no implication of any sexual wrongdoing there was no implication of george having done anything there was no nothing at all and um obviously in hindsight now you know knowing what i know um i'm under the assumption now that that was because people didn't want to share her feelings and she wasn't ready yet to share her feelings um which means and but like, I, 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 just, I she wasn't convinced yet that she was abused yeah I, this I, is such coat yeah. man the messages at the time where she was like, oh, yeah, it was a bit whatever. You know, it was clear she wasn't that bothered about it, right? And this namesy freak, I'm sure of it, yes, yes, lighted her into making these. You're, 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 you're really on the, uh, the, the, you're really on the TAD shit. You hate Amesy, huh? Like, well, Amesy's why wouldn't I? Well, the thing is, I just, I, I don't know that she's the one. Um, I, okay. I think, I think she's a linchpin, but I think there's others as well. What? I think. Bro, come on, I'm dude. Sorry. I'm sorry. Come on now. I don't even mean it like that, dude. I think I she's, think sort, she's a sort of a baby silverback. <laughs> what does that? What the fuck does that mean? Sorry, Chad. Please continue your point. No, no. It's very, it's very, you know, she, she is the linchpin because she is the one at the center of it amongst all of those creators. 
you know, and, and she was talking, bear in mind, I'm pretty sure that's just between her and Katie before, where Katie was going like, oh, it was a bit weird or something like that, right? So I can only imagine what happened from there. And I guarantee that she was putting the, you know, the sh whispering in her ear how bad it was and shit like that. Obviously, I can't prove it, but I think that's what happened. I mean, have you seen her? She jumps on every allegation. Like, she is the one. And every post. She is always know, Validating there. it. Yeah, right? She is him. It's crazy. Yes. I and agree, she's yeah, ugly, too. She's sort of the reverse Gishlane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. She's always there. Time, I had no... She's trying to take over the seas, the Terramar project. No idea at all. I had no implication of that at all. And so I was under the impression, oh, well, oh, she's responded. She responded really to me about this. Oh, it's, she's probably feeling pressure to, you know, from her friends that don't like me um, uh, to not talk to me, essentially, is what I was thinking. And I shared that thought with Ghosty. I said, I said to Ghosty, I said, oh, it's, you know, I, I don't know why she responded. It's why, because that, and Ghosty was like, yeah, you know, Ghosty, uh, of course, you know, nothing, uh, you know, Ghosty said then matters to how she feels, how she, how she thinks or feels now and doesn't impact you know, Katie's experience whatsoever. That's not, I'm only, again, everything I'm saying is for pure perspective. That's it. It's from my perspective as a human being and as a person, um, as a human to being, bring understanding to, this. to bring understanding. How brave. Yeah. How brave. I hate the yeah. phrasing around this to bring understanding perspective accountability. That's how you know, he's talking in like Minecraft politics. So, you know, he's talking to children. Wait. Bazinga situation. Um, so when that happened, of course, I reached out to everybody and I, I was trying to figure out what, you know, what exactly was, was going on. Um, and this was the first time ever that there was any mention of any problem. Someone just said this in the chat, but could you imagine the games they were playing was John Swan's fully finished Minecraft sex mod. And they were all just sitting around playing the Minecraft sex mod with each other. If you guys are wondering where John went, that's where he is. He got hired by the dream team. He lives at the house now with puns. Especially working for Microsoft. <laughs> To make the Minecraft sex mod from Dream's basement. Base, that was dude. his punishment. And, Reward uh, uh, that that I that I knew of whatsoever from my perspective. Um, and uh, when uh, talking to somebody that was there, uh, this was the first time ever that somebody mentioned ages. Um, and they mentioned that um, they said, "Oh, well, I, I'm not sure what any of this is about, but maybe Harry's saying that because um, you know George is, uh, you know George is 20." 26 or whatever and katie's 18 or katie, katie was 18 um and i was like whoa I'm like what i replied i was like what did but nothing <laughs> like nothing happened right like nothing there was nothing that happened and of course they replied I'm like yeah no, i don't know i don't know what they would probably just you know uh whatever and of course still at that point uh there was no there was no mention yeah of, i lost a bet like assault there was no mention of any uncomfortability any any anything at all What's been mentioned is like an not even awkward at the time. Something that retrospectively was somewhat awkward. That is clearly not assault. Clearly not. Wait, do you think that the who's that person that you keep saying you think is the kingpin? Amesy. Amesy. Do you know if Amesy was there? No, she was not. It, well, Ames, well, she wasn't in the room, but um, Amesy mentioned that Katie passed her in the lobby, and Amesy is now saying that she was a bit worried about her because she was drunk. So she claims now. So like. Is Amesy by any chance any... I'm trying to find out, because I don't know who this is, and I feel like this is the main thing that we need to be figuring out, is who the f*** is the person that was supplying this girl alcohol all weekend, getting her f drunk, sending her off to, like, famous YouTubers' hotel rooms and leaving her there until the wee hour is, like, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning the next day? Because I want to know, because those people are probably the ones I would like to ask questions to. Those are names, we, those are names we'll never get now. We only would have gotten those. We are those... not allowed to know who we, the fuck is, like... We, we... The, deploying we, this minor into like famous youtube hotel room the only way we would have gotten those names is if the allegations had panned out differently like if if george stuck to his story then the question would have been that and then maybe eventually one of katie's friends would have buckled and would have told the story now we're never getting it yeah because i mean that's the big one right like it's one thing to like I mean, you're you hear stories like this all the time, like, oh, I went out with my friend and then she ran off with a guy or something and left me there or whatever. And I didn't know any of these people. But like, this is an 18 year old girl. 
right? If they're going to weaponize it, I'll weaponize it back. There's an 18 year old girl who's in a strange place she doesn't know. She's in Anaheim, California. Okay, Chud Logic almost got beaten on the streets because he was IRL streaming, <laughs> and someone started. Talking. I mean, it's a dangerous <laughs> neighborhood. Okay, Disneyland's over there, and you know, like, one of the hardest gangsters go to. Yeah, dude. Disneyland is in that area. Let's, let's just say there's a lot of crack addicts, race non disclosed. Well, Lots of crack thing. addicts flying about. I mean, it's play, bro. There's a homeless guy on every corner it's the only place like new york that it made me feel like home you know it's crawling with silverbacks literally the (laughs) anaheim zoo is crazy Um, oh well sorry just to say as well you're talking about getting accosted every single person that accosted me in la was a certain race but you know i don't want to dwell on it too much but that is just factual i'm just speaking facts right now it was white the white race the aryan race Uh, uh, it was the aryan race it was a specifically. Maltesians are disgusting. Uh, to me, or or that I that I knew of remotely at all, um, and so from my perspective, this was a still a a matter of that up until that first comment of anything, I was under the impression that way, I was being accused of something street, by someone. Like, oh, Nick's hanging out with all these racist people. I'm I'm going to say uh, I'm horrified. I have literally not I, made I, a single I, comment when, about when race. When Chud Logic made a, would have made a race comment, I froze and I didn't know what to do in that moment in time. Dude, I'm toning it down for your streams now. And that's why that's that's why you got up and went back to cuddling him, Nick, right? Yeah, that's I got I got up and then I went back and started cuddling. You went back to cuddling Chud Logic because I didn't want him. Oh, I didn't want him, no, I didn't want him to feel embarrassed or insufficient next to Tom. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> while, while he while he uh, played under- Angry Gorillas so he was on his playing phone, games on his phone because he can't play on his PC. He was playing a version of Angry Birds, but it's all you. You got Minecraft on your phone. You got games on your phone. Oh, it's like Angry Birds, but you find black people white women. Dragon. I don't know. What is that something? Dude, he was, she was trying to beat the Ender Dragon. Dude, George, George not found. He's a 26 year old Minecraft YouTuber. Just started patting her on the tummy. George not found. He's an 18 year old. He says, Can I pet that dog? Dude, I'm freshly 27, guys. This is super f- up. All right, let's keep, let's keep going. You're old. Dude. What's going on? So, of course, in at me talking oh, to Oh, I'm sorry. One more um, thing. Do you know this birthday is in January? Yeah, yeah. And this was in so she was So, so year, she like. was 18 and a half. Yeah, freshly 18. That's just another part of the story that blows my mind. It's just called mind. being 18. Yeah. yeah. At, what, at, just, at, yeah. At, at what point are you, like, ripely 18? Like, at what point have you fully matured and, like, been seasoned by the weather? Is it, like, 18 oh, and nine months is when you're ripe? Like, how does it work? <laughs> right. Well, Anytime anyone work. ever says end a half, it's usually for, uh, the, the, like, dude, a bad end a half? Like, are we in the fourth grade? Like, I'm nine and a half. Exactly. That's what kids talk about their age. Yeah. But, well, that's what they're trying to do. Obviously, I mean, it's obvious to say, but they're, they're trying to invoke childhood, right? It's very clear. That's the whole point of this discussion. Yeah. When it's not relevant. And, uh, of course, again, like I said, it was speculated. Oh, well, I think this is because of the fact that they don't like you because of the f- right you know, allegation. Because of uh, the, other, the other stuff that was going on. Um, now, I will say uh, that I think that um, my perspective due to uh, my experience with my video and, and um, before my video, my experience with, um, you know, false allegations being Wait, hold around on. me. Can we do, that, I need uh, to do something quickly. Chat, if someone can help me with this, that would be so awesome because I don't want to try to figure it out midstream. Um, can somebody transcribe Katie's statement? Please. I don't know if you have like an application. Someone has transcribed it on Twitter or someone can find it because it is out there. Someone please transcribe it into text for me because I ain't reading all that. I'm going to make tips to do it. Okay. Let's keep going. I, I was inclined to just assume with pretty much everybody. And I've assumed that with a lot of like friendships that I lost or with a lot of people that I don't talk to anymore or people that just don't like me, I've just kind of blanketly made the assumption that that person, oh, they don't talk to me because I have, you know, there, there's these allegations. That's why. Um, so when the whole, you know, UK group started being extra, you know, mean online and saying, saying, criticizing By stuff. Way, this and is saying, all and about the, I didn't saying, realize how much of this was about the UK group. It's really who, playing. In the who specifically is the UK yes. group? Like, obviously, Ames is yeah. one of them, but like Tommy in it? Like, like, he's addressing the part that people understand the least. I don't even know. I have no idea. Wilbur? Is Wilbur one of them? Why, no, I think Wilbur I think wasn't Wilbur, really in the community. Was he wasn't really well, doing no, Minecraft. He was, he was doing music. Of... Well, no, but he was came from that community, right? So attacking Wilbur was an attack on them, right? In some way. I, I guess think. so. But 
in fairness, don't they want Wilbur gone? Well, well, yeah, at that point they did. But that's why Dream attacked him so hard, because he knew that he couldn't be criticized for making that attack when it was a very craven political move from him, I think. Dude, Wilbur was out here being like... Craven. You scared to bite him? Well, I can't relate. Scared to go silverback on a... That was oh right. <laughs> she was ripely 18. <laughs> I'm just gonna oh. Do it. oh, okay. I saw a comment cop DM me and I thought I did something gravely wrong on stream. All right, let's keep going. <sighs> things about me being evil or saying things about, you know, whatever <laughs> online. Of course, I'm, I'm just going to assume that's what that's, that's what that, that's about. Um, I had no, I, I wasn't, I had no idea at all that this was even a possibility. Um, and even when I went and, you know, talked to everybody uh, that was there, um, no one said anything. No, no one said anything at all. And that's, that's completely understandable. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, Again, this is just to share my perspective. I'm not saying that, oh, they, they should have. That's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm just saying that I, I had no idea. I had no idea. And even when I made an effort to try and figure out what was going on, I still had no idea. <laughs> um, so anyway, from, from that point on, of course, uh, we're under that, um, that assumption. Uh, move forward, of course. And then um, yeah, you know, later on, uh this this happened um of course when i saw katie's uh original um post and her original stream that she did um i was shocked i was incredibly shocked i was confused um uh my you know i was i was sad genuinely i i i, I didn't know like what to think i didn't know what to do um and of course uh <laughs> I I watched it multiple times. I and then I went and talked to George about it and was um you know talking about <clears throat> uh you know many of the things that happened going through I went through every text message that I he sent sounds very about, nervous. about the event. I went through every conversation Whoa. that I had ever had about everything. Tom, um, can you to teleport and, us back to where we're you know, supposed to be? What only uh, if Smaggles Smaggle, are you in the house? Uh, Smaggle, go to the you, house. Understand and then type in chat. Sorry, we're good. Uh, that wasn't me pausing. That how was stream not talking. I could have oh. overlooked something, if that makes any sense at all. Why does he keep saying if that makes um, any sense? If that because, makes any sense. Uh, I was just confused. I was what you know what I would never this was this is out of nowhere. This is something that to me came absolutely out of nowhere. Um, and of course, in talking to um, George about it, and again. Just to clarify, I'm repeating myself, but I'm not speaking for Stop George. Stop saying I'm that I'm speaking. bad at Minecraft. That just also means I'm not a good groomer, okay? Base. About George, other than this very specific instance, because it's important. The legend of the Long um, Island Silverback. Uh, the perspective um, from uh, what George shared in his stream, of course, is from uh, his... It was from his uh, perspective and is very similar to what he you know, explained to me. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, having the perspective that, Hey, these people, you know, hate me for what in my they mind is no reason. Us. And I, even when I, I had a conversation with Harry, whenever that happened and I asked, I said, I said, well, what, what is there? Why, why do you not like me so much? Like, what, what did I, what did I do? Essentially? I, I literally asked him that. Um, and, uh, he was, he, he, after I, I also, after I explained the whole, um, situation, I cleared up the you know, Katie's situation with him. This was, again, a while ago before uh, this new information. Um, and uh, and I thought things back then, I, that's all, <laughs> he didn't share anything. He didn't, he didn't say anything that I could, uh, you know, know. Um, and so, first of all, I, I, I guess on, on that point, uh, I want to mention something that um, Katie said in her, her tweet. Um, and it's that she mentioned near the end of her tweet, she said something along the lines of like, uh, you know, other people have had experiences with them. She said them. Um, and, uh, I just want to say that if anyone, anyone whatsoever has had Fuck. any negative experience, any, any, you know, especially anything remotely like this with, with, with any of. I lost connection, sorry. Um, <laughs> if anyone has had... Dude, he was really building to something there. I just got...
Rob. You guys want to cut ahead to when he cries? I want to hear the whole thing, doing? honestly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just keep keep yeah. it moving. Any any negative experience with any of my friends or any anybody that I know or that I'm friends with or close with or anything, um, if anybody has had any negative experience, please tell me. Please. Please. I will not go straight to them and tell them. I will not. I will. I will first and foremost under, try and understand and try and hear try and hear what you have to say. Um, I understand there, there's some people, especially from her friend group and from people, uh, you know, after this point that probably even, you know, at this point will not want to believe or hear anything that I have to say. Um, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not this horrible person that will bite your head off. I, I would love, I would love to talk about anything, anything at all, any under, misunderstanding. Because if you have any problems, DM anything. me privately not, instead again, of blowing it up on Twitter. not about this specifically. This is just in general. Um, because I, I had no idea, and it's horrible of me to think that people thought for, there was a lot of people for almost eight months that were sitting there thinking that, and, and, and you know, uh, you know what it sounds like? Very hypercritical of me. Someone just brought it up in chat of a reference that I made a couple of streams ago for something else. But it literally feels like the chicanery scene from better call saul it's like it, like he, he he just wants to turn around and start yelling it's like it was, it was george it was, it was george YouTubers. they defecated through a sunroof like just start screaming about how the uk youtubers are it was amesy but no not my amesy not our amesy <laughs> it could never be amesy amesy defecated through a sunroof that's what happened base yeah. um without me having any idea what what uh what for essentially and i would i would i of course i would have wanted to hear any of this or anything at all at the the moment what the fuck moment that i that i could have at all um and i know and he's and asking for that, blackmail uh, on his friends in her post saying Ace. them um it's like please 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 if you have had a negative experience with any of my friends or if you have had or if you have some of that please please don't, don't let me get blindsided think that again. i'm like it, i have this like <laughs> i don't i don't even know how to describe it but it, it is i'm they they tweet like i'm this like evil manipulative mastermind essentially and i understand if you have that opinion i understand that that that's that, that's <sighs> but i'm a human being i am a human being that i i will listen to you i will talk to you <laughs> i don't know where i don't know where i'm sure this is going to convince them like dude i'm sure now they're going to be cool with, with you with me they're totally not going to go right back that's ever up. known me right if right after you just on them too you're like oh god i finally yeah. have a way to f these people up the way they deserve and he's like oh f i was wrong okay guys so if you have any problems with me I just I'm, I'm a really understanding it. human guy this is just my perspective i'm taking accountability dude just go silverback mode and own these people like holy sh there's there's literally no reason there's no reason to bow down to them they will never like you you will, no matter how many times you apologize, you will always be waiting with bated breath for the next time they get a chance to cancel you and try to ruin your career. And they will. They will take it. Every time you apologize, you are one step closer to when they get to ruin you. Like, it already, it's already happening to George. The next allegation is going to be Dream consensually kissed a girl and she didn't like it after the fact because his breath smelled like that, poop because he was busy eating out of the toilet. So the that next allegation we're, is going to be that. <laughs> We're, we're dangerously close to a situation where someone has consensual sex and regrets it, but says, I'm, I'm an 18 year old. It basically already happened, dude. This, this meowsy, whatever no, but person. This person didn't even have sex. Yeah. Like there, there's going to be a person who goes live and goes, look, I consented at the time. I really thought I wanted to do it, but he used his power over me. And the fact that I was just 18 to abuse me. The fact I was just 23. That, I was freshly 23. I, I, I don't think it's a joke. I think it's really going to happen to somebody. No, it yeah. will in the next week. I, I, yes. And and I they're gonna apologize. Really gonna it's like I thought the sex was consensual at the same time. I wasn't drinking. I I literally uh, he just convinced me that I wanted to f him and I did it. And now like I I regret it or something like that. And they're gonna use that. They're gonna go you f that woman. And it's Ginger Coon in chat says I saw Nick go Italian gorilla mode on ten pizza pies. I saw him go Italian gorilla mode on an IHOP order from Uber Eats two years ago, and I haven't recovered mentally so. <laughs> Dude, when Oggy was underage and drunk, when he was like 20 years old at VidCon, he was harassing like an Uber employee. What did he say? He was like, I want my Beaner Blast. He's like talking about Baja Blast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he just didn't pay them or something. 
will say, I talk, <laughs> I will message you, I will reply, I will have a conversation openly about anything, anything at all, whatsoever. Um, and it, 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 hurt, it hurts me to even think about the fact that... Oh, uh, Chad, uh, that's actually why Edwin left. Not because of any of the other stuff. Edwin left the community because of Augie's order. His silverback <laughs> beaner blast. Yeah. <laughs> I made that up, by the way. You never said that. It, you know, I said you that. Totally did. Uh, that she was afraid. That Katie was afraid to say something um, to me. Katie should do a whole documentary on this called "Mostly Clothed and Afraid." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fully clothed. <laughs> Hardly undressed and afraid. <laughs> Dude, she couldn't wash off the stench of his poopy ass hand or something. <laughs> Like, what was on his hand Could that you made imagine? Her... Wait, imagine if this was all because he didn't shower and he just smelled like so she was stunned. Like, she was just so stunned that a person had such lack of hygiene that she was just like, she didn't know what the... He literally... We don't he, have, uh, we don't have... Something you don't we're understand is, much like Wilbur's suit, all the Minecrafters wipe with their hands. <laughs> oh, That's the like other a... thing! Like a gorilla, they fling... They go gorilla mode, dude. Yes. No, I Sorry. think Wilbur's a dog. I think that the girl was like, I am a white woman in hell that consensually gets to f a dog. But then Wilbur bit too hard, and then she tried to take him to the pound. Like, Thank that's, you, Mercy, for the that's, dono. That's legitimately those allegations. I will take care of it Wilbur for you. You'll get it back soon, so okay? It's going to, to the moon. Him. Pulling all your money into Lockheed Martin stock. Like, Wilbur's a dog name. Like, my mom had a dog named Wilbur growing up. So I mean I I'm putting these things together. This is these are the these are the things that have been left out for me, and I am putting them together. I mean she's a white woman. That's so, you know, the That's what I'm saying. Quite natural, the, yeah. Isn't it? yeah, they're um they're bred for it. White women are bred for it. I would say. Sorry, just a bit of a quick tangent. Do you remember that woman on Twitter that was like, "Yeah, I the dog," and was just completely open about it recently? Yeah. Oh, oh recently? Insane. No, I always think of uh, well, Whitney Wisconsin. Right Whitney Wisconsin is yeah. the classic Wisconsin one. Was that like was the, the first one. That was the first one. There's another one as well though. She yeah, I saw her. Yeah, she was like a vegan who like doesn't who like dogs, right? That was her thing. Oh god, Base. I'm back in I'm back in this place again. Right. Sunken place. Right, can get out. Go. I that can't unpause this because I'm, I'm and that is my fault as well. Right so I am sorry, Katie. I am sorry that you felt that I was not approachable enough for you to express what a. Jesus, your I'm sorry that you felt that or your way, pain Katie. Or, um, what a riveter what apology. Um, Nothing happened. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, of course, just to share, I made a Reddit post. Um, I've taken it down now. Um, right. But that was, again, that was after I, I talked to George. I, Look, dude, uh, yeah, he yeah, is I, making it about himself. And if there was a sexual assault here, I'd be really upset about that. Uh, if somebody got sexually assaulted, I would be really, I'd be really pissed that he just did that. What were you gonna say, Tom? I think you had a thing. I was just gonna say, like, the, the giant Reddit post is always the sign. I think that Dream is about to back down because that's what he did with the. Do you remember the like the like, war cry where he was like, "You f losers are f angry at me for doing f nothing." Everyone f does war cries in SpongeBob. It's not appropriate in culture. I'm one sixteenth Pocahontas, so I can do whatever the. F I want and then the next day he's like hey guys so sorry i apologize for what i said like i was out of line i went silverback mode on stream i'm sorry like i'm 115th pocahontas i'm, I'm hey, so he was like i'm squanto when this you're gonna tell me what i can't do like he was he was mad he was like i'm literally with lewis and clark right now you're telling me i can't do a war cry like that was literally what he was saying and then all of a sudden it's like backtracking like i'm probably blowing my opportunity to dream interview right now by the way which i had locked in but w honestly just it. this is just this is a horrible showing horrible you can't defend these people yeah. it's i i don't know it's sad because i don't know I, I mean i thought he handled his last situation really well and just this whole thing is really i literally have an entire video written about the false allegations and now this happens like awesome yeah. Dude, my concurrent viewer is like the year everyone in this chat was born. It's 2005, oh, guys. Flex, <laughs> little flex from Nicholas Base. there. Oh, uh, you seem to be above uh, Tom's numbers there, Nicholas. Any comment I don't on that? Think, I don't know if I am. That's, uh, that's, that's the Palestinian media misrepresenting my view count. Oh, I tell you guys I figured out the Palestinian <laughs> conflict. Why hasn't Dream talked about Palestine yet? 
No, no, I figured it out. Dude, hold on. Wait, I've gone. Wait, why hasn't time. Dream talked about Palestine, though? Like, I feel like we need Chad, his voice. Chad, did you hear how I figured out Palestine? Go on, what, 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 how? Okay, check this out. Are you on my screen share? We're going to do this for yeah, you yeah. this real quick. All right. So there's a tweet that I saw from back in the olden days, and I thought this was just a simple joke. I was unaware that this was actually culturally relevant. So there's a tweet, uh, and it's an, it's an article written by Marjorie Ingall, and it's called The Jews of the Canine World. Pitbulls have been unfairly stereotyped as genetically dangerous monsters. Sound familiar? So this was written in 2016, shortly before there was any problem in the Middle East, right? But the issue is, um, I'm reading this, and I, that sounds crazy. This is obviously like a pro-Pitbull person making some mm. absurd claim. But then I, then I think about it. That makes the toddlers the Palestinians. <laughs> so when the Pitbull <laughs> maul and children defenseless I mean, even if we even if we're the biggest dog lovers in the world right we have to look at these defenseless toddlers that are being mauled by these vicious pit bulls and think i mean where else in the world would the pit bulls go if That's not point, mate. if not here where would they go they would go to the nursery sometimes a few toddlers have to get run off the road so that these pit bulls dude can continue to thrive you know what the funniest thing is okay so for years the keemstar <laughs> the keemstar christmas dog tweet of 2016 has been tweeted out as a meme every year everyone dolan dar colossal's crazy everybody tweets out like the tweet where keemstar is like just hit a dog going 85 from five miles per hour in my truck he ran up on the highway and now that tweet which is like a meme tweet which is like i think he did kill a dog but it's been like a meme to us for like years that he accidentally hit a dog in his car now all of these Minecraft people because he on the guy who was like you saw my phone those oh, people yeah. are those people are pulling this tweet out and being like you dog you piece of that is so epic that is like the funniest possible out of anything you could try to get Keemstar on like like the Tony thing is usually what gets brought up like Etika gets brought up they go with the dog that he accidentally me and little did we know the dog was a pit bull what yeah. the no I like bringing up this article because this woman who wrote this is like the most person on the planet that's like the most insane article i've ever seen in my entire i think it's epic it's so funny it's like someone really was like this is this is like, like the gaijin yeah, goomba minecraft that, thing Marjorie. yeah gaijin goomba where he's like dude the minecraft villagers have more in common than you think with the people he was right like. he was right he was literally right no he wasn't it yes was he like, was clothes look look like at the wear look at the, the fuck dude look at the pigment bro oh. Shut up. They're literally Shut up. Yahoo and ease, dude. Tell me dude, they're he not. The video and, he goes, <laughs> and we're not talking about their noses or something like that. I was like, I'm talking about the noses. I have a big nose. I feel like I have like a right to speak on the nose allegations. Like, like these are my boys. Okay, clearly, look at the pigment, bruh. And he saw the pigment and he was talking about it. And everybody's just like, oh, you anti Semitic racist. Like, no, dude, Gaijin Guma was right. Okay, he was Sorry, based. Just the Quick question. Do you think that there should be a systemic, um, you know, unending elimination of um, pit bulls? Um, wait, hold on. Nick's In, trying to figure out what this is of, an allegory for. Wait, 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 of pit bulls? Or yeah. Of, or no, no, like of pit, pit bulls. bulls. Of, of, no, of, of pit bulls, if you know what I mean. You know like, what I'm saying? <laughs> what, are, what are we putting down here, Chad? All I'm saying is we need a final solution to the question of the pit bull only. I think we should That's get all the silverbacks in there and take them the f*** out. <laughs> if I'm being honest, the pit bulls only breed with themselves. So they're like really like, mm. oh, do you know what? Oh, all right. Hold on. Wait. That sounded good. Wait a minute. No, it didn't sound good. That sounded bad. I don't know how to respond to this now in a way that doesn't connect it to people. Um, Talk about the silverbacks. Yo, Nicholas. Dude, that's, that's anti smig bro. Dude, come on. What do you want so about? Much. I hate you guys so much. I, I support the right for the Minecraft villagers to defend themselves from the skeleton onslaught, okay? I think that more... Keep starving. I, more more fucking, uh, toddlers need to get mowed down in the streets by pit bulls. And I think that's the only, that's the only solution to that. Toddlers. <laughs> these, if these... <laughs> toddlers are going to keep running into the road. I think the pit bulls have it. They, they have my support in stopping them. Keemstar has my support in hitting every dog that runs up on the highway in Buffalo. Honestly. Dude, I think we should Keemstar all buy Ford Raptors. 
nowhere. They, like, if there's a dog on the road, bro, I mean, I, why don't you just let them run free in your backyard? Why do they have to be on the street? Where did the dog even come from? Uh, I think, well, modern day uh, evolution says that they started out as probably fish. And over the course of hundreds of years, they grew legs. And then they started, like, being and bred over and over again until they got um, well, can now, you believe that they expect us to think that dinosaurs are real? Can you believe what? that? Like a triceratops like a is a that's real a thing? That's a stardust-ass argument. Stardust would say uh -oh. like Yo! No, stardust I'm friends with stardust, but stardust Yo. would turn around and say something like that. Stardust would be like, did you know that dinosaurs... Roasted. People think dinosaurs are real? That is literally a stardust. It's a literal dragon. dragon, dude. Like, it's not real. Oh my god. There was bro. never dinosaurs, I'm sorry. And I'm supposed to believe they were made by Pfizer or something like dude this is not Do you know how I got the nickname dragon of the west having sex with Chinese women I was dragging my nuts across your face let's keep going um, that was okay. I've gone through everything about my recollection of everything and of course uh, uh, in hindsight the perspective of let me just collect my thoughts wait this is the part where he mentions this is the part where he mentions Candace isn't it that slime ball dude I Hate Wait, that. Candace Owens? Candace Dick fit in that ass. <laughs> Yo! Oh, oh your oh. own, dude. Absolutely right. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that was the first that happened in the story. Oh. Dude, that reminds you of the, the flamenco thing. Do you guys no. remember uh, when I was like, have you heard about the D's allegations? He's like, the D's allegations? What is that? Do you remember that? That was epic, dude. Holy shit. Sorry, we yeah. can continue. I just had to own you back real quick, dude. Oh. <laughs> scripted or anything i don't have a i don't really have a plan of what i'm saying i'm just trying to get everything that i have to say out there we know um it can't fit he's too fat <clears throat> i guess i'll just kind of break it down i'll break he's down he's gonna start that dancing um, he said he's gonna break down what before i said he starts exactly crying now, but, um uh, <laughs> i'm gonna just break it down let me just break <laughs> down real quick um i didn't know what he did well, not, that's a foreshadow. That's an unfortunate foreshadow. Uh, I started off by saying that I thought that uh, <coughs> uh, from my 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 memory that um, George's uh, recollection of events was closer to um, the events than um, what think he had said. Thank you, Befuddled Bacon, for becoming um, a member. Love you, buddy. Uh, I think now, having uh, seen her second dairy post, that I understand why that was. That had nothing to do with, uh, and I never said it originally. I, I never accused any dishonesty or anything. Thank you, Nimrod. Right. I'm glad you approved the podcast. Um, my my under, my thought process again, being under the mindset that there was a lot of people, especially surrounding her, that that really did have very very negative opinions of me, um, and I had no, and of course had expressed things negatively in the past, and I was and I tried to have conversations with people about it, and I never got any answers i was just under the assumption okay <laughs> there's people they they hate me they have no reason why they hate me and they just you know they do things they do whatever they want and they they just hate me um and so I'm, i just understand that i'm operating under that assumption and so in seeing that uh, in, in in seeing the de you know listening to uh or reading the details of uh that night um uh there was you know certain things that um that she left out or there were certain things that she didn't mention um that I understand now why she didn't. Um, okay. At the time. Off, but, dude. No, is he talking like, about the cuddling thing uh, being left out? There's no reason to leave that out unless you're maliciously lying about what happened. There's literally no reason. No, That's not in, at all. This, okay, there's literally zero reason. Like you, you have to be entirely malicious to leave that out, right? Am I wrong? Am I? Am, no! Is is there is there any reality in which you could not be malicious and leave he out? Died from a rock. Yeah, the stalactites. No, no, I agree. It seems so obviously a malicious move. Like, uh, will he? Will he? Will he even? Ex ah! Will he even explain here? Is there? Is he ever going to explain what reason she would have to leave that out? Like, what reason could there possibly be other than wanting to lie? Like, if we had Dream in this call, do you think we could like reason with him and be like, "What the f are you saying?" And he would like come around. Like, if he wasn't in like a public spectacle and had nothing to lose, and it would never get leaked or something. Like, do you think he would admit to us? Like, okay, yeah, clearly she lied. Like, there's no way a reasonable person could come away with any other conclusion. There's no way. And we know Dream can be a reasonable person if you shake him enough. Like with the f where he had to defend his career against like life-ruining allegations. Is that the position he has to be in where his career is about to be destroyed? Yeah, of course. <laughs> he's self-interested, right? That's it. He doesn't, you know, he's willing to put his neck out to some degree, but only if it benefits him like it did initially against the UK people. But past that, he doesn't care, right? It's all about just going to f him up. It sucks, dude. True. It actually sucks.
These people are disgusting. I, it's just, I know we said it already, but me, man, it, worthless. Worthless maggots, a lot of them. The dream won't stand right. up for his friends. It's, uh, yeah, it sucks. Under, the only person he's standing up for right now in this call is himself. It's not for Katie either, because yeah, yeah. Katie doesn't care no. about his approval. She'll never care. She wants him to rot in hell like the rest of these people do. They literally want him yeah. to die. They are tweeting out about how he should die. That is what the MCYT community is tweeting out. I, <coughs> I hope Dream starts coughing soon. <coughs> One person tweeted out his address to like 20,000 likes. <coughs> like, these people are crazy. Yeah, they're psychotic. Yeah, absolutely. Like, the doxing on him is like comparable to what I'm seeing with like Stone Tall. Yeah, I feel bad. Bro, that, sorry, just a quick note on that, dude. All these lefties talk about how bad Kiwi Farms is, but then Stone Toss gets docs and they're sharing it left right and center these people are well because their explanation is well he's a nazi so he deserves it yes man the impression i was under before um under that impression it felt like oh well this is this is someone that is surrounded by people that don't like me don't like you know george that are morphing things in a way that make it you know negative towards me because that's that's kind of what what you do when you're, you know, you're around friends. If you're, you're around friends that have this negative opinion, and you're saying, oh, "Sure, you're, you're going, you're kind of going along with it." Um, now, that was a horrible assumption to make. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I made that assumption. Um, I that assumption that was right. And you were right. Understand? After, you know, the the months of, uh, I guess, uh, negative press i almost want to say that that i've received um before any any of this obviously um that i was operating under that assumption um uh so that's why i said that i don't agree with that now i think that everything that katie said in her most recent post i i um well i don't know about everything uh i said the them Jesus thing earlier that I, I that i hope i can have clarification on um but everything else in her post i i agree with I think that oh my God. Uh, there, it seems like her her recollection of things that she shared um, is very accurate um, and uh, understanding before. <laughs> um, yeah, this is why I think they deserve it. Like uh, honestly, and I think when when everyone heard me say like, "Oh, they deserve it," he's probably talking. No, I think that Dream and and George deserve this a hundred percent. There's not even a if they're willing to do if they're willing to do this and like they they, they want it. They're opening their legs for it. Like, it's literally like the what are they wearing yep. question. Like, what are Dream and George wearing? Oh, they're wearing a tube top? Okay, well, they look sick. No, I'm kidding. They look like... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're unwilling to go silverback mode on their own community. They, they just constantly cower in fear. At, any, at, at, at the soonest opportunity to apologize, they apologize for nothing. Her recollection of events. Her recollection of events is that she cuddled him for an hour, and she was fine with it, and she got up multiple times and came back, and that's assault. Somehow. Her recollection of events is stupid. How can you as a 25-year-old man justify in any way this being sexual assault? It's not. It's not. You are lying to yourself. For who? I don't know. The Minecraft community who hates you anyway. <laughs> and the next time they found out they find out you use the word lynch or say the word drugs out loud, they're gonna say you're racist. These people. Do you remember right? when he said drugs, 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 and everyone said he hated black people? Insane. Insane. And who do you because think? Because they, they heard drugs and they immediately tied that with black people. Who do you think was orchestrating all this shit, dude, behind the scenes? There has to have been someone. John Swan. Based. New what things that I had no idea Oops, about sorry, at John. all. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I mean, obviously, you know, Dream is the most influential guy from the US side of things, right? From my understanding. Yeah. Um, and, and who is it in the UK? Like I say, it's AMZ. It's um, Wilbur's it's, it's not AMZ. It's really AMZ is like a really small creator comparatively speaking. No, no, sure, sure. But I'm just listing the people. So you got AMZ. You got like Tommy in it. You've got that um, Tubbo guy. That guy's a freak as well, by the way. But you know, have, have you seen? Tommy's not friendly with her, with Dream anymore. Have you seen? Um, have you seen Tubbo cry on stream? Like literally have a mental breakdown after he lost in Minecraft. No, but like like literal that. literal mental breakdown like crying bawling his eyes out like no no bro like it was crazy these people are kids I was undering underground this game is really bad that's not even good physics bro Base. so who is the dream equivalent on the other side then it's really just got i mean tommy and it's probably the biggest yeah. My, minus what we said i guess he's not really in the equation anymore is he well, yeah. no, no, he's not, but, you know, I, I, yeah. 
I just, if, if only we had someone. Well, could you not ask Dream? Can you not message Dream if you like, come on, man? One of the bigger Level people one. that we haven't mentioned yet is Quackity, who basically has stayed out of all of this. But, uh, yeah, but Quackity has yeah. got his own. Sure. Yeah, he's got his own problem going Apparently on. Right he's now. got like Minecraft slave labor. All these people are being eaten alive right now. But, like literally every week, there's a new allegation. Every day. Get them on. Crazy. But they they always bow to um, it. And the thing is, Quackity used to be pretty edgy too. Have you? I watched old Quackity videos. I don't know if you guys have seen, but he used to make like pretty edgy like Roblox rating videos. He was part of like that old like commentary community in like 2016 with like you know. Memeless and Dolan Dark, like he was a big memer, <laughs> but uh, you know he's totally, you know, I I don't know if it's a totally cynical move. You know, I think he wanted to grow his channel, get bigger, and be a big Minecraft guy. Whatever, that's fine. <laughs> but uh, as a result, he's basically just you know forfeited his, forfeited his ability to be his own person. He has to apologize to whatever these people want. It sucks. Yeah, but uh, like you said, the millions are probably worth it. Until of course the tax. Until they're come not, off. yeah. Until Phantom comes in the room. Holy, I think we're good, guys. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Do you have any food? That's funny. What? I said that's funny. Do you not have food? No. Are we gonna die? Yes. What the f bro? What are you wearing on your feet? What are those? I honestly don't remember what the skin is, so I just don't want to talk what about what that? it is. What is it? Dude, you're not even wearing your Yeezy pods. Have you seen the Yeezy ball sack slides? I hate those, dude. One of the guys I work with wears a ball sack on his foot. It's insane. First thing that I want to talk about as well is that uh, one of the things that contributed to my... Um, thoughts that I put into my Reddit post, which involved, I mentioned, uh, I mentioned, first of all, I mentioned a creator from the Dream SMP prior. I didn't mention them by name, um, but I did mention that that person was in the lobby when this happened and that uh, that was another reason that uh, we had Don't go down um, there. perceived things slightly differently <laughs> is because of that. The, uh, Don't go down there. Having that person involved. And I had a negative view of that person's opinion of me and of their intentions with me <clears throat> because they had in my, from my perspective at that point had um, shared a lie about me to many people. Um, now this person reached out to me and they clarified this um, and it turns out to be a misunderstanding. They, uh, they, they hadn't meant to spread any lie or anything or be malicious about anything. There, it was just like, I guess somewhere along the lines, some someone. Wait, this uh, is important. He's talking about Amesy right now. I think. Yeah, being spread that I. Sorry, there was an Enderman. Can we rewind it a bit? I want to hear the Amesy bit. Oh, yeah. Um, and it turns out to be a misunderstanding. They, uh, they, they hadn't meant to spread any lie or anything or be malicious about anything. There, it was just like I guess somewhere along the lines, some someone uh, you know, misunderstood something, and then it ended up being spread that Are I did something food? that I didn't. Um, and so they cleared that up no. and, um, that slightly, oh. that, that, that instant, when that was happening, uh, when they reached out to me, I instantly had a bit of a perspective shift because, uh, that was a big, that was contributed largely to why I was, um, why I had my mindset that I did. Um, and Dude, then secondly, the fact that you she had, this. um, yes. you know, shared. So, so Amesy reaching out to dream was fundamental in him changing his perspective on this is what he's saying right now. But what the f did she say to him? Oh. What the, what did she say to him? I... What could she have possibly well, sorry, said I'm... that changed what he thought happened? Well, he's claiming it's because Amesy said, because this was to do with a part of his Reddit post he was talking about, well, he didn't say Amesy, but everyone in reply saying it was Amesy, getting kicked out the Discord or something. I can't remember the exact words. But oh, I, okay, yeah. There was, the some, there was some situation where somebody claimed that they were kicked from Dream's Discord because yes. <laughs> they asked about the grooming allegations, and Dream said... <laughs> <laughs> Dream said that never happened. They left on their own, and he personally talked to them about it and clarified what happened. Do you think that was yes? Yeah, so that was in relation to MZ. Was that, 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 I don't know for sure, but in the replies, they were saying it was AMZ. So um, she, so somewhere, somewhere along the line, somebody must have the impression that she said that on live stream or something or in some video, right? Yeah, exactly. But but I mean, if I'm understanding this correctly, I think he's saying that after the Reddit post, I believe AMZ is the one that reached out to him and, like you say, said something that changed his perspective. So what the did she say 
It's quite disgusting. She was 18 years <laughs> freshly. She wasn't. She was. She, was, she wasn't even ripe. She wasn't ripe. I was abused, and I see the signs, and I can see that George is an abuser. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I don't think it was over some disagreement about why they were bad from a Discord. <laughs> I think something else is going on there that, uh, again, we don't have access to, so we can't say for sure. What the f am I listening to? What the f is this? Dude? All of people say, guys, I'm riding a horse. You're riding high in April. Shut okay. down in May. Who the f is saying this? Is that Tipster? A it's it's AI Vosh. I'm riding a horse, oh. guys. Sorry, I confused the lollicons. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. I was riding a horse in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. That's fine. It's all good. Uh, her feelings of discomfort the next day. Um, seeing that, obviously, massively uh, Your father, I think if I tried to contact Dream, it wouldn't go that well. Um, because... Like he uh, wouldn't want to talk, if I had to guess. <clears throat> again, I was, under the, I was under the impression of thinking, there's a lot of people that don't like me for no reason. She's friends with these people. Um, this AMZ, uh, no doubt. It's got to be her. <clears throat> yeah. That's why... Uh, she could be being. She's the Heogen uh, of the East. She could be recounting things differently. Well, the West um, again. Guess. Just want to clarify so I can repeat myself as much as I can. Heogen is of the East because Chinese. None of what I'm saying at all is in True. counter to anything Katie has said. Nothing that I've said is an argument or. Yeah, it sounds like he's been threatened in any way <laughs> whatsoever. He sounds scared. Um, I think that Katie deserves yeah. all the support that you can give her. Um, everything that I'm talking about and that I will continue to talk about is just purely for perspective and understanding. And I think that it's very important for things like this that we discuss because I think that the, things like this need to be prevented in the future. And I think that this is part of that. Um, I think that mm. I need to share my full perspective. I need to share my understandings. That way everyone can have a better understanding. So please, <laughs> please, 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 do not take any of this as me trying to um, make excuses for anybody, including myself. Um, this is just this is just to understand each other. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, so back to uh, right, another thing as well. It's also um, worth noting. I mentioned in my Reddit like, post. I talk about um, since yep. this kind of like um, conversation happened. <laughs> from the looks of it, Amesy hasn't really spoken much about any more allegations onwards. Um, Ooh, so maybe I don't know. Like, I, the only way to make the stop is to cuck to Amesy. <laughs> I want to believe this. Maybe, I don't maybe. want these people to be this. You know, they are. If you call them the baby animals, they lack like the the sustenance. Yeah, they don't. They don't, they don't usually give you the good. They just can cry, talk about Planned Parenthood or something. Anyway, yeah, I think it might be AMZ. I think it's, I think it's likely. Consent, and I talk. God, the thing is, like, God, who I'm else could it be? Consent. Who else could it be that's like um, simultaneously friends with all clear. the victims, quote unquote, has been like talking about the allegations constantly, <laughs> is like tweeting yeah. out like in all caps, like silence is not consent. Well, nobody even said that silence is consent. Like they just said that <laughs> she clearly consented at the time. Like, come on, it's she was not assaulted. That's Chat's this, asking why I'm killing the baby sheep. I'm not killing them because I want to eat them. I'm killing them because I want them to die. It's for sport. Some men want money. Some men just want to watch the babies die. Oh, why don't you get them and start a farm and breed them? I want to wipe them out. Shout out Anthony Fauci. What? Never mind. Yo, careful what I can talk on YouTube. Jesus. You He's so banned. Here you go. Try something. Um... Consent must be explicit. Yes, you can have nonverbal consent, like I mentioned. Bro, um, but he, he says that, and everyone was like, "Do you hear yeah. nonverbal?" Like, dude. It, it's like, oh, dude, oh my god. Now, Nicholas, you don't really strike me as a sex haver, um, but what I will say, <laughs> just to educate you a bit, is that Please. is true. That obviously, you know, you you do have non like verbal consent constantly, little moves, touches, etc., that move things forward. Right? We were talking about this on stream. How many, like, how often do you hear somebody go, like, permission to kiss you now at the end of a day? <laughs> like, that is just crazy. This reminds because, you know, the drama we covered before this was the short haired girl who was saying that she was, like, giga. Only, by, only, a, only a British, only a British, which is an oxymoron, would 
ask someone for a sex contract before. No, but wait, this girl <laughs> said she was assaulted because a girl leaned in to kiss her. And then when she like wasn't into it, she pulled back. Yeah, I know. And realistically, she said that was assault. In, typ in, in, in typical sexual experiences, like the way it works is like, oh, you're flirting with someone. It's going well. OK, you move to maybe you're touching hands or something. If you're both cool with that, then you move to like, I don't know, maybe you touch her thigh or something. She's cool with that. You move to kissing, like they're cool with that. Like things just naturally progress with what happened with George. It's like, okay, they're sitting, they're flirting, things are going well. They're both adults, by the way. They're hey, they're flirting. Eventually, one of them starts touching the other. They're cool with that. Eventually, they end up cuddling for a f hour for one hour. Which, like, dude, if I'm yeah. cuddling with a girl, I'm not gonna wait a f hour to touch her f boobs. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm getting in there and within 32 seconds. Okay, like what the f what are we cuddling <laughs> for? My dick is pressed against your vagina and i'm not going to touch her like what is going on like you don't to wait that long that's crazy wait dude. i'm i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna shoot inside of people. i'm gonna shoot inside of my jeans i mean <laughs> fair enough that's a different that's a different scenario but you know go silverback mode now and then know what i'm saying like <laughs> always with consent says wash yeah of course but like but it is it is it is crazy like these people's expectation like have they just Wait, never? That's so true. Can we call Minx? I feel like she's got dirt on all these people. I have her on Discord. Can you hit her up and ask her if she'll talk to us about this? I feel like we need to hear from like a, a level-headed. You know, actually, let me. Just, you know, I have her on. I have her on Twitter. Let me shoot her a message. Hit up, hit up Minx. Saying like we're doing a stream right now. It's a, it's an interesting show called URR. Don't ask what it means. We're just trying to get to the bottom. <laughs> I'm literally messaging her on Twitter right now. We Thanks. really need a loud Irish woman to call in. We need a woman's perspective, a womanly, a womanly idea. I messaged her. I literally just sent Mix a message. Base. Let's keep going. All ex all consent must be complicit, like explicit consent must be <laughs> extremely obvious consent. Because all consent must be implicit, guys. It's yeah. Um, sorry, I've got a message from chat here um, on LSF. Apparently, just a mink seems seriously ill, almost as if overdosing. Oh, um, I don't know if you want to throw that up or not, but I'll just put it. Into well, chat I now. literally just sent her a message, asking her to come on URR. So thanks, dude. Holy, <laughs> she's going to get out of the hospital and be like the only person that messaged me that cares about me is <laughs> Turkey Tom asking me to talk about Wilbur Soot. What the Also, we got an ultimate review. What the But she's not even live. How could you know if she's going to die? She's she's not lying. There's an LSF post from three hours ago. She's IRL streaming from the ward. What? She would be the one. Okay, please, please. please. You've got to put she, this she's, 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 she's IRL. I'm looking, I'm looking. She's IRL streaming herself at the Suboxone Clinic. <laughs> Here, Justin Mink said she's seriously ill, almost as if overdosing. Can someone get her? Dude, she looks so cooked. What do you mean? Look at her. Does she look cooked? Let me see. Oops, something went wrong. You need something to go wrong. to the Reddit and go to the um yeah. backup clip. Yeah, 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 you got it, you got it. Does she look? Yeah. Whoa. She's tired. she's tired. Dude, she looks like she's on fentanyl. Oh, what do you mean? Fentanyl means like you can see the top of her head? Like what? Look at the top of her head. Bro, what are those? Dude, it's a Christmas tree. What month is this, by the way? This is just what Irish people are like, to be honest. So I wouldn't worry too much. Dude, she's going literally too mad mode right now. What the? F what? Damn. Please stop using wooden tools. I can't stop, dude. Time goes into gorilla mode when cuddling, dude. Based. Tomorrow, Is someone to change your diaper? I will never f change my diaper, dude. Well, I tried to message her, but I guess she's she's gone. Uh, she's she's got people on she the is way. Gone. She's right. lucid. It's extremely. Up. She collapsed on the floor and Andy, Andy Milanakis. Oh my god, like, what do I do? Thank god and he came in. He's like, Wait, Andy Milanakis showed up and goes, Chat, what do I do? I'm way too short to pick her up, guys. What do I do? Did you guys know I invented memes? That's what he said. <laughs> um, Justin Wang's a piece of I invented memes. I don't know. I, I'm too small to lift this up. Um, I mean, a simple way is if someone's concerned, would be here for mods or someone to call emergency. I feel bad for her. I met her in person. She was, I don't know, fine. She got up and walked off camera, and a mod in her chat said someone is going to get her. So many have tried to help her throughout the years, and she has just been the one. I mean, honestly, I think they should put her in the ring and make her fight again. 
I, I don't understand why they <laughs> stopped letting her fight. They should punch the you know, fentanyl out of her system. If anything, head blows were really working in her favor. Uh, that was the thing. Is like she would have these mental breakdowns, and people would be like, "Come on, Minx, you got to fight in two weeks. Get back up or whatever." I'm sitting here. I'm like, "What? What? Who? What commission is letting this person fight?" What is happening? That was like my biggest criticism of YouTube boxing is this woman would have like a mental breakdown, like a borderline alcohol stomach pump situation where she just, she would come on stream with two black eyes or whatever, right? And then she'd be like, Oi, I'm going to beat the ass on broad in like two weeks or something. And I'm like, Did she why? win? I don't remember. Uh, I think I saw her fight. I think I was at the event she fought. At. No, I wasn't. Drunken at math technique. I think she probably did quite well. Base, dude. Yeah, I think she was supposed to. She's fight on some thing. Uncle Iroh. She was fentanyl bending. Zuko. <laughs> Zuko, we have to stop hunting the Avatar and help Palestine, Zuko. Boy, what the f are you talking about, Ladi? World War Search been f abusing women for 30 years, mate. Get j on the f call, mate. I've got to shoot up me heroin. Dude. Do you know Conor McGregor, <laughs> the old man that he punched at the bar, was her dad? <laughs> No way. What? No, nah, I made that up. That would be hilarious. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> Could you imagine? Fake news. Just beat the f out of Yeah, that would be crazy. Um, let's keep going. My legal name is Dude, Colby it's, Covington. It's tactical misinformation. There's not a, oh, well, I think that this person consented. No, it's it's either explicit consent or no consent. Um, now, when I was Wait, uh, writing this, of course, I'm. I'm he just said that it doesn't have to be verbal consent, but it's either explicit consent or no consent. Well, it definitely so was wait. explicit. I wish I could just be in a call and ask someone a question like, if you're cuddling with a girl for an hour, oh, for an she hour. Gets up and she comes back and she sits on you again and then she goes, well, the reason I couldn't leave him because then he would feel he'd be awkward. You know? <laughs> like, is it? Yeah, I didn't want to embarrass him. I don't embarrass him. him in front of his friends. It's such coke, man. That is the classic sign. The woman comes back. You're like, yeah, I'm on, I'm on one here. I'm in. I'm in. Let's go. It's like... She ups off me Knob and yet I'm she comes right back to me. Knob, what the f isn't I'm it? Watching this right now. <laughs> Who the fuck would date this girl after this? She messaged me and said she want me to go f silverback mode. I'm like, like what the? F okay, who's gonna date her? Like, dude? The, 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 the guy who was screaming. The guy who was screaming yeah. like she f cried in my up. That guy. That guy's gonna what be her f boyfriend. Her? And then he's gonna get accused of. The cycle goes on. I can't wait. God, this is insane. From my perspective of uh, my experiences with consent, um, I have experienced right um, like, nonverbal consent. Her. I would, I would, I would. My experiences with consent, dude. I'm dude, gonna make a tweet longer called "My Experiences video. with Consent." Oh great! Actually, I have a video for you guys. I have a stealth review, a story that neither of you know about. So if we get bored, we can pivot. Okay. Nice. Um, I have probably one of the most nuclear reviews that's ever been sent to me it's been sourced by producer smaggle um but yeah my experiences with consent um i have experienced um nonverbal consent uh through people you know whether they're moving oh your hand to them or they're God. kissing you or they're dude now that he said that it's a matter of time before one of those people comes out against him and says that no like, you don't understand no he's saying that he's been assaulted he, no, he's not. No, he's not. Is That's he, what he just said. He means whatever happened to Katie happened to him previously. Which is not so. Do they, yeah, is he even going to say what happened to her? Like these people are like throwing the front of the bus. Are they going to like out openly say like it was assault, or are they just going to like not like like what Sapnaps ever? He was like, it's clear Katie was uncomfortable and George did something wrong, but you know, like you know, he didn't have bad intentions, but he also did something bad. So like, <laughs> all that matters is how she feels. Can we not just like, openly say someone's feelings are invalid sometimes? Can we not? Can we not just say that? Based. Yeah, mate. I'm all for that. My abuser called himself the Tickle Monster. <laughs> Based. He said, "Does this feel good?" And I was like, <laughs> "I ran." I, was like, I flushed him right down um, the skibbity toilet, straight to dude, Ohio. Do you understand? Jail. Do you remember five years ago, people would be like, "Dude, I'm gonna touch your belly button," and then it's <laughs> okay. So let me blow this through. Let me blow your mind here, okay? He basically touched your belly button and said, and she said she was assaulted. That's literally what just happened. Like it's 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 the meme in car. Dude, at this point, like, happened. congrats to her. She played it really well. Like she owned them. She owned a bunch of like almost thirty year old men into like <laughs> destroying their own careers. Like, dude, good on oh, her. She she what played she she played them like a fiddle. She played the game. GG, Katie.
base. Dude. All right, give me two seconds. I gotta read. Girl lines. boss. She's literally girl second. bossing these. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, you know, I don't want to press it too much, but this is really a win for the UK Minecrafters, whatever Machiavellian games they're playing. Yeah, I've been reading donos along the way because I'm not a piece of. So I don't have to catch up or anything, dude. I'm goaded. I went gorilla mode on those donuts. I'm literally not wiping with my toilet paper. I'm using my hands. I'm flinging at girls and they still want to be with me. It's <laughs> base, dude. I Everybody talks about getting sturdy. I get poopy with it, okay? Just be base, dude. Um, Yeah, I don't know. The Minecraft, I, I don't know how long it is these people are even going to be around anymore. George Not Found is probably going to leave for a while whenever we're gonna hear from him again wilbur said probably not gonna hear from him for a while dream's just gonna watch his friends one by one get destroyed like who even who even is gonna be left just gonna be like tommy in it i guess yeah well you know tommy in it tubbo Ames, all those people are gonna come out unscathed in all of this i think because they've had the correct take all along These i mean uh, amesy is not like a she has some numbers but she she's not like a big creator though if you look at her numbers like she's not she doesn't have like a super loyal audience so i don't think it matters anyway like, I don't think it's no. really going to help well, that Well, the much. funny thing about it is just after she was jumping on board all these allegations, um, you know, she hit a million followers on Twitch. So, you know, I'm wondering if I mean, kind of played a part in I, I, making too. I mean, they tend to get a, a small boost, but I think even if that was it, it would be a dumb move because it's not like they get, like, increased, like, long-term viewership. It's always just, like, a little boost, and then it goes away because people don't actually like their content. They just want to be there to support them for getting touched. No, sure, but then if those creators are the only ones that are left that haven't yeah. There's only a few left now, isn't there? No. I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very, I'm very schizo theory on this, but uh, it seems all very <laughs> Well, I don't know. I mean, convenient. last time you were ahead of the curve and you ended up being right, so you never know. <laughs> I just hate women. That's well, what it comes down I to love women so much, especially the ones in my chat, okay? Especially the ones in my Instagram DMs. I love women. <laughs> Me mom said I can't have beans and cheese no more, so I add to go gorilla tickle monster on her in it. Base, dude. I dude, go gorilla moon on my mom British. every day. I'm sick of it, mate. What is going on with your chat? They're racist against Brits. Do Brits deserve it? You guys, okay, think about it this way. My ancestors left Europe to make the greatest country in the world. You're stayed in a where you can't own guns, so I think it's justified to hate British people. What have guns got to do with it? Everything, dude. You can't own guns. Your country is embarrassing. You can't own guns. You can't be based. You can't say the N-word. To be honest, mate, I'm more bothered about the Muslims. Well, we don't have that problem either, so think about that, dude. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> no, you, can have, you, can have, you can have bombs in Europe. You can't have guns. Ha, ha, ha. Dude, owned. Will we, uh, you know, improvise in the car? There's lots of car attacks. <laughs> yeah, I've heard all about it, dude. Jesus. Alec Manassian. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, free speech area is pretty good as well. I, I worry that I might get a knock on the door from the police at some point from, uh, some, I say, so, somehow. It happens, you know. What, what, what exactly does happen if, like, like can, you, can you go, like, off on, on, like, the press or whatever? Like, if you're, if you're like, based or whatever? Or, like... I mean, the thing I'd be more concerned about if I were you is like going after a content creator who's British and then decides to like slap you with a defamation lawsuit that you'll absolutely lose. Um. Well, I mean, Skippy, I I'll do it. Five more bucks, I'll totally so. do it. Sorry, you can go on. <clears throat> no, no, it's fine. I was just saying. Um, I try and be quite accurate and you know reasonable in what I say, as much as I say crazy shit. when it's about someone and making a claim. I try not to say anything that I don't think based on what I can see. You know, so. I don't know. I think I should be okay. Right? Maybe. I mean, look at what happened to Cabos, right? He got slapped with a lawsuit from Deji. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. And, he, and Deji was doing the thing, the viewboying or whatever, right? I think technically his dad was or something, but yeah. I mean, you okay. you, you can just... Defamation law over there is... Versus here, it's like impossible to prove. Um, Point. Dude, what the f*** is that? It's Nick playing some sound bite. So even though he's like deafened, we can still hear his soundboard. Dude, his ability to derail transcends whether or not he's listening to the conversation. That's insane. That's why he has the most viewers, dude. True. But it's fake um, also. But yeah, no, no. It is pretty cool over here, the, the free speech stuff. I mean, obviously I've got links here that I can't really leave, but if they didn't, I'd probably move to a different country that's a bit more flexible. <sighs> so I can call people without having to worry about a lawsuit.
I'm curious what it would be like if you went to like some weird island like Barbados or Antigua <laughs> that isn't technically like a territory of any other country. Could you just go there and like spew your and then come back and like when you don't stream or something for the holidays and then be fine like could you yeah is that like does it matter like what do country in, you're in when you say it or what, what country you're a citizen of waters. that's the best thing to do just stream from a boat and call everyone a even when they're not one Nicholas. what's up bro you're oh, getting back. worse than tipster with a soundboard bro so, so Wait, i didn't hit the soundboard you did tommy's voice that's came through oh no that was it that was on twitter sorry i wasn't i was deafened so you i couldn't have soundboard okay bro. what the Who's killing me? Stop it, Tom. What the f I got a dono. <laughs> oh, you got a bounty? We're not even playing in a... <laughs> Did they, get... they gave me $5, dude. Can you be arrested for um, being fat phobic? There's no way. I don't think so, no. It's all around, like, um... Well, I mean, technically, I guess we could, because it's all about, like, ca causing offense or something like that. It's very reductive take, but... Yeah, there's, there's a rule around the Online Communications Act or something. And uh, something that like alarms or causes offense or something like that. Maybe not arrested, but a knock on the door from the police, perhaps. Really? <laughs> what the? This is insane. This is the craziest shit that I've ever seen as a YouTube ad. Bro, look at this. <laughs> what, what, what are we looking at, Nick? Found... We can't even see whatever you're showing us. We're just looking at a dream. Dude, this is hilarious. What, what, are, what are we looking at? It's up. not on the Dude. screen, Nick. It's in the chat. I just put it in the chat. Oh, it's in the chats so and now we have to open a new window dude oh yeah i've seen this yeah we need to I'm, actually, I'm actually the one running those ads nick um i thought people should know <laughs> i thought people should know dude anyone can advertise in the space now that's great all right let's keep going with consent um i have experienced <laughs> um nonverbal consent uh through See? people I have experienced nonverbal consent. So he's saying that he's also been not essayed. We found Nicholas Diorio. <laughs> we found him. Well, is this like a Kiwi Farms ad? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you could just go there, I guess. Yeah, true. Everyone click the link. Let me know what you find. How many pieces yeah, did he have I'm delivered sure. to his house in the last day? How much, how much, like, how many viruses did you get for clicking whatever that link says? You know, whether they're moving your hand to them or they're kissing you or they're doing something um, without saying, hey, you know, can I do this? Um, but also all those experiences have been with um, being in a relationship, um, you know, or being with somebody that you've, you've already been with, um, you know, many times or. Um, and okay, I will say different. this is one point I do kind of agree on is that like these fellas need to learn to stop being so handsy so quickly, right? I think that's probably worth. Was it that quick after an hour of cuddling? Is that. I don't think that was quick. Is but that I think quick? They probably shouldn't. No, 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 not quick. Sorry, I don't mean quick as in. I, I just mean like it's the first time you met them, right? Like, probably, but like just for your own self benefit, just for your own self preservation. I guess. I bit. guess, but like that's just such a stupid standard. Nobody should have to actually adhere to in the real world. Like for the well, no, for I mean, the sake of saving your own person. career, you should not have consensual yeah, yeah. sex with random people. No, you no, meet. no. I'm not saying that. I, no, 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 no. If a normal person off the internet has done this, and it wouldn't matter because the woman would feel a bit shit about it and then go about a day. But it's the fact that these people have platforms they can use to destroy you when their mind changes that you should be a lot more cautious. Like I said, it's only a self-preservation. <sighs> well, if they want to cater to their audience, I guess they should, but that I, I'm never doing that. Well, I'm not saying you have to, mate. You can uh, hey, go crazy. All right, dude. <laughs> There's a big difference between and silverbacking, okay? So just oh chill God, out. Bro. There is a difference. And I did not think about that or um, really acknowledge that. And so this is just me acknowledging that <clears throat> um, and uh, recognizing that um, I didn't process that. Um, Thank you for recognizing. Uh, someone uh, that I was talking to about this uh, yesterday um, uh, before uh, Katie's second post, um, they asked me, they said, they said, oh, well, well, would you have done what George did? And I said, no. Um, and then they, of course, the next logical question is, well, why? And um, me answering that question uh, very much changed my perspective as well um, because I thought about it and I thought, well, I think that for the same reason that I was in the room and I, you know, I didn't, I, I wasn't thinking about 
you know, sexual things or thinking about ages or anything because we were just all hanging out. I would not have at all expected, I, I don't know this person. I don't know this person's body language. I don't know this person's, uh, you know, relationship with, with me or with, with, um, you know, any, anything at all. Um, and I would have felt uncomfortable, um, doing anything. And I, I, I thought about it and I thought I, I would have, and why would I have felt uncomfortable? Why would I have felt uncomfortable? Because I would have thought, I'll take some bug shots. What if this person on the thorax doesn't like this? And I would never want to do that. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, unless I was 100% sure on what I knew, I wouldn't. And I wouldn't ever be 100% sure in <laughs> that Christ. situation. He's being so um, careful with his wording, bro. So that I know, it's obviously like made me to to. rethink how I was thinking about <laughs> the specifics of the situation. Um, now, uh, sorry, I'm just collecting my that thoughts. Oh my, he's thinking of the next um, thing to say. He's trying to recognize and take accountability and share his perspective. I think that at the same time. Uh, and just to be again, I'm I'm going to be I'm being completely honest. I have oh, no script. You've tricked out no the house. Plan of what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just going to say what I'm genuinely thinking. Um, I do not think that George is a bad person. I do not think that George was sitting there thinking, oh, you know, let me, oh, I, she's not going to like this, or oh, you know, anything. I think that uh, he did something. I no, think that what happened was up. It wasn't. I think that it was terrible. And I think it's terrible. I feel it's terrible, terrible for any involvement that I had. And I feel terrible for Katie. Why? It is a terrible situation. It is a terrible about it. I, I don't understand the pain that she feels. And there's nothing that I can do to Why? change that. What was it? I'm there's saying nothing. it. I'm saying it. Some of these women actually need to experience. No. Dude. Okay. Dude. Okay. Let's they need to experience down. love and okay. warmth from a silverback let's gorilla. Get a bit fucking, let's calm down a little bit. Okay. All I'm saying is, right now, let me put it a different way. Okay. The reality is, some of these women and girls are quite young. Okay. So I think it's like they don't really know what the fuck is going on. They don't know they don't have much life experience. But then all these around them, yas light them, right? Into say thinking that something terrible they, Did you happened. say yas light? Yes, that's the term for it, right? It's gas oh, like yeah. gaslighting. No, no it's gaslighting. Like, yes. Yes. yes, queen, you definitely got yasified. rape, queen. I have never right? heard that, but that is so epic, dude. What the hell? Yes. New terminology. All right, keep keep going, AP. And that George can do to change that. And that's fucked up. That is incredibly um, and sad and terrible, and George scary. got canceled for being Mr. Tickle from Mr. Men. Base, dude. When I start tickling, I just don't that... stop. I just can't stop. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't want to speak for George, so I won't. I'm sure he has. He has what he wants to say, and I will. He has. He will say it. Um. Jesus. And you know he's still putting out that other response. But. Um. I left that night thinking oh. that voice is wavering. Everything was a great experience and everything Ooh. was, we, I had so much fun with new friends and You're old kidding. friends. No, it's all terrible. No, thinking about looking not. back and knowing that someone else Go left ahead. it with not that, that same experience. And I wish that I had known that. I wish that I knew that then in that, in that moment. Dude. Um, you're kidding. <laughs> it's I think that you're joking. Does he keep crying? Yeah, it's like five. I'm minutes. sorry, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Guys, he's not on a script, <laughs> dude. I know there's a lot of people that think that I'm so calculated. Everything that I do is so still just talking about himself, and bro. that uh, you know I'm just. I think right now that I'm being manipulative and I'm trying to, you know, I care about just you're f joking my image or I can't believe this dream men are allowed to cry. I, I, care. I care about people. Dude.
Stop! And I want people to talk to me. Stop! Anything, any problem with anyone. Thank you, Curly Taint, for the donut. Including myself. Like, this is the kind of reaction you'd expect if someone got, like, gang at your party in the next room and you didn't realize. And that, do you know what I mean? It's like... This is the reaction you would mercy. expect from, like, the David Dobrik with that girl or whatever. Not... Cuddling. She literally got tummy tickled. She got her funny bone smacked. And in, in, in exchange, we get this blabbering. I care about people. I'm not calculated. I care about people. The dream interview's off. It's it's ruined. I've just destroyed that chance hey. of that happening. Whatever. That's crazy. Dude. This is not... Okay, is this, is this a real... Okay, do you guys think this is a real cry? Does he, is he actually convincing himself that this is real or is it just fake? I, is he really that psychopathic? He can just fake crying like that. It sounds. Genuine, I don't. I don't think I mean, so. It sounds like a real cry, but I don't know the the stuff he's saying. Just like there's no reason you should be crying over this. No, of course not. It's crazy. The fact that someone else is it, sad and I'm happy makes me sad too. Yeah, it's it's he's he's crying because of what he thinks is going to happen to his career. He's not crying for any other reason. I don't think. Oh yeah. man. Dark stuff, dude. We live in dark times. Truly. I'm so thankful to not be a part of these people's this community. This guy's still crying because I didn't read through his whole fucking tweet about gender-affirming surgery. I'll just ban you. That's fine. If that's what you want. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just a realization, yeah, that you've got nothing to do with any of these communities and you've got the freedom to say and do what you want. I mean, with the reason, obviously. Um, like, is the money they make <laughs> like really is it really worth this like is it really worth it i feel like it's probably not uh, it depends i mean you know how many pinball machines they could probably afford yeah but then you can, never you, so URR URR the you can never do urr ever you can never do urr ever we could do ultimate craft reviews where we could review oh arts God. and crafts at the end of the day being you know open and doing the content you want to do and saying what you want to say it's worth more than money i think you know also people people if you're part of this community people start shipping you with your friend and like drawing pictures of All you right. sucking each other's dicks question can we stop memeing this and just play Fortnite or something now i need to keep listening dude, oh, dude. well no we can it... keep doing no i'm sorry i want to keep listening to this i just don't want to play the minecraft part anymore oh you're tapping out it's upsetting you yeah uh, dude oh yeah i'm getting so emotional about the minecraft do you feel play... the need to play my minecraft i will I, I, I will play Fortnite with you sure Okay, because it is honestly is annoying that I have to keep tapping out. I want to go back on my Xbox. Holy shit, streaming on PC sucks balls. And also, the PC gets warmer, and it literally is like lighting me on fire right now. So that's why I gotta buy a new Alienware. All these Minecraft YouTubers spend too much time not growing up. Uh, especially trying Minecraft and never grew up. I think they're just doing what they think is best for their business. Honestly, at this point, which is sad. It's disappointing. I never want to hurt anybody. I never want to do too bad uh, i think it's worth noting that you'd probably have a different perspective if he stuck his hand down her pants what do you what does the panel think about that um yeah i would say so yeah yeah that quickly in front of the other people yeah especially in front of other people but did know? he even yeah. did he she didn't clarify did he grab her breast i thought he just like touched her stomach i believe that's what happened it's not like it's not like he was he was going like bazonker mode on the bazoongas you know what i'm saying like it was it was different. It felt like more like a kind of like a, a, a touch to establish if that was going to progress further from there, you know? Yeah. He was just trying to feel her. Yeah. He's just trying to check her BMI, you know? Like, it's not that big of oh, a deal. No, <laughs> just for the pulse. <laughs> the capture card is doing the thing. Oh, I'm seething. I'm seething, bro. Why is your name Tom Dark, but you're not diverse? Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm half Ukrainian. I'm half Palestinian, dude. I am diverse. I want to do evil. I never want to contribute to anyone's life in a negative way and i'm sorry damn that was deep nick are you on fortnite? just want to reiterate i can't go on fortnite my that... capture card's fucked i'm back on minecraft okay well i'm gonna play fortnite. final Holy what i'm just to say because i feel it necessary to say because it is what i believe and it is how i feel i think that george left that night feeling the same way that I did. And I think that that's just as f***ed up as the fact that I didn't know. Damn. All right. So he finally defends I think George. That the problem lies in that um, 
No one even articulated to him that George he was a fucking know. assaulter. And he should have known. Wait, sorry, did he say he, he should, should have, have known. known? No, he should have, like, someone should have notified him at some point that he was a And I think that's something that he has public. to accept and oh, reflect no. on himself. Wait, whoa, uh, whoa, hold on, never mind, Chud was right. Um, yeah. George didn't know, and he should have known. He should have known. How can he have known when the woman went back to him and the messages and after that's something that he was, like, not, like, hot to trot, but, like, friendly at least, right? Like, she never said anything to suggest that she was completely uncomfortable and felt by what happened, ever, until recently. This so how could he f know? This is crazy. It's f oh. stupid, man. He has to accept and reflect on himself um, and realize, I think, that he has Jez, stuff I don't really understand that, that I don't know with you at all. exactly what it will be or what he'll say. Um, I love George. <laughs> He's been my best friend for a very long time. Oh. Wait, look at Willie Mac. Willie Mac in chat. He wants to see he put his hand up. Friend for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Mac is like, let me on, let me on. That's fake. He's been my Dude, best, trying, best trying friend. To give him the call right now in the bottom right. Tom, did at VidCon that? I was cuddling with Willie Mac show for, for an hour, and he put his hand on my toe and i instantly came and i got <laughs> dude dude this is insane though I, out of, of all the big youtubers to randomly show up in the middle of the dream thing on the recording forever willie mac show is, like while he's crying he's like willie's like come on let me in let me in help let me help a long time. Dude, he's, he's like a hound dog old school journalism straight in there at the ground level so he's, he's, from, he's not from a song yeah, he's, dude, he's, he's, he feels the Hassan blood coming right now. He sees the blood in the water. He's going to debate the f*** out of him right now. And that doesn't matter he's sending emojis. in the context of the situation. Wait, what is that? Why, dude, why is he taunting him so hard? And he's saying that to give perspective into... Dude, look at him spamming emojis. I'm just saying that. That's it. I wonder if Willie knows he's been immortalized. I guess I don't. I probably missed things. I didn't write anything down. I probably should have. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else I can really add. This isn't about me. This is about Katie. Um, All right. So I guess I'll reiterate. I'm sorry, Katie. I really am. That's it. I'm sorry. I really am. Cool. He ends it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you guys want to keep talking about this a little bit more, or do you want to go into the secret? I think maybe we should give closing statements on this. <clears throat> um, I think it's I clear. This one's not going to be long. We can go back to it. I just, I really, because I don't know when you guys. Are I'm just, I'm just going to give a, a good closer because I, I feel like we've probably said as much as we can say on this. Apart from, I want to give a little yeah. closing statement. I think Wait, it's. He took the video down while I've been live. Who? Oh no. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Dude, just. Okay, I think, uh, I think it's clear. Who is this? Bald. Okay, I think I think it's very clear that uh, what happened in that room was not assault. I think there's there's no two ways about it. From Katie's description after the fact of what happened, from the fact that she lied by omission by not talking about the cuddling thing, I think it's extremely clear to everyone that she was not assaulted. Nothing bad happened in that room. Everyone was fine for it at the time. For some reason, she talked to some friends afterwards, like what basically happened with Slazo, where uh, Che started talking to Hyojin and people like that. Someone managed to convince her that she was assaulted, and that's why we're in the position we are now. There's no way, literally anything, resembling sexual assault happened between them. There's no way. Unless there's another incident we're not hearing about, which there definitely is not um, at this point. So I think it's clear that, and I think it's clear that, that their response is based on the fact that George caught her in multiple lies, and now has had to back down. Something happened behind the scenes we don't know about. And uh, it's disappointing to see, but ultimately, like, how can you... How can you defend these people? You can defend your own principles. You can defend how you feel about it. Yeah. But as Nick said, like, there's no point in sticking your neck out for these people because they will always buckle under the pressure of these losers. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I had this play. This is uh, this was Destiny reacting to Pokemon after we were fighting with him a couple of years ago. And this is what instantly came to mind when I saw that George apologized. Wait, what is this Pokemon video? My overdue apology. You hear the silence right now? You hear that? Wait, is this real? <laughs> Wait, hold on. No, oh, she cut. It's because she wants to be.
Oh my. Wait. That was every YouTuber who woke up to see George's tweet. Like they all did that exact same motion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, it was it was totally unnecessary. Like he'd won, as far as I could see. The tide was turning. I mean, I mean, it, it wasn't like up. I don't know what if they'd expected like a complete decisive victory right away. That's never how it works, anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. It's always uh, more of a slow burn thing. But it was turning. Like you had stand accounts who were previously uh, calling them pieces, of coming out and being like, "Yeah, Rick, why did yeah, Katie Rick, do this? Rick. Why did Katie do that?" Hey, Morty, I'm gonna this Mr. Will Gorilla mode. Um, but yeah, like clear, clearly. Clearly, people smell blood in the water. They they bit, and uh, now these guys are just backing out because they're scared. They're By scared. Way, on screen is George not found. Would your opinion change if he looked like that? What? If that guy touched your stomach? I mean, do you know? If George looked like that and he touched your stomach at a party, would it change your mind? Like the the bald guy who looks like he's, how he hasn't showered in a month. If that guy touched your stomach, would your opinion change? He's actually he's got more of a skullet going on, which I actually respect. Because there is hair. It's just, like, it's just back there. He's got an Asmund gold going on there a little bit. Yeah, he's like a sweat. Someone in chat's like, guilty! Guilty! Asmund gold. Guilty. Asmund gold. Asmund gold isn't that bad. Come on. He just needs to get on keeps. He'll be fine. Oh, no. All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Does anyone know what EVE Online is? Because I don't. Apparently, like a space it's like an MMO. Game. It's the game that Down the game. Rabbit Hole did like a six-hour video about. <laughs> So Asher Tarothi, or whatever the f his name is, all right, guys, apparently he's asking his audience if he should quit. And I was going through the comments here, and some of them are some vandal savage. Okay, there's some crazy going on here. Uh, get the wood chipper is the first Ooh. one that popped up. Um, Hello. Let's see. Nice. Um, oh, God. All right. Uh, oh, 72-hour news cycle. Everyone will forget. Works with politicians. So there's it's, – it's down the middle, you know? People aren't sure. You ready? Yeah, yep. let's go. Now, I'm a big fan of this content creator that I've never seen before. Asmund with the N64 controller haircut? Bro, don't do him like that. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> don't do him like that. Greetings, fellow Empyreans. I am... Empyreans? <laughs> right. Oh, no. Guilty. Pedophile. <laughs> pedophile. 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 <laughs> Greetings, fellow Empyreans. What the f*** are you talking about? <laughs> Greetings, fellow Empyreans. I am Ashrothy, and this is, is this a role play. A video. I am Ashrothy. I'm I am the <laughs> king of the fifth guard of the Azeroth spaceship, and I will be raining down on Zathura Mountain this Thursday to apologize for sticking it in. What the is going on? What the where the where Nick? Where the did you find this Snaggle Daggle? This has like one view. Where the Am I? Paul, guilty? Yes or no? Well, he can just say, look, look, I was role playing in my my planet that I'm from. The age of consent's ten, so it's okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. He's from Zeville. I have been <laughs> wanting to make for years, and simultaneously dreading it. The title is no clickbait. What is the title? I'm here to ask you: Should I quit Eve Online? Oh, a simple okay. question. Should I quit EVE Online? Should I quit playing the game? Should I quit making content? By the way, 92% of the people in the poll say this guy's guilty, and we are 29 seconds in, and we don't even know what he did yet, just to be clear. I love EVE Online. I love making content for EVE, and I love the community that has... Maybe you should be more ambitious in quitting. <laughs> grown around the content that I make and what I say about the game and elsewise. Elsewise. However, Illiterate. details about my past continue to haunt me. And <laughs> uh -oh. at this point, I feel like it has become, I have become a detriment to the people that care about me and to people that support me, at least inside the game. So I wanted to come clear and clean. What did this guy do? About what's being. What the f did he well, do? Well, whatever he did do, he's admitting he did it. Because details from my past. That's a implicit suggestion. It happened. All right. right. Well, we don't know that yet. Maybe he just misspoke. Let's give him some charitability. Okay. One minute into the ten minute video, still don't know what the f you did. Just come out and say I or I didn't. Can it be two minutes, please? I don't have a f attention span for this. I watch Skibbity Toilet and Ohio f yap memes all day Zyli on TikTok. Zyla gets real. Says. Bro. He was a Nazi, calling it now. So Zyli's one in the chat for Nazi, all right? Tom thinks he's a... Or...
I did not think uh, anything. I'm just saying what's going on. Okay. Someone says he's got that DoorDash Riz. Check him out sometime. Oh, wait, this is a different someone person. Someone said we should, someone said we should about put Nick him Diorio. on quartering speed. Wait, Jack Dittman wants me to put him on quartering speed. I'm not really sure why. That's an interesting request, but we'll try it. Ostentatious, send me an email. I'll take a look. Truth. Why because... am doing this now? <laughs> he said he wanted quartering speed, Chad. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's Can we go on 1.25? Or... Oh, wait, just, you got, you got it. This hits, this hits. Dude, just, just for this club so, right, maybe just get through it. No, I, I appreciate all of your guys' understanding. And if at any point you've decided that you no longer want to support me, you can make that decision. You can let me know if you would like to. But I guess to get to the crux of it first, in 2004, I had, was returning from Iraq. What the yeah. fuck? How old is this guy? He was in like Desert Storm and shit? What the f <laughs> Does he know Vega? What the f is going on? <laughs> yeah, you didn't think it was going to start like that, did you? In Iraq? Did he kill someone? Did he, did he like mow down <laughs> Palestinians? What's going on? His wife had left me. And my ex-wife had left me. Our house was trashed, and I had less than $100 in my name. I went home on leave, and a girl that I had known before, but not overly well, uh, turns out that she had <sighs> a bit of an obsession with me. She was underage. She was a teenager. But she knew about me and the war hero quote unquote dude oh, and after everything with my ex uh she backed the blue that. but so if you want to know how this all went down if you go to his channel right now there is some good news how do people even find out about this 2004 this woman's wait, like 40 wait, now I, no no you don't understand there's some good news you can't stop the Yo. signal. Oh. I'm not Let's go. <laughs> Fellow Empyreans, I remain Ashtarothy, the voice of New Eden. Dude. This guy's base. Holy <laughs> shit. He's going to keep plowing through. He's going to keep plowing into his own career and also so, underage so, so on one hand, we've got a All guy right. who f***ed an underage girl because he was a war hero or something. And this guy is like <laughs> refusing to leave. And then we've got George Not Found who found some belly button and he's leaving or whatever and he's like dream is dream is actually so much having sex like what so is going on worse than what you think no it's so much worse than what you think do you know how they found out did yeah, he say I'll, it I'll, I'll boost it a little bit no it's even worse than that dude it was a mistake i i should have been the adult in the situation and understood you were the adult in the situation <laughs> young and impressionable and Ooh. being likely very foolhardy at the time and I should have been the responsible one, and I wasn't. And I regret that. Since then, uh, I was... Uh, Rondell, I don't even have anything to say about Monkey, honestly. That must have been an old video, time. though. I assume. That's how they know. Uh, the age gap was 21 and... Wait, let's guess. Show of hands, what do you guys think? Underage, 15. What do you think, Tom? Um, I'll go with on the border. I'll go with 17 and a half. 17 and 364 days. <laughs> okay, th this is the quote. He proceeds to spin a story of a conviction on his cousin, who was 13 at the time, while he was 21. He got military oh, prison for five years and proceeded to try to contact his cousin again when she turned 18, with her making a Twitter post about having to block him and get a restraining order. Which she his was. YouTube video she was tries to 13? The story and paint him a better. Oh God. Oh. She was Supposed 13? I, now, keep in mind, as I say that, I am i haven't found the court documents yet, but the overwhelming thing that I'm seeing from other people who've reported this are saying that it was 21-13, yeah. I mean, that is... That's cool. So, by the way, guys... Um... Greetings, fellow Empyreans. <laughs> I remain Ashtarothy, the voice of New Eden. And <laughs> this is not a Dude, video I would not expect Elon a captain Musk. to leave his ship, no matter the... <laughs> <laughs> like buttons, okay? He goes so, down with yeah. the crew, dude. Captain Buttsex is staying on top. <laughs> yeah, dude. So and he talks about it, but he goes into detail. Like he's he's really like, let's hold on. In a military facility, um, I spent time on probation. I went through several 
classes and classes and psychological testing both as part of the case wait how did i still don't understand how they found this out so he's gonna tell you he's gonna tell you after and continue to see it um to this day partially to continue to make sure to assure myself that this is not a concern i've had no desire for anything like that and i can assure you her young age was not a factor in making me interested in this situation. <clears throat> if anything, it was a detriment. Is this, does that make it okay? <laughs> Absolutely not. Does that make me a... No. Now, let uh... me say this mm. in particular. The reason why people have been wanting me to leave the community is because they think that I am a monster. Well... I understand that. And I get why they would want a monster like that out of their community. Because of this, I have had... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to steal Chud Logic's voice thing, but oh, <laughs> uh oh, the panel, like the panel convicted appellant, uh, inter alia of carnal knowledge with his 13 year old cousin, and also Wait, knowledge, Car they, they convicted together. him of knowledge. Wait, what is this? Uh, oh, carnal God. knowledge, <laughs> dude, of knowledge, they um, convicted him of. Knowing how to sell, like, why, oh, why, why knowledge? Man. Does that just mean that he knew? No, no, I mean, no, I mean carnal knowledge. It means you know had sexual in relations with the person, right? Carnal knowledge. Sexual intercourse between. Why two knowledge? Was it a Some book? Slight, it means penetration. That's what it means. It means penetration. N penetration is it, called it, knowledge. It means. It means that he yeah, knew you're a gonna book know very well. Dick, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> this is so gross, bro. This is a thirteen-year-old, and you got to joke. I said to Tom. Tom's twenty-one, bro. He's a 21 year old child. Tom's, Tom's of legal age to drink at VidCon. Dude, this is the most legit one I've heard in ages. If anything, you going should going be on. more offended that it was. Wait, what? No, I'm talking what? To, I'm it talking was a to It was a guy? Comment. Kill no, no, him. I'm not. Stop. Why are you guys talking kidding. about a 13 year old? I'm talking about having sex with Tom. <laughs> you're talking about having sex with Tom. What are you doing with you? you? you I'm trying to. You're just like God. What about the 13 year old? What do they think? Who cares, bro? I'm. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he literally fucked Aiden Projects. <laughs> no, this oh. is beyond belief. Oh God. He had sex with a kid. Dude, I need to hear the rest of his story. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, the guy's killed with Chad. Zero him out. He did his own pizza. Come on. Dude, this is Chad Logic's like, this is a club shit. Let it keep going. And then I pull out the ages and you're like, 13, 21? Let me hear more. I don't know why I just turned you into, um, I turned you into the, the guy from The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> you're talking about Bane? It doesn't matter who we are. The Fire oh, Rises. <laughs> she was mature for her age. <laughs> Look at what she was wearing, Batman. I'll break your body and then fuck your shot. But he was the only to escape the pit. Go Is that the military facility? Groups and <laughs> the military pit. No. Yeah, the only reason he took over Gotham City was to lure the age of consent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Herpes and other places. Did you say he got herpes? Some no studies. Truly. Oh. Uh, well, we looked at the data. Horrific, terrible th people. And I just wanted to make sure it is clear that I think that is monstrous. More than anything, I wanted to try to make that distinction. So why am I bringing this you up? You didn't make it very clear, did you? In 2016, I believe it was, I ran for the CSM. And then uh, a few years ago, it was shown, or people figured out that if you knew how, you could use the old CSM pages in order to get everybody's real life information. And so from that, all of us were doxxed. And as a result of that, my background came to light and has been circulated amongst certain communities within EVE since then. Now, do you know what that means? Get at ready. the time, this I did not great. address it. I mean, up until now, I did not address it publicly because I saw this as an attempt to dox me, which I found. So people were like, hey, why did you f your 13 year old cousin? He goes, dude, you're doxing me. You're doxing me. me. Your you sound kind of like a kiwi farmer right now. What? That is the least charitable interpretation of everything Keffel's tweets. Uh, I, as a streamer and as a YouTuber, I found this very concerning, and that I knew I saw this as a trick 
to attempt to dox myself further, right? They couldn't, they, often they would not post the actual doxing information, but the, having to address the allegations. Would... Dude, they wouldn't post the dox. Just the fact that you f***ed your 13-year-old <laughs> cousin and that you were convicted by your by the, like of, of this crime. And they, they're like, they're not doxing me. They're not going to post my address. Just this one weird factoid. <laughs> like, you, you didn't, it didn't just like click that there was a reason why that was being like pushed forefront instead of, you know, your home address and your phone number. Like Involve having to dox myself. And uh, up until that point, I, I felt like that was uh, an additional concern. And that brings us to now, where, because I haven't said anything about this, uh, people have been able to kind of come to their own conclusions. Fuck. And it has continued to spread around the community. And many of you may have even- Well, thank God we haven't come to our own conclusions. We got it from the source, guys. We know what we're talking about. I wanted to tell you guys what is going on, what happened. Uh, and be upfront about it. Do you know this guy fought my, alongside my Dead on Dave and Tommy C? Nicholas, I swear to God, okay, given a long enough time in your stream, every single commentary person, the orbiters, everyone gets mentioned. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't understand. You guys don't talk about other people in your streams? If I was in your community, I'd be dropping references to Fnatic and to fuck Prime Kai's and Dylan Burns, like once a tweet, or once a stream. I, I tend to focus on people that are relevant, to be honest. You never you never sit there and you just think, God. No, I agree, I agree. What Talk does about Jessica Pizzle think person. about this? <laughs> you know? You ever been there? You're just like, I'll be back. I got to piss. What is okay. Colton's opinion on this hot button issue? <laughs> anyway, listen, I'm only around. Listen, everyone makes it happen together, right? A, a very rich tapestry, uh, the YouTube scene, isn't it? Everyone's got their place. It's funny, some friend Jay Stock stream, what's that name? Seven? Was Nyx Elitist. He, uh, Hates all small content creators or something like that. I don't know. I'm being super uncharitable, to be honest. But, um, yeah, no, I don't know. I talk about everybody. Now, most of the time I'm insulting them. Um, but, yes, I'm a, I'm a big proponent in making fun of small creators. <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't, I don't, you know, I think everyone starts somewhere, right? And that's cool. But I just, I hate the way people act super like, like, they know what the f*** is going on when they've got, like, 50 subs or something. It's like, you know. People need to understand that they need to grow a bit and get a bit of perspective. If you're young. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Hold on. I, I can't read this. I need someone else to read this. Chud, stand back, buddy. There's a breaking news. Apparently, Ethan Klein threatened a lawsuit tonight. What? Ethan Klein wants to sue Reddit because there's too much harassment on the site. We're, we're getting the source from r slash YouTube drama right now. Dude, I love oh, that yeah. subreddit. Here, we gotta, I just gotta, my, my, my buddy said he'll read it. I just have to send him the script, hold on. Um, my piss was pure black, by the way, for those wondering in chat. Oh, uh, it's like, that's the monster. You? Okay, Dada, Dada, what's going on? Bro, come on, what's happening? Sorry, I'm just, my, my friend's reading it, and I'm just getting the recording. All right, here we go, ready? All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll put it on screen so you guys can translate it with uh, glup speak. Here. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Go ahead, Tippy. Ethan Klein, co-host of the widely followed H3 podcast, uh. has taken a public stand against what he sees as a failure by Reddit to curb harassment targeting his team and their oh families, God, originating from a specific subreddit. The H3 podcast is a significant player in the podcasting world, ranked 21st for its large weekly audience, according to Edison Research. Thank you for the During fucking... a live episode giant pretext about what h3 podcast is as if the youtube drama subreddit doesn't already watch it every day <laughs> thanks dude they don't need that 13th klein addressed the subreddit r slash h3 snark why did it know how to say that correctly countering a viral post that falsely claimed the er slash h3 h3 productions moderators allegedly under klein's instruction were censoring posts mentioning ramadan klein clarified the situation by stating the logs of the subreddit show there is no record of the post in question, aiming to set the record straight. Klein's concerns go beyond correcting misinformation. He pointed out that the issue has escalated to brigading and harassing crew members and their family members. It, it needs to stop. And this harassment has not only affected the well-being of those involved, but has also impacted Klein's business <laughs> as he expressed frustration over the spread of what he considers defamatory dude, lies. Dude, what the fuck is that? On and Drum alert, dude. Despite presenting evidence of the harassment, to replace Reddit, Klein has been dissatisfied with the platform's response. 
The controversial subreddit was briefly taken down, but quickly reinstated, which led to further Wait, what the f*** does Ramadan have to do with it? ...of an H3 podcast sub... Oh. I don't know if you followed it, but basically um, Ethan Klein has been in hot water recently for being anti-Palestine, even though he's not. And there's a video that surfaced when he was apparently being racist towards Muslims in some vlog from eight years ago. Oh, I saw I'm that, not gonna yeah. I can't believe this. Do you know who the first person to dig that up was? Who? Me. But then, but then, but then, the, but then the Twitter, that like Twitter account got it. It got like 30,000 likes or whatever. No, no, no. We did this four years ago. But yeah, but there's a Twitter account that like tweeted out and got a ton of likes being like, they're clearly racist. Yeah, Back yeah. then? No, no, no. Recently, no. like just now. No, oh, I know, I know, I know. They, they, they dug it up again and people were acting like they'd seen it for the first time. I remember when that video was posted. Ooh. I watched it when it came out. Was that in my video or your video? But we had this, yeah. Uh, well, that's what happened with the watch drama remember. as well. They, they bring up old videos and act like it's new so they can further sh on him along their political lines, right? Yeah. Well, that was the issue with Content Nuke. It was all old. old. Um, but here we go. Sorry, I gotta just reset this. And You're kidding. Subreddit moderator, a decision that has been criticized by the podcast team. After the moderator submitted several instances of site-wide rule breaking, Klein is contemplating taking legal action against Reddit for what he sees as their failure to adequately address the harassment, stating, I've gone through every available channel, and if this doesn't get taken care of, then I'm gonna have to start holding Reddit accountable. His stance reflects a broader concern for the impact of online behavior on individuals' lives and businesses. Klein's public comments, however, stop short of a definitive commitment to legal action. He expresses a hope that Reddit will proactively address and halt the abuse, thereby eliminating the need for any further action. I like that it's like an amazing, Klein's like, it's like a perfect narration, like, thereby eliminating the need for any further action. Like, he reads it with <laughs> passion, he reads it with Bigger. He was like he's actually interested into it because he is. It's tipster. He cares. Goal is to see an end to the harassment affecting his crew and their loved ones, relying on Reddit's cooperation before considering further steps. Klein's determination to combat online harassment is underscored by his history of engaging in legal battles, including a notable lawsuit with disgraced Hollywood executive Ryan Kavanaugh and a landmark fair use case. Through these challenges, Klein emphasizes the importance of legal measures in protecting individuals and entities from unfounded accusations and harassment online. Sam, thank you, tipster. That was an amazing um, narration, dude. Good read. Oh, and then there was. <laughs> Wait, and did you see the Dark Viper like flipped out against? Oh no! Against <laughs> Ethan? Oh, yeah, it was so funny. For what? So dude, I read this and I'm like, oh, well, this guy sucks. Like, um. Uh... I was trying to remember the last time I talked about Dark Viper, and then I realized we're in the call with the guy. He made fun of his cringy thing. Here, it's sad that Ethan Klein's announced that they an indefinite break on page three was clickbait. As someone who's been incessantly harassed by him for years in front of thousands, oh my God, he is one of the tr who truly deserves being driven off the internet. A bully beloved by bullies. I'm not even kidding you. 14 pages of what he says. <laughs> Sex offender. The answer is 14. <laughs> They called him a sex offender. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's a little well, you know, I kind of disavow that. But uh, has yeah, he just put like a clip? Has he just put a, a, a highlight reel of all the times he got owned by H three? I think so. He put like an H three. So fourteen pages. What he says? Sex offender. The answer is fourteen. It's fourteen pages. Mm -hmm. um, it's fourteen, 14 words. Pages. Fourteen pages. That's right. Fourteen. <laughs> 14 pages. 14 pages. Okay. 14 pages. <laughs> because one of my favorite oh, wait, people. They're in clipping it. every time this played the soundbite on the show. That is oh, the God. most God. autistic God. thing I have ever seen. That Dark Viper, 14 pages. You remember this guy? It's Bro, called... harassment. This is so. Dude, you just cool. getting a... shit on. He just posted a highlight reel of himself getting bullied, and it's hilarious. Page 14. Well, he wrote 14 pages, it's but a 14 okay, page if document. you want me to consider your thesis, I need another 14 pages on 14. this. I want to take 14 pages. How do you read his material? He's just a idiot, bro. He's 14 pages. That's what it's what? 14 pages. <laughs> mm. 14 pages. 14. It's 14 pages. It's 14 pages! Why does he say that? What What was he referencing with the 14 pages? What is this even about? 
It's, it's his research document that he made. Remember his 14 uh, I thought it was 1,400. Document. Like, I thought it was way more no. than that. No, it's 14 pages. And then, like, everyone's making... He's like, it's not hard to read. It's 14 pages or something. Yeah, it's so funny, but... Oh, man. Well, the thing is that the term harassment has been watered down so much. I don't think someone on you on their stream is harassment. No, I think this is actually right? assault. My bad. We've been using the term <laughs> yeah. wrong. Ethan actually... basically Dark Viper. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, God. Yeah, Ethan is Dark Viper. Dark Viper. Yeah, Ethan's 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 what do you do about that? I mean, it's tough, isn't it? 14 pages and 88 sentences. Jesus. My darling <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> I was just saying it, okay? I wasn't going to say chat, it. Chat, chat. Someone in my chat said it. My darling Keffels never lies about me. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Fucking 20 tips to references at this point. I lost count, to be honest. Oh, no, me, boys. You. <laughs> Do you like my new soundboard button? This is my new button. Dude, right? I want to. I want to hear you guys' take on this. I'm interested. Come on, speak Which up. Take on who? Fucking H3 lawsuit you claimed. Well, I don't know. I haven't read the lawsuit. It sounds like he's gonna lose. People are mean to me oh. online, so I'm suing Reddit to stop them. Okay, but there's okay. You moron. It's not just being mean. It's like making up about you, right? Like yeah, telling you're lies sue the about whole you. Platform. Who the? F I mean, maybe Ethan. No, I know. I said one, the Reddit like thing is cringe. But what do you do when some anonymous is posting? About that as a detriment on your, you know, your, your, your perspective. To, to be honest, I just, I just fucking, I mean, I get taking it down as maybe like an avenue, but I just usually just ignore it. People, people say crazy shit about me every day. They say I'm a Nazi. Funny after I just read the fourteen chat, but people say I'm a Nazi. People say all this crazy shit on that subreddit. Like when I hang oh, out yeah. with when I hang out with YouTubers, there's posts with thousands of likes. Like Wendigoon hang out with non racist turkey town. Like I just, it's just like just meme it and move on. It's whatever. Because these, these people, if, if somebody is spewing falses, it doesn't stick. It just goes away. By the way, can we get a final verdict on him? I got I got a button for that. Final verdict on As a Thought. Who won? Who's there? Show the song! But wait, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously he's a f nonce. Done. Done deal, okay? I mean... Full-blown nonce. Yeah. We use a different word, but yeah. Yeah. Dude, well, that's his argument. His argument is that the person was 13, not 12. So technically, by dictionary definition, he's... He's a, he's a, he's a hebophile, <laughs> not a pedophile. Yeah, that's fucking terrible. <laughs> At that point, I don't think it's worth splitting hairs. I mean, I don't... Okay, I'm not going to say that. No, come on. Just, uh, no, listen, I don't think it's... Uh, Wait, hold a on. Smaggle, can you call in? Because I don't want to say that. Because I don't know the... I don't know the... Hold on. Wait. Wait, did, is that in here? Does he mention that? Where where did you get that? That's that's, that's not real. There's no way that's real. Um, sorry, I just want to say one thing quickly on the Ethan Klein thing, though, Tom. I get where you're coming from, and I tend to agree with you. But if like people are contacting your <gasps> business, like I mean, if they're contacting sponsors, there. like I understand wanting to get it taken down. Like I don't I don't necessarily blame Ethan. I'm just saying like my general policy is just to not. Fuck yeah, yeah, them. sure. I like, guess yeah. whatever. You, like, you just yeah, you I mean, just don't want to even validate these people. Yeah, of course. You've got to ignore as much as you can, but I guess it kind of gets to a point where it's impossible to ignore, you know, if you've got an actual impact. On yeah, you. If, they're, if they're affecting your income, I mean, at that point, just f it. Get the subreddit banned, whatever. Nice. Guys. <laughs> a lot more to say on this topic. I don't want to come across as making any sort of defense or excuse or anything like that. I did what I did. It was 20 years ago. And now I am a I am attempting to raise a 10-year-old son. Ah! <laughs> making ends meet. Jeez. Making content on... Oh, I, I think he probably just Apparently, shouldn't have that child. Jesus. Apparently he is a 10-year-old... His, kid is, his kid is in fucking range for him. So right, think... in, 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 oh in defense, we gotta take him away. In his defense, he's being accused of being a... The worst kind of... <laughs> a straight one? What? No, one obviously. Oh. No, so come on. Yeah. There's any okay, go, look, stop, just dude. This guy's a nonce, okay? It was a good, good little segment. What else is there to say about this guy? Like, he's well, to be fair, he's plowing through. I mean, what can you say? He's you know, at least committed to Sargon even more. of a cad was 100% correct. Oh, bro, dude, I didn't, take got... you as a, I didn't take you as a depends on the child type guy, but. Um... <laughs>
<laughs> that was in relation to him racist, to be clear. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know. I played a soundboard clip chat. Don't don't get on him for that. I did that the other night during the panel. I played the one where you're like, Daddy, Daddy, or whatever over and over again. And you were saying that like while the person like the food shop person was explaining their disease. Okay. <laughs> and the chat was like, What the f chat? This is really weird. And you didn't catch it. Oh. Dude, you are literally the worst for derailing. What the f are you doing? What, what are we doing right now? Dude, half the content is the derail. Not according to Tom's chat. Tom's chat is absolutely eviscerating you, mate. Tom's, like, we should Tom's death upon you. Cringe, bro. Oh, well, I mean, like, get in line. The Minecraft kids want me dead for years, bro. I think it's funny. What did the guy say? He was going to, like, stab me with a rusty shovel or something like that today. Like, I dared talk about his queen. Um, did you guys see... Uh, so the, there's like a bunch of subreddit posts about George. We're going back to George. Okay. A bunch of subreddit posts about George. Did you see this? What the f They're so like, small I can't even read them. Mod. Yeah, that's the... I'll, I'll pull up ones that are bigger. But this is like 40 bands. Like any person who is not 100% on the side of... Um, Katie. What's it called? Yeah. Of Mrs. Bug. What? By the way, they unpinned the post about James Somerton being alive to put up a thing called Destiny George Not Found and the Myth of Being a Perfect Victim. Oh my god, man. But yeah, anybody who's even like slightly anti katie gets immediately banned from the subreddit. I mean, that's to be I mean, expected, it's, it's right? They're harassing her. Not, yeah, I mean, it's obviously, you know, cringe um, echo chamber. But the most annoying thing about these people is they want to talk about drama, but if you put it on them, they freak the out like this brain well they only they only want to talk about drama from their perspective like the youtube drama subreddit right you can only talk about drama if it's from their like leftist perspective yeah h bomber guy fans they're all n bomber guys n bomber guys base yeah he used to say the n word when he was based yeah he used to dox people with haberman when he was based dude <laughs> um I mean, I mean, yeah, this is this brainy biscuit person is the most. I mean, I've, I've said it there on the screen, but you know, it is the worst kind of like Reddit tyranny. I've got some power, so I'm going to use it because the rest of my life is garbage. And uh, you know, it, it, that's what this person is. It's typical. I used to say the n word all the time, and now I take estrogen. <laughs> Base. Um. Is there, do you want to go through? I, I we're we're jumping all around, but do you want to go through Katie's response and go through that? I can't. Yes, please. I've. That's the one well, thing I haven't done on the stream yet. I have gone through it, but if you want to recap, I'm fine with that. Well, I want to look at it after we've seen all this other, sh and after we. Yeah, really I want to see what she said that was so mind changing for George. Because I, I maybe we could try to pinpoint where the where the jump happened. It must have been the bracelet. It must have maybe the bracelet thing is what got them scared. How do you, what is Katie's Twitter name? Katie Bugs. Yeah, maybe, maybe something to do with the, the legal drinking. Maybe some, something along those lines. Does that freak them out, maybe? I just, it just seems like crazy. Lose their visa or something? Like, oh, they're not going to be able to come back to the country? <laughs> JSTOC made a point saying, well, she looks kind of young. And she does. Definitely does look young. I mean, there, there are a lot of 21-year-olds who look like that. Yeah, but she's not 21, bro. Do you think she's going to aggressively age between in the next two years to the point where she'll just look she's like a hag like yeah like she's this is this is just this is just how she looks <laughs> you think that's how keemstar thinks it's like oh <laughs> <laughs> just, and keemstar's basically what was keemstar's tweet basically. he was like if you're born if you remember 9 11 don't talk to me keemstar's base okay <laughs> shout out to my boy keemstar um all right let's read this let's kick this guys uh do we need like dramatic music or are we no just it? read it bro hold on hold on wait oh wait, wait, wait. i got it bro i got i have three songs this is the one we just think it looks like between them um this is how we do it no copyright <laughs> what <laughs> for now this is what i have to say he admitted to touching me that i was drunk that i verbally didn't consent in my mind, the conversation is over. He said, silence does not equal consent. Yet, one, never got verbal confirmation from me. Two, chose to move to a sexual act on the couch where everyone was hanging out without asking. I don't know how those two facts coexist. 
How can I consent when there was no question? How can I consent when drunk? I he was drunk too. The question is when you're cuddling with him for a hour, which he does address and she says something crazy in this. She says, cuddling is not inherently a sexual act. I don't understand this. I mean, not inherently, but if you're cuddling with someone you just met for an hour, is it that crazy to think that maybe you're attracted to them a little bit? Is that that crazy of a assumption? It's literally, it's, it's literally the most normal thing that you would expect. <laughs> I worked at a public school. I overheard two teachers talking about Karens and how it's a sexist term. Base. Oh god, it's 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 playing the flamenco. Karen sex. is a uh, anti-white woman term. Um, Karen bugs owned. Okay, one second. It's doing the speech thing. My foot fell asleep. I don't know how. All right, guys, let's get into this. Where were we? <clears throat> Sorry, I got to get into character. All right, picture someone who wasn't. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know how those two facts coexist. How can I consent when there was no question? How can I consent when drunk? I prepared proof on the idea that he wouldn't admit to it, that he would deny touching me or being there, but he admitted it, that I was drunk and that he touched me in front of everyone and that I never said yes, nor did he ask. And I'm still asked for a response, proof, explanations. Frankly, I think that's insane. If you still need more after hearing from him admit those two simple facts, then nothing I can say is going to change your mind. You're right. There's nothing you can say that will change my mind. You're right. There's literally nothing. At this point, there is nothing. You lied. You lied by omission by leaving out the cuddling thing. There's literally nothing you can say. Like, it's over. You lost. You're blown out. You're destroyed. Your game, your, your game is done. Okay? So just off. I don't want to hear from this person ever again. And the other thing as well is, like, the kind of incredulity with, like, proof? You want proof? Like, yeah, I want proof of something. You know, you provided nothing. You just cried and said, oh, he touched me a bit. It's pathetic, man. You say you don't want to show proof, and everyone loses their minds. <laughs> but you become the tickle monsters in a silverback in a silverback type mode for one minute. Everyone loses their minds. I Fucking just want to put a little chaos, okay? A little chaos into the world. I we are tonight's know. entertainment. <laughs> you want to know how I got tickled? <laughs> you want to know how my stomach got this itchy? Um, <laughs> right, you want to know how I giggled this much? You want to know how I blue balled this guy so hard? <laughs> he was cuddling me for an hour. He was hard behind me. His dick was against my vagina. And when he put his dick against my ass, I lost my mind! <laughs> when he tried to go silver back on me, I lost my mind. All right, stop. All right, here we go. As for the eye messages, he showed the outside of an Insta DM. All proof was him showing a group chat that he wasn't even in. Showing messages from my friends, which isn't me. The only message showed after a response from me was when we were asked about drinking, of the drinking game we were playing. That's after we played it the first night, the night where nothing happened. I liked the game, and I wanted to play it with other friends at the convention. So I asked for the name. Don't know how that's relevant to anything. But now let's talk about why I went back. Because my friends wanted to. And I went with them everywhere they went on the trip. I would also like to clear up. This all happened when I went back. Nothing happened the first night. Something I also did not admit to at first because it's embarrassing. And I thought, you're relevant. But the second night, another reason why I was willing to go back was I heard there was another YouTuber with massive amounts of subscribers that I wanted to meet. But when I found out that they might have left an hour earlier, I was already in my Uber. I'd forgotten this until looking back. But at text where I said this to a friend earlier in the day, I, that's a spelling mistake, but whatever. Oh, oh, this is small. How the fuck am I supposed to read this chat? Let me get it bigger. Oh, dude, we're crescendoing right now. I'm not reading. Here, here. But blank brought me and ghosted me back to Dream's room to see him. Oh, and, wait, sorry, and ghosty back to Dream's room to see him. He said blank was there too with some other people. So I was excited because I always wanted to get to know blank. Left right before we showed up. So it was just Dream and George. And then we show up anyway, and I'm like, okay, drinking games. Ghosty leaves to throw up, and it's like four of us, and we're all drunk. And it was honestly really weird, because I was just drunk and, to uh, and too tired to comprehend what was happening. And we were up till 6.30 a.m. I mean, I, 
I don't know. I went to VidCon. When I didn't want to be somewhere, I Ubered back. Like, these people are... I mean, she, she could have left like, at any point in time, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, like literally at any point in time. She she did leave, and then she went back to cuddle. She had friends in the hotel that she could have talked to. Like, I, that's crazy, dude. All right. She had tons of options, tons of outs, didn't take any of them, and now wants to act like she was because she's got no self-control or, you know, responsibility for actions. Stupid. Insta DMs. They were all fine. Like I said in my stream, I didn't have my age in my bio. Like it is to this day. The messages were nothing insane, just banter. Like I said, I admitted to those messages. To be clear, I think she said she did have her age in her bio. Oh, I did have my age in my bio. Okay, guys. Like I it is to this day. Bio. Yeah. I never hid the fact that I was still considering myself lucky for what happened to me. Even if I was uncomfortable and I didn't ask for it, I was hating myself around now, thinking I was ungrateful. But as you can see, nothing insane or proof worthy being said just banter all right do we have to read all those they're small um the dms are literally just them being like yo what's up yeah these are just but, the, but long story short is that they had like a kind of like a, a friendly or amicable conversation afterwards right yeah. there was nothing to suggest that she didn't want it to happen she posted happen. yeah she posted some like la di da di da tee hee lol stuff right and then all yes. of a sudden yeah. the tone the tone shifted back again I felt lucky to be talking to a verified account. Someone famous. Someone I followed and watched for a while. It was uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable with what happened. But trying to swallow it and suck it up so I didn't have to acknowledge or accept it. Although, our text ended a month after. I can see why people find me at fault, but the thought process of someone who went through what I have gone through, a very unique experience, is why I understand why it seems so stupid. Only so many people have been there to understand. Again, like he said, at one point, he asked for my Snapchat. Are there any good ones? Also, IG messaging is lame. What's your snap? But we did not Snapchat very much at all because I don't use Snapchat. I Wait, so she gave the Snapchat? Yes. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this guy, the <laughs> me. I gave him more ways to communicate with me, and even sent me pictures if he wanted. Dude, this is nuts. <laughs> I gave him a way to anonymously. She was trying to form a dick pic, so when she did the response, she'd yeah. have something to show. <laughs> I gave him a way to send me countless dick pics that would be deleted. <laughs> what? The Bro, this is crazy. This is insane. This is mentally. Uh, this is taxing. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> but we did not snap much at all because I don't use Snapchat. It happened <coughs> since middle school. So like last year, the most that happened were a few pictures of him with a quesadilla that he sent me. And then I resorted back to DMs, which didn't last long. The time we all stopped interacting was around Paris TwitchCon. I walked him out to the elevator. Yeah, we left at the same time. My room was on the other side of the floor in the hotel. You had a hallway of rooms on one side, elevators connecting them, and the other hall. I was on the opposite side. Therefore, I had to walk through the elevator room. I didn't walk him there. We both went in that direction. I said, well, bye. And that's when he did the whole elevator is broken bit. There was a man who was there that I left out. He wasn't there for long. He left early, which is why I don't mention him. I don't even know his name. But here's a message from this guy. I've never spoke to him. Simply a message he sent to someone who was in the room that night too. And it's all he really needed to add to the situation. He left before anything really <clears throat> happened. I'm currently watching George, 26, cuddle with Katie, 18. We cuddled. A lot of the touch was initiated by him. A lot of the touch was initiated by him. Probably not even realizing it. I mean, he was literally spooning me from my <laughs> left as I faced Ghosty to my right. Dude, what woman lets a man spoon her if she's not into something? Like that's that's the biggest question. Like why why also why leave that out in the initial allegation? Yeah, why leave it if, out? If if exactly. it doesn't change anything, why leave it out? Yeah, let's go back here. A lot of the cuddling. Wait, a lot of the cuddling. He may have felt was personal. 
but it was just me being drunk. Everyone on the couch was doing the same thing, all drunk and close together, but I get it. I was drunk. I didn't think cuddling automatically meant it was going to turn sexual. I didn't know it was an invitation. I wasn't going to push him off in front of well, everyone. I guess you thought wrong. But he took it a step further in front of everyone. All because he assumed things and he assumed that he had the right. As a shy person, I couldn't speak up in front of him. And That's your fault! As a shy person, that just means you're dumb. That means it's your fault. Let alone say yes. Even if you want to take a step forward sexually, why do it in the open? If you're cautious about consent, why not ask? That's usually the first step. And more important, why does everything have to get taken a step further? And might I reiterate, I was drunk. Yeah, I got up and I sat in the same spot to get a drink, etc. Mentally, I believe I was in a room on a sofa with people on it. Wait, with people on it. So you just sit back down where you were when you got up. Mentally, I was drunk. And even if I were to move, would that be an obvious hit to his ego to him and everyone in the room? A bold move and I didn't need to make it. I could just deal with it till the night was over. I didn't want someone I'd watched for a while crazy. with a large following to hate me for denying him the chance to sit next to me. <laughs> I didn't want to embarrass him or even myself. I know it was dumb. I acknowledge it. She stayed with just... friends left. I didn't make the conscious decision to choose to stay. My friend left throwing up in her hand and I- You always make a conscious decision though. Like every decision you make is conscious. If I'm to believe that everything he did is completely demonstrable, how can you not be held accountable for the same? Every decision you make she is conscious. So... You actively stay there. Like she she's, so... her explanation is literally like, I'm a person and that's why it happened to me. She was so drunk, she couldn't even hold her vomit and passed out in our bathroom. The more the night went on, the drunker I was. Like I said before, I put up with it for the moment because I thought it was- You could just stop I drinking. A for being around such you big get, creators. You get drunker from drinking, so just stop drinking. Those last three points, may I remind you, are not an invitation to be sexual or that I wanted it and that he thought I did. He could have asked. We just met. Why did he think he knew me so well that he could assume how I felt? Assume he knew what my mannerisms meant. You don't know me. Apparently, you don't even know my age. But you know what I wanted? But wait, but you knew what I wanted? No. He assumed it's what I wanted. Because why wouldn't I want that from someone like him? Oh my god, dude. And remind me, since when was smiling an invitation? When was sitting next to someone an invitation? When was being drunk an invitation? Any laughing I did with your hand under my clothes was out of nerves. It's written so dramatic, dude. So dramatic. I didn't when was cuddling, cuddling with a guy for an hour an invitation? I had no knowledge that cuddling could lead to this. No, it's like, because I didn't think cuddling would result to that. My shock left me speechless because I'd never been to a guy's hotel room. Genius, dude. Where are we? I lost my spot. By the bottom, last two lines. Oh. Never done anything sexual. And I never expected that cuddling meant what it did. I didn't know if it was normal or not. You touched me for the first time. Look, the reality is, right? 18 year old girl, wet behind the ears, has an experience like this, regrets it after. That's fine, yeah. right? Yeah, that's something you might speak to your friend about and go, oh, damn, I was really drunk last night. I shouldn't have done that, right? No problem. But the people she went to undoubtedly said, no, this is really bad. This is really serious. And did that in yes like I was talking about, right? And that's why it's become this enormous thing. And she's been, you know, somewhat used as a pawn in this, I think. But she's still the one that's saying the words. So she's obviously at fault there. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just such an insane telling of the situation. Right? Yeah, I mean, I... It doesn't help that I'm reading it like a Hitler manifesto, but I mean, it makes it much more palatable to the audience, I think. And, uh. and you know, th there's probably a conversation to be had that there probably is an issue with these yeah. older guys, right? Being a bit too pushy and stuff, and that's fine. 
but the temperature's way higher than it should be. Were they were, just... were they really pushy though in this situation? Like I would get Listen, okay. Right? Pushy would be why she's... would you even risk first time it? meeting? Why would you bit, risk bit. Just meeting someone drinking with them at VidCon and hooking up with them. You're a f dumb idiot if you're doing that. You can get a girl normally as a as a fucking million. I mean I mean stuff like that happens though. Stuff like that happens. Or or a, or a fuck buddy or something. You could But stuff like that stuff like that just like fun. does happen like in these situations. Like people aren't thinking like I'm going to be canceled tomorrow. They're not thinking about that. They're not the commentary community. They're thinking, you know, I'm going to fuck this girl who's cute and is into well, me and is cuddling with me for an hour. Like I you can you really fault them for that? Well, well, I'm yeah, not but he's not gonna, what did he think was going to happen, Tom? Did he think that oh, he was going to touch her stomach and then she was going to give him the eye and he was going to go down lower and he was going to start f her right in the middle of the hotel room? And not hotel not room there. And not there. I think he probably thought they would cuddle, they would be intimate a little bit, but not in well, front of other people. The and then, the pair. But he didn't. He okay, is touching someone's stomach making the move? Friends. Is touching well, someone's stomach making the move? move it, I think he was well, trying no, to move it further. Moving under the clothes. And I'm sure. This is my guess. I don't know what George. But if he was trying to move it further, why wouldn't he have just moved it further in that room when she was supposedly comfortable with it? Because she probably didn't encourage it, and he probably didn't know better. He, not, he probably didn't know, and he wasn't sure, and he didn't want to risk accidentally doing something that would get. He, he didn't realize at this point he'd already jumped the shark and he'd gone. Why would he far. think there would be any think, risk when she's giggling and laughing? I think if she made some sort of acknowledgement, yeah, he might have. But I, I, who can know for sure? But I'm not, you know, I'm not even saying this is like this guy's a terrible person. I'm just saying in your twenties, you sometimes make a move, right, that might make feel someone feel, someone feel uncomfortable afterwards, and you're not to know, and you learn from that. If they say to you, "Hey, you a bit moved a bit too fast last night," and then you're like, "Okay, sorry," Dude, it you is learn from that. Right? It's insane to think that they would have started. He would have started like fingering her there. That that, that was never on the table. No, 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 I no, no. I don't think I'm saying that he was finger fingering her, but he was kind of like chancing it a bit to see if he could get someone with this person, right? Like, he, he wanted it to progress further. Like, if she'd have turned around and gone f me, he'd have taken her back to the hotel room and taken it further, oh, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay. They and, they probably would have walked out. You know, and I think that... I mean, I don't even think anything should happen to him. This should have been a private conversation. You know, hey, it was a little bit too much. You know, I didn't really like it. I was too drunk. And that would have been fine and everything could have moved forward. But it's got to be this big spectacle. Again, because these freaks have gotten her here and told her, no, this is actually really bad. And probably, I would guess manipulated her to come forward yeah yeah 100 percent. all right because look at these messages she had no problem before she had no, no. real issue before right she shows screenshots totally of true. her being like at, at best yeah. neutral uh, yeah at worst but, neutral i mean know. yeah it's like oh, oh i was a bit weird and i was a bit drunk but this is very typical stuff you hear from like a younger person who's like i was a bit too drunk last night and did some stupid stuff right yeah nick i've actually it's just uh i just found a post from uh from Gorgoth or whatever the Eve Online guy. Do you want to pull this up on stream? This is a, sure. a this is a follow up post. I think it's important to bring up. Who's Gorgoth? The guy we just covered who said he a thirteen year old. Oh, this is an update. He 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 embraced yeah. the balding thing. You should take a look. Good one, buddy. Here we go. Everyone on stream needs to see this. This is important. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my chat's getting blue balled right now. Hold on, wait, I gotta show this. I can't see it. This is base, dude. He's moving on. Finally, share. he's making strides in life, dude. Look at this guy. Look at you. Tell me you wouldn't hire this guy or let him take care of your kids, dude. Cupcake filled. He's got his own kids to worry about. Um, bugs. You can take Here care of mine. All right, gamers, let's jump back in. <laughs> to what? <laughs> You're a grown man who knows better. <laughs> Why do I have to be strong and pull away or say stop? It's my fault because I was asking for it, hinting at it. I should have known, but never his for not being able to ask a simple question before doing it at his age. Silence can be consent. A head nod is silent confirmation. In order for confirmation to happen, he needs to follow a question. A question that was never asked. How was a drunk person supposed to consent? Do you think I was in the power to consent to a 26-year-old man to touch me because I laughed? But he was drunk too. Personally, when I'm drunk, I don't stick my hand under other people's clothing on a couch in a room full of other people without This is probably the first time you were That's drunk. That's just me, though. I doubt that. Heavily doubt that. I also don't believe she's a virgin. But... Well, she said in the video, she said at the time I was a virgin, so... Yeah. My text the day after. 
Hi, I want to make sure you're okay. I didn't like the way that George was so touchy and told me about the shirt thing. I want to make sure you're all right. Yes, I'm okay. I was, it was definitely a bit weird, but I was drunk, so I didn't really feel like doing anything to stop it anyway. But it's over now, so... Hey, buddy. I just wanted to double check with you that George didn't make you uncomfortable at all last night. I saw he was getting really touchy with you, so I wanted to double check and uh, smile. Maybe. Bro, I have no clue. Like, in the moment, I was chilling, but thinking back on it, I'm sweating a little bit. Like, damn. And especially after verifying he knew I was 18. And also... If I was chilling in the moment because I was drunk, I don't know. I have to ponder on it or just forget about it because it's over with. Wall V. Uh, after verifying I was 18, refers to a question I asked during a drinking game. I'll explain later. Of course, I played it down with my responses at the time. I was embarrassed. I wanted to seem cool because well, I'd never been sexual with someone before. How was I supposed to know? Was it supposed? To, uh, how was I supposed to know what it feels like emotionally? I was nervous and uncomfortable because I didn't want it or because I was inexperienced or because I was drunk. I didn't understand what I felt, but I knew it felt off. And the friends in the room were some of the last people uh, that I can't wait. Uh, uh, the friends in the room were some of the last people I came out about how it affected me because I was embarrassed at my inexperience, embarrassed in the fact that it was out in the open, scared to react <laughs> when it happened because within uh, with any reaction, I, sh uh, I showed had an audience. A priest did diddle me. Move in a room full That's accurate, Drew Beefy. But let me Thank remind you for recognizing you my trauma. Their initial gut reaction. I liked it though. By simply being in the same room and seeing it was them messaging me the next day, worried, asking if I was okay. Before they'd talk to me about how I felt, they felt gross. The wristband. I'd like to mention another girl. I didn't mention her because, like the other guy, she left really early into the night. I'm admitting I didn't mention her because she only tagged along one night and didn't do much. I also didn't know her too well, and she was friends with Clay and the girl talking to him. I haven't messaged her since that night until today when she reached out. Okay, I'm like watching his stream for the first time right now, and I'm losing my mind because in this photo, he thinks this is you. This is my hand. It's clear that she sent me the message in the chat. Obviously, it being her hand. No room for confusion on it being my hand. And once again, he was not even in this group chat. Only Clay. And even if he just assumed we were all 21, because one of us were, all of those assumptions could have been cleared up pretty quickly. What's okay, did she ask his age? Did she? I, she probably knew it because he's a famous YouTube celebrity. And she's a Humega lol glup. I mean, I guess, but like, don't you think it's important to ask? Maybe she's, maybe she thought she was famous. I don't know. Like, she didn't, she didn't ask his age. She didn't seem concerned with that at the time at all. If it would have bothered her that he was 26, maybe she could have confirmed and just not done that with him. Like, if, if the, the mere well, implication mean, of him yeah, being I mean, old would have bothered her, well, why, no, why no, not just ask? Understand. She didn't want to. No, no, she was embarrassed that he would, she would embarrass him. Oh, so right. She didn't want to embarrass him. him. So that's why she allowed herself, from her perspective, to be assaulted. Genius, dude. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. The party we were at and where the uh, wristband talk initiated was an 18 plus party that you needed a band to enter. We'd ask people around us for a wristband to enter the party, not a 21 wristband to drink. As you see in the picture, a 21 wristband was given by staff after seeing ID and after entry. The wristbands were asked around for and searching for just entry to the party. Uh, the wristbands we were asking around for and searching was just for the entry to the party. Even if he, if he thought I was asking around for a 21... Actually, here's the deal. You want to hear something interesting? Yeah. Uh, I think Dumpy snuck into this party. Oh. Didn't Dumpy sneak into the Instagram party? Not this year. Was it Dumpy? I don't know who it was. Somebody snuck into the Instagram I thought a party Cheeto snuck in. The story about it. A Cheeto snuck in or whatever and then got thrown out when he ran into the wrong but person. I don't know if he was at that... Was that what, what year? What VidCon was this? That was two years ago. So this is oh, wait. What, big, what VidCon is this about? Is this about the most recent one in Anaheim or the one before? Wait, it's either, it's either. I don't know. Do you think Dumpy? Not do you think Achito snuck into this party with this girl? He could have saved her. <laughs> he could have saved her from being on URR seven. <laughs> he could have saved her from being on URR from being this seven. from being the star. And instead, instead, all he was concerned with was hanging out with Idubs and Anissa or something. Yeah, was dude. that last year? I think that might have been last year. I, I thought it was the year before. I thought, 
Augie went to the... I thought it was the one... No, I swear it was the previous one. I swear it was the one where I had, like, the big party at, um, like, Shro's Airbnb. I swear it was that one. I don't know. Let's run through the rest of this. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, dude, the more I read her statement, the more I realize she's so boring having to read this again. Yeah. We didn't stay at the party. We couldn't get response. Can you make your response, response a little more, like, staff. can you, like, maybe turn it into, like, a short-form content version, Katie? Put some more memes in, at least. Yeah, yeah, like dude. a like a bra or Wait, like a wine thud. Hold on. Hold on. I'll just I'll just read it. Uh, I'll put something on the screen for you guys. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be better. Um, hold on. You get some subway servers up or something. Come on. Let's go with uh, for real. Come on, uh, that is killing us all. I'm trying to pick a. Here we go. Loving America and being swept up in our extreme level of paranoia. Brian, are you suggesting that 9-11 didn't change everything? This is perfect. We're good now. I okay. think I could use one more thing, maybe, but this is close. Yeah. Wait, I should probably get to stay. We're nearly there, but come on, just for the sake of time. Okay. Okay. Um, we didn't end up staying at the party because we couldn't get wristbands for everyone. Only a few of us got in. My one friend gave theirs to me so I could walk in to see the creator party for the first time, but I left immediately after taking a video, knowing Ghosty and other friends were sitting outside, unable to get in with the wristbands cut off by staff as we left. I didn't even have a party wristband on at any time. I met with them after the room, let alone 21. Oh, sorry, I never had the 21 one, okay? It's cut, and the other one was cut off in the vlog. So she recorded herself cutting it off. Um, and then they're pointing out that there was an event that was 18 plus on Friday the 23rd that would place the drinking thing also on Friday, the, the groping incident, which I use very liberally there, uh, it was Saturday, and then Sunday, I assume everyone went home. The next section is called, I thought she was 21. I'm sorry, I have to talk over it. There's a lot of no a loud noise coming from the thing. Uh, the girl who left early also sent me this message today, and it is her conversation with Clay the night before she left the room. Uh, she recalled it to a friend a few days later. This is the message. I typed a message on my phone and showed it to Clay, being like, does George realize there's eight years between him and Katie? And he looked at me deadpan, like, I don't see why it matters. I'm like, oh, okay. So he was drunk. I don't see, so so I don't fault him for why he may have responded with a maybe. Uh, with as, wait, sorry. Um, so I don't fault him with what he may have responded with as maybe he wasn't thinking right, as I had not been able to write while intoxicated. This was also her recalling, so it could have been wrong or untruthful. But I, uh, I don't believe that she has a reason to lie, simply messaging a friend a few days later, especially when, at the time of that text, <laughs> and up until I came public about it, she didn't even know anything happened that night she left before. Okay, we got one more debate, boys. The car crashing is getting to be a bit much, to be honest with you, Nick. Yeah, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I'm having a very hard time with that one. You guys, we only have the most serious investigations oh. under review. Okay. All right, let's just put it down there here. Okay. Okay, we got to get... I only have a... There's only three minutes left in this, so we got to get done with the statement. Otherwise, the gameplay will end. Okay. That night, the game we were playing asked, who was the last to lose their virginity, a.k.a. the youngest? This is when I said me because I was 18 and I was still a virgin. This was also when Clay chimed in and argued for his best friend to say along the lines of, well, he lost his at 19, so you aren't that old yet. So technically, he would still drink, and he did drink, assuming this was... Uh, <laughs> assuming this meant he was listening, but maybe he wasn't. I remember this question because of texts I sent and because there was something I would never forget. Yes, I know it is hard to remember a question like that thinking back now, but that night he couldn't have forgotten it that quick. Remembering back to my answer was just hours slash minutes prior to making a move uh, didn't seem impossible with him saying, I don't remember what happened that night and nitpicking my story apart with his great slash drunk memory. I wonder how he can't remember the most important part of it all. Okay. So this is where I need to just pause the gameplay for a second. The age does not matter. No, at all. It's red herring. It totally literally red does herring. not matter. None of the age, the age never mattered. Um, not even slightly. You're an adult. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, my, entire my time. serious apologies. Uh, but like throwing you into the fire here. Your age does not matter in this instance. It could matter um, in like maybe a different circumstance that has other factors that might play into it. Right? Maybe he's like, oh, let's get the... Maybe... Maybe if you had screenshots of of Clay Dream writing, can you get a bunch of eighteen year olds here? I want to flex my channel on it so we can f gang f them in the hotel room. Yeah, you know what? I think that might be important. 
that you know that might be an important thing uh, if we could find young stupid women or something like that uh, and flex our channels on them and get them to find if you could find out that he was like Harvey Weinstein and that your age was yeah. intricate to it then yeah I would say that that's probably worth it but like I mean I, what does it matter here he touched your tummy right like like what happened like what do you mean all right sorry right, let's put the yeah. play back on I don't think he's dumb. I think even if he was talking to someone, especially in Insta DMs, he would check for an age or at least see a bio. Someone who was so concerned about consent wouldn't be so naive. Someone with such a big platform wouldn't risk it unless they knew they could pull an I don't know card. Um, her friends influenced her because they hate us. I wonder why. Can we turn the Peter family guy off, dude? It's, it's a little, happening. it's dude. It's I hear what Peter, I hear it's, Peter it's, Griffin it's, every it, other yeah, word. Yeah, it's quite obnoxious, I must say. It's a little Sorry. much. Uh, Put on American what Dad the fuck or something. Is this queer? Or like the Cleveland <laughs> show. Do we have any other options? Can you just read the <laughs> statement and finish? You spent 10 <laughs> years Sorry, reading your response. Alright, I'm finishing. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. Holy <laughs> shit. Let me read it. Oh my god, dude. These situations Ooh. always end. I didn't know being obese made you talk at half speed. If I didn't do this, she shouldn't have worn that. She shouldn't have been drinking. She was asking for it. We are embedded into a society to cover for assault. That's what we're built on. It's easy to say what I should have done looking from the outside, <laughs> but not being the one in the situation. In the moment, it was also easy. The one in the situation is like the dumbest person of all time we've ever heard of. <laughs> and now that I'm sober, I can make clearer choices. I want this to circle back to the original point, to make it aware that in reality, many girls face this in the community. So many people are forced into silence. It's not petty drama. Real people have been affected. Okay, I just want to make it clear that Nick has now replaced it with... <laughs> is that young Sheldon? <laughs> is that young Sheldon? And I see there's like some there's like some girl over here, and then there's like... There's, a, there's the Mr. Hands video. There's... Okay, buddy. Anything else? The Simpsons. There's South Park. Is that the end of the <laughs> statement, dude? Oh my God, that statement was horrible. Dude, this video is called. Ultimate We're gonna get a copyright claim, dude. Turn well, this shit the off. We're not getting a copyright claim. We're talking over it. It's Family it's Guy. It's transformative. It's transformative. No, you, Come on. It's transformative. It's fair use. My bad, dude. This <laughs> dude, dude, dude if Family Guy claims us, then the becomes canon to their show. No one says now is the time. I just don't want victims to feel like they have to prove themselves to people who want to be uh, be believed that they're only valid if they had proof. I believe you. My story was a bit different <laughs> because I was on a wide scale with a big audience. Yes, I know. I do not owe it. Victims do not owe anything to anyone. But with my unique situation, I wanted to give proof nonetheless considering the circumstances. Okay, by the way, you need proof. Otherwise, it's really not even worth engaging with this stuff publicly. Um, Clearly, I, that's the reality of it. Oh, I thought I don't want to just regurgitate all of Destiny's talking points because I clearly just watched the video today. But the reason why Me Too was invented, okay, is because there were crazy f people running around Hollywood raping women and using their positions. And there was nothing they could do about it. Yeah, against them, there was nothing they can do about it. There's no one they could go to. There's no one they can talk to. So as a last ditch effort, they went to social media. Yeah. This well, well, is, is well. not that. Not even close. No. You know, they act like these <laughs> Minecraft guys are that level of influence, and they're not. It's like the Austin scene. People act like people in the Austin scene are in the pocket of the police and vice versa. So it's just not true. Right? You can go to the police with this if you wanted. You get laughed out probably, but do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, imagine going to the police and being like, well, we were cuddling for an hour, and then he touched my stomach. Like, imagine. Can yeah, you no, turn sure. the family guy off now, Nick? The family guy is still there. There's no reason to have it there now. Dude, this is two hours long. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> All right, this is better. This is better. Why am I hearing farting? All right, let's um, get through this. Well, no, but no, the thing is, obviously, it's just absurd, like, to go to the police. But the point is, is, like, the police aren't going to be like, oh, hang on a sec. This is George Not Found, prominent Minecraft YouTuber. Bury this one, chief. You know, we don't want any, you know, he, 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 he's going to pay us our stipend. Well, this is the thing with, like, they always, people always use buzzwords like power. Like there, there's yeah. power, there's power imbalances that exist in a lot of different places. But what matters is if that power is specifically abused. That was never a part of their interaction. It was never abused in any way. It was only, if you want to argue it, her perception of his power, which really does not exist, which caused her to not want to embarrass him by not sitting next to him. I agree. Whatever the f that means. Like you're. F Why do I still hear f Brian, the dog? Can you at least turn it down, Nicholas? Wait, is that loud for you? It's on like one percent. No, it's like faint, it's but I still it. hear it it's interrupting it my work. thoughts. I, I already have Damn. demons in my head trying to get me to kiss guys all day. I need to hear this. 
I need to listen to this. Dude, he's just so refusing to turn it off, dude. He's just we're what talking about mean? this. He's just you watching mean, Family Guy. Dude, just mute it. It's not even mute. It. Just mute. No, you did not. I can see it. Bro, what is your problem? <laughs> all right. Uh, I think that probably wraps up the Katie thing. I think we probably said all we can say. Um, yeah, it's just just more. Yeah, looping. on that note, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. But this has been a good stream. Thank you guys. I'm gonna. I gotta. I gotta go cover some other allegations. The family guy. The family guy allegations are pissing me the f off. So I need to leave. But yeah, check out Nick and Chud if you guys want. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna stream new stuff. Bye. And be sure to become a member for five dollars a month. They get the members only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support.